Hello everybody, welcome back live to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. It's time. It's time for a very massive Assetto stream. Let's get driving. We've got uh, Simracer's system on the screen. The holy grail of sim racing systems. It's the only system that sim races. The sim racing system. I'm going to register up to the Fiat Tipo Compton race. Hello, Harry Rutland. Um, we'll see, <laughs> see how this goes. I think these cars are front-wheel drive. Register up to this. Hello, Stuart. Hello, D, D Clan Cunningham. Dang it, come on! Hello, Think Cars. Right, what are these? Fiat. It's going to be front-wheel drive, isn't it? <laughs> Should be interested. I'm going to have to practice this. Fiat Tipo. Hello, Ellis Jones. What the hell is a Fiat Tipo? It's Zandvoort. So we've got 27 minutes till that starts. Fiat bloody Tipo. <laughs> What's a Fiat Tipo? Fiat Tipo. See if we're taking the rubbish to the tip. Oh. Zandy Zandivort. Ah, uh, Zandivort, where are you? Okay, it's Holland. France. I always get the French and the... Hang on. There it is. Nederland. Zandivort. Okay. Let's give this a little practice here. So, the race starts on the hour. Tipo! Potipo! <laughs> Potipo! <laughs> That's what we get. That's what it's called now. Right. Go. Practice. Go. Hello, Mr. Wilson. How's it going, man? Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson won't be happy with me. Look what I've done. Look what I've done to my sock. Now, why would my socks be like this? Why would, my, why would I have ruined one of my pairs of Dunlop socks? Socks, what's happened? I'll turn around so you can see them. Hang on. <laughs> Look what's happened. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. How do you... Look what's happened to the bottom of my sock. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Somebody bleached their kitchen floor <laughs> and then walked on it in socks. <laughs> Not me. I'd never do that. Um, it's all right, though. It's just the bottom of them. Weirdly, in my house, I have um, I have uh, bleach-proof carpets. Well, my basement carpet is bleach washable and my staircase carpet is bleach washable. One in... The, the rest of the house is like laminate and wood, which is bleach washable. I get actually. Can you wash? You can wash wood floor with bleach, or uh, maybe it'll still stay. No, if it's if it's if the wood is um, varnished, you can bleach it. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard Hayden. In the morning. Right, let's try this out. Whoop 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 whoop. We're gonna have to. Uh, Oh, the car, the model looks nice. We're gonna have to go to the correct form factor wheel. How's it going, Rich? What a chid. Rich, you keep messaging me on uh, on um, what's it called? WhatsApp when I'm in bed. <laughs> it's to message me in the mornings because you message me and then I forget. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I forget. I'm like, ah. Oh. Right, I'm going to take my clothes off, guys. Close your eyes. <laughs> God, that's not turning the camera off. Come back. Oh, I can't turn my camera off. Oh, yes, I can. There you go. Oh, I did 
see the pedals? Yeah, they look awesome. Ah, oh, dear. Rich loves a bit of gear. Rich has all the gear. <laughs> Hello, Rejax. Thoughts on a 34 inch? Oh, it's flappy. It's 34 inch. 47. Oh, yeah, this is from wheel drive. 34. Oh, what were your choices? So, what I would. Right. The, the, the reality of monitors, okay? First of all, no wide monitor will let you see out of both, like, left and right window. In Well, maybe a four, maybe the full-on wide one if you put it right on your wheel and you run, like, a wide field of view. But if you're running, like, a normal field of view that most people would run, you know, like, 42, you know, with the wheel, like, how I've got my screen set up here, basically, and my field of view is arguably too high. If you're running an ultra-wide, like a 47-inch, even with this... Um, you're not going to be able to see out the windows with an ultra wide. So they are nice. They do add immersion. They do let you see more out of the bonnet. Um, but um, you're not going to be able to get the triple screen. Like with the thing with triple screens is you can put the screens at a tighter angle so you can see out your left window a bit and a little bit more out of the right. So so keep that's one thing to keep in mind. Um the thing with triple screens is they're a total pain in the arse unless you ha are playing like just eye racing or just one specific simulator that you've got it you, like you know it will run you know your PC is fast enough with it you know you can set it up and that's what you do you know it's the same thing you go into all the time um, and you you know normally if you're just that's your sim rig PC so it's totally for sim racing because if you if you use your pc like i do um so here i i have the stream so this is my streaming setup I, that that monitor is connected to a streaming pc this is connected to my main pc and then on my desk that's connected to the same pc that's playing ac right now and so is that tv is connected to it so basically i'm running three monitors off this down there and then i've also got a vr headset on the floor which is plugged into it but if you use your PC for anything else, if I had three monitors here, I wouldn't have any sockets left for anything else. So you're then you're then like, um, uh, you know, you're, you're screwed for sockets. You have to plug all your monitors in. They all need power sockets. You have to set it up correctly. It it if you ever go from one thing to another thing, it's a total pain in the ass. Um, so. I personally, I don't like that pain in the arse of triple screens. Um, but if you are, if you do set it up perfectly, it is the best all-round 2D type solution if you set it up perfectly. Um, so then, finally, the super super mega wide screen thing uh, is, I would say, the super mega wide all screen thing, uh, super wide single screen, is the most convenient best general quality in terms of like you can have uh, g-sync on it so it runs smooth um games that don't support triple screen will work perfectly fine on it you're only using one socket with your pc um so that's easier so yeah those are the considerations i can't tell you which one's best for you oh yeah vr vr if you want if you want absolute immersion you just have to go vr there's no real there's no real um, alternative. So, personally, if I was going for monitors, I would buy like an ultra wide monitor. I wouldn't bother with triple screens. But I totally understand why some people would go for triple screens. Rich, uh, you could tell you you never have any problems with your triple screen monitors, do you? You wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> we would, you wouldn't go to uh, Silverstone. To uh, to do to do some kind of uh, pitch or anything, and have to have someone stick their hand down the back of a monitor bracket last minute to fish out a monitor cable because it's come loose on one of the monitors. That 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 sort of thing never happens with triple screens. <laughs> uh, why do you regret it, DJ? 
All right, so at the moment I'm using a 40, this is a 40, uh, the 34 inch wide monitor and I, I really like it. To be honest, I was quite happy with the, the BenQ monitor that's on my desk over there. It's 32 inch or is it 34 inch? I don't know. Uh, for me personally, I when it comes to screens, it's like if it's not VR, it's a screen. <laughs> oh, too small. That's what she said. For work. Oh, right. Yeah, if you're doing work, I would have two. For, for a work desk, I, w I would have two. Um, just two normal. Uh, for work, two sort of 22-inch monitors is quite a good setup. Or actually, for work, one... Um, one vertical monitor is really good. It's really handy if you're doing spreadsheet stuff or like reading through things. Or for reference material. Yeah, mate, 29 inch is probably too thick. Well, how, how did I say this one's 34 inch? The one, the one disadvantage of ultra wise is that they tend to be quite thin. So you have to think about that. Think about that. Hey, John Miller. Hopefully that's uh, helped you out there. <laughs> There's your, all your monitor questions. I need to do it in a video and talk slowly with a deep voice and then I, then I can steal Chris Hayes... <laughs> Chris Hayes style. I can do some external views and then I can talk about monitors with some panning shots of monitors. People love that. I need to combine my method, the Broadbent method, the Super GT method, the Chris Hay method... <laughs> Whoa, drift entry. Okay, the rear's on this car. Chris Bow. The broad the broad bent method. Uh Shit. I'm not going to play Gran Turismo. <laughs> no. Sha uh, G G G GT Gran Turismo 3. A spec or whatever it's called. Play 100% those games. 100% force feedback challenges. I'd have to get in a shed. And I'd have to be like... I'd have to be a little bit louder than I am. Like 20% louder than I am. I'd have to put up with mental, a more mental chat room. <laughs> That's the bread box way. I actually, I, I haven't actually watched. I haven't actually watched any of Jimmy's content for like a year. Mate, I, I, did, I do not watch other YouTubers' channels really. Uh, in sim racing, I, I watch um, like survival channels, science channels. So I don't, don't actually. You know, occasionally I'll catch a little bit of like Suit Steven or Jardier or random call sign. I watch people live stream occasionally. I just don't. I don't watch sim racing videos because it's like, well, what what am I gonna <laughs> what am I gonna get from it? I, I live in a sim rig. Okay, you got to work with the understeer of this. It slops out a bit. I'm not very good with front-wheel drive cars. This has, it's not too bad, actually. <laughs> He's a sim rig, and he, li <laughs> he lives in a sim rig. <laughs> he sim races all day. I wear pink blouse and suspenders. <laughs> now, I, I, if it, when it comes to real cars, I'd rather watch like, um, like Chris Harris or something. I used to watch his channel. He 
Here we go. I haven't actually watched the new Top Gear, though. I don't know if you guys have watched it. The Grand Tour stuff. <laughs> I stopped watching Top Gear years ago. I used to I used to quite enjoy Top Gear. There was like a there was like a really good point in Top Gear. Where it was like they didn't particularly think they were funny. And so it kind of felt a bit natural rather than being forced. I just like a specific type of content on YouTube, like uh, Townsend's. <laughs> I like that. I like. I say I like survival programs. I just don't watch. I don't watch much car stuff on YouTube, to be honest, at all. I'm, I'm into. I'm not massively into cars. Like I'm. I, I'm. I really like sim racing. I like. I would like driving cars myself. But I'm not massively into car culture, if that makes sense. But there's a, I don't, there's, you know, if there's like an engineering, so when there's like an engineering video on cars, so there's some really interesting stuff like Kuna's Egg factory tours, or there's stuff about uh, aerodynamics, or you know, I like stuff like that. I, I, I like I like science and technology. It's kind of like accidental. Cars are like accidental, if that makes sense. Physio racer. Well, okay, so another example is like, I'm not massively into bicycles and cycling, right? But I really, there's some Velomobile channels. I really like watching them. And I watch some mountain bike YouTube channels, but I'm, I'm not into biking. But I find it in, like sometimes they'll have like a, a route, like a, a sort of analysis on specific types of bike or something. You know, it's it's not because it, I'm not watching it because I like bikes. I'm watching it because it's science and engineering. So that's. <laughs> I mean, it's like, okay, I don't do any fishing at all. And I, I've, I've been fishing like twice. I'd like to fish for food. I don't like fishing to put fish back in the water. But uh, I got really into that River Monsters TV show <laughs> with that guy, the London guy, years ago. Best cars, best best tax. Uh, no. It says tracks. That says tracks. <laughs> Am I missing an R? Let's have a look. What's going on there? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. I must have not pressed the key. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> how, do, how do keyboards work? Tax. <laughs> Yeah, have you never been driving on a tack? I'm all about the tacks. Tack, time, time attack. That's what I'm talking about. Refresh yet? Hopefully it'll update. Smooth streaming. Chili, chili breast, can you do a server? I, I, I'm so dyslexic, I, I don't notice stuff like that. I just don't. I just don't notice it. Uh, that's a good thing. You're you're, you're a dis dis dis. That's not a bad thing. It's about time everyone paid attention to like global warming, healthcare services, corrupt governments, uh, flawed capitalism, over going into offices when you don't need to. personal space <laughs> it's actually this uh, it's actually a good thing like if, it's a shame that all the death and everything is absolutely 
depressing. Uh, it's awful, but it's it's a uh, out of all things that could happen that are a potential warning to hang on a minute, guys. We need to change how we're doing things. This is probably about as mild as you get, where uh, but bad enough that everyone will take notice. So it could. It's actually. It's horrific, and it's and it's sad. Like I, I, everyone, I'm sure you guys all know people that have died and stuff, and you know everyone does. Uh, so you know that's bad, <laughs> obviously, but the, you, the, the, there is a positive to it. It's not all in vain. There is a positive to it. Hopefully, there might not be a positive to it. Probably won't be a positive to it. Everyone will just ignore it. It's fine. Governments just keep going as they did before. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, no, it's going to still be terrible. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> still be terrible. How naive of me. Fabrication. Project Binky. Okay, I'll check it out. We're epic streaming, random. Life, life lesson here, guys. Either way, we only live to like, let's say, median age for a guy. It's like this is 70 or something. Well, actually, it's 83 in the UK. But let's say, let's p put in your in your planner that you're probably going to live to about 70, minus a few years off that. Let's say we live to, a, let's aim for like, let's be conservative. Let's say 60. <laughs> so. Plan your life around. Plan your life around that. Try and get the most out of it. I mean, when you're dead, you're dead. Also, also ultimately, the Earth is going to get enveloped by the sun eventually. It's, it, and I, I don't know if humans are going to get the technology to escape the solar system to populate another planet. And, and even if they did, when you're dead, you're dead. So, I mean, it's nice whilst you're alive to have children and be like, oh, you know, they'll have children and they can have children and it continues on. But from your perspective, when you're dead, you're dead. So, it's kind of moot anyway. Like, it's, it's a bit, de it's depressing. Like, you want to have a positivity thing. You, you know, it's nice to know that there's a future, a continuation. But in all likelihood, there, there, there probably won't be an ultimate future because I, I don't know if humans will ever escape the Earth. So, well, escape the solar system, and then you have to think: why, why uh, preserve humans or the Earth in particular? Given that there's like a an infinite, there's, there's a, if the universe isn't infinite, say, say the, the universe might not be infinite. It's quite possible that there's an infinite number of universes. I guess it depends. You could say that is the universe is everything. Uh, as, as terms of how you use the word universe. But the, our observable universe isn't infinite, as far as we can tell. But even within that, there's probably billions of Earth-like planets with intelligent, sentient life that are every bit just as valid as us. So why, why be, like, racist towards humanity? Why be so, like, butthurt about humanity not surviving? If there's another sentient planet with, like, science and stuff on it, well, they've discovered the same sort of molecules and you know everything else so it doesn't really matter if humans die like they'll continue you know well yeah well you got the, mul the <laughs> multiverse thing on, on you you have like if you're then going to do it in different in terms of infinite timelines and stuff but even then it's even more the case the point is in all scenarios you you just come back to that you have to just just you have to try and best enjoy your life and try and do within the remit of what you've got available to you do what you can do that you enjoy that doesn't that doesn't remove enjoyment from other people as best possible that seems to be like the only logical philosophical con conclusion i can come to for life <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a simulation it's, that's moot 
whether or not it's a simulation doesn't make a difference. It's, it's real to you if you're in that s simulation. I mean, in terms of semantics of words, it's not a simulation from your perspective. So it, it doesn't matter. Ooh, race should be starting soon. A man with no... Well, no. What I've said applies if you've got children as well. I, I specifically said it's not. It's satisfying if you are, you know, continuing stuff. How did what I say not apply to having children? I didn't say destroy the earth. I didn't say it's not depressing not having a human future. I... Listen to listen to Prophet Muscle, man. You're not you, you got to listen. You got to pay attention, man. <laughs> well, we're we're off the session. You you always you want to regardless of if you've got children or so so there's a a misunderstanding in that people are like people say oh if you don't have children. Um. That, that you sort of have a sort of, oh, that's justification to destroy the earth because, well, you'll be dead, so you won't enjoy it anyway. That's not what I'm saying at all, and that and that's not correct as well. Like, e even if you don't have children, you should still want to protect the earth. Why does... Why would children change anything? Like, if you're not, an, if you're not a knobhead, it, it's irrelevant <laughs> if it's your children or someone else's children. Hi, James, you know. Hello. When you smoke that type of stuff, you need more <laughs> tobacco in the mixture. Oh, uh, no. Talking about the slow march to inevitable heat death of the universe at nine in the morning is too much. Goddamn entropy. <laughs> Curses entropy. <laughs> yeah, but it's all right. We use a time machine. Yeah, so uh, on the subject of children, I, I it really annoys me <laughs> when people that have children are like, ah, oh, you don't care because you have children. It's like, no, everyone should care because, like, if, like, if, if, if I see someone's kids being beaten up or something, I'm gonna be, I'll be like, what the, you know, I'll be just as annoyed as the parents or or anyone else. It's like. But yeah, I do hate children, so. <laughs> little, little crotch goblins. Also, parents, right? People that have children and they think that they're like Jesus because they've, they've managed to stick the penis in a vagina. Congratulations, you've had a, you've, you've done what nature was like, what you deserve. Well done. It's like, that's not the part of having, that's, that takes no skill. A, a total noob can make children and they often do. The skillful part is raising them. You you can't have pride in producing a child. The pride is in after producing the child. I mean, I mean bloody impressive for women putting up with having children because I think nature's pretty crap at like what they put women through. But s separate to that, the pride, the pride in children, is in educating them and helping them understand the world and you know, and be healthy and how to live and how to make life better for other people that that's what you get pride from it's like being it's like being nationalistically prideful it's like going oh i'm so proud to be british it's like why or proud to be german or australian or whatever it's like no you you, you can't innately be proud of where you're born you should be proud of anyone that's done a good thing anywhere or anything that you've done that's good <laughs> you know you got lazy people that want to claim pride for stuff so yeah po point is children are neither good or bad you, know, you can't have pride for just making someone pregnant or you know I, I think a woman could have a, a fair bit of pride in going through pregnancy because I think that's pretty bad <laughs> Times have changed. The kids are getting worse. Blame Canada. Shame on Canada. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> we need to get my camera here. Uh, camera. 
I was just I was telling a story. We were, we were going through important stories here. I like to do important stuff. Where's my webcam? Oh, there it is. It always tries to make me pale. Logitech really thinks I'm really white. Uh, I'd, I'd like children one day. I'm not. I'm not in a rush. I'd only ever have children if I knew I could uh, provide for them what I want to provide for them. We Germans were quite good with that in the past. National pride is, is something confusing. I don't... What, what do you mean? I don't remember Germany do it going a bit overboard with the whole national pride thing. John Miller, I go I go walking every other day. I do go outside now. I got I got a big COVID belly, so I've, I've I've had to start exercising again. All right, here we go. What mods? It's all on. Uh, if you get Content Manager, it'll tell you when you click downloads. It's all nicely say it's set out. Hello, units. Uh. Yeah, so what were we saying before? Um, existential despair. I think I think I think everyone should have a bit of existential despair. I think that's quite good. I think that's quite healthy. And you have to like, and you have to. Everyone should should always remind themselves that life is like really really temporary. I think it's really easy to forget. But on a day to day level, you often forget. And then you do stuff that you wouldn't do if you actually remembered. But I, I don't know. How pe pe you you can't really have a pointless argument if you're like, oh, yeah, hang on, this is pointless. <laughs> Unless you're enjoying the pointless argument. Now, you know that's you, that's entertainment. That's not really a pointless argument. You're having fun. Yeah, it's a simulated system, so you can't join uh, this unless you register up beforehand and they put you in the split. Resistance is futile. I don't think existence is pain. Not for me, because I live a priv privileged life. <laughs> exactly, drag bag. Now, I'm terrible at driving front-wheel drive cars, so uh, bear with me, guys. Yeah, if you if you enjoy sim racing, you're having fun. That's not pointless. Having fun is like... Having fun, at, not at the expense of other people, is literally the point of life. But you have to be careful, because if you just do too much of one thing, though it might seem like a fun thing, over time it will become less fun. And there, there's also, there's, you know, there's like immediate enjoyment, and then there's enjoyment that you get from stuff that takes, that's not innately fun at that point in time. Like, you, sometimes you do have to do something that on the face of it doesn't seem fun but actually it, it will be satisfying and fulfilling in the long term so so it actually is if you think about it in the right context it still is fun even though it feels shit at the time oh, let's get a lap in here is the dash not working on pit I don't know what you mean Oh, yeah, it's probably just broken. I think it's a shader patch thing. Hello, Johnny Cage. <laughs> I cannot drive front wheel drive cars to save my life. I never know with front wheel drive cars. How much, if it's faster to rag and sort of drag the car through the corner, or if it's faster to be smooth, and it, 
really depends from front wheel drive car to front wheel drive car. It's like some front wheel drive cars also prefer to be slid into corners a bit with a bit of, you know, the rear popping out and others don't. And it's really hard to know what, which one, what type of car you're driving. And some car, some front wheel drive cars like to be driven into understeer. I just took him out, sorry. And others don't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, separate. I'm talking about the corners where where it's appropriate. So what I like about rear wheel drive cars is they're pretty obvious. No, you're not, you're not meant to enjoy my streams. My streams are about despair. <laughs> Which English accent should you use? Uh, whatever you do, do not use, do not use a Birmingham English accent. Well, what the problem with front wheel drive cars when it comes to front end feel is it it gets uh, drowned out by torque steer so you often lose a lot of force feedback information from front wheel drive cars depends on the car though the, but the really stuff like this the front wheel drive BTCC cars in race room were quite good for feel and the Clio Cup's actually good for front end feel in, in project cars too Maybe I'm meant to coast through the corners a bit more. But the moment you get on the throttle, you get the torques in, you, you know, that's what you're feeling. How is it? Well, I've turned the force feedback back down. Uh, the torque steer is pretty strong on this. <laughs> Default setup doesn't seem too bad. Uh, yeah, well, so a, a lot of new people that are new to sim racing tend to struggle with losing the back of the car, like spinning, losing control of the rear of the car because they haven't developed the technique for catching cars. And a front wheel drive car, you just put your foot on the accelerator and it'll catch the back of the car. So if anyone hits you in a multiplayer race as well, you can just put your foot on the accelerator. And you kind of just, it kind of goes where you point it at, at, until you're getting really fast with them. So in that sense, yeah, front wheel drive cars are easier to drive. But if you know how to drive, when it comes to, if you, if you get into higher skill, I'd say front wheel drive cars are probably harder to be the absolute best in than real wheel drive cars. I think slower slower cars are actually they're harder to be the absolute best in because the skill curve is lower it's like it's like uh, for example Fortnite is would be it's insane to try and be the best player in the world at Fortnite because there's so many people playing it and the skill curve on it is actually quite low so even so weirdly, it ends up being harder to be the best player in a sense than, say, it would be a Quake Instagive or something, yeah, you know. Gratuitous mo... Does, uh, does that work with you, DD? This car, the one thing with front wheel drive cars that I find enjoyable is if you've got lift off oversteer.
Yeah, if you like front wheel drive cars, you probably enjoy this. I, I just I find this type of car very, very hard to really drive consistently. <laughs> exactly, John O'Ponner's on the same page as me. I like the, I really like Clio Cup though. I like front wheel drive cars that are super, super rotating. Because then you can use that rotation as a reference for how close you are to the limit. Oh, I'm gonna get one more lap in here. Hello, Mr. MR. I think I've got that, uh, Joss. Look at the on power understeer. I think the part of the problem for me with front wheel drive cars is just something I've not put a lot of time into. I've never done any hot lap stuff. Hello, Ozzy. How's it going, man? Ozzy Stig. Ozzy Stig. Upside down, top gear stig. He's been stung by a fish. <laughs> and his legs have been removed by a shark. Watch out, here comes the Aussie stig. Oh, Aussie stig, Aussie stig. He's been stung by a box jelly fish. No, I didn't quite work, does it? <laughs> Box Jelly Sting. I don't know. It's too early, guys. Can't be the pun master at this time. Oh, please don't hit me, car behind. Um, this is my best lap. I guess you kind of have to find that point, you know, between the understeer and then when you get on the throttle. I think if I died in the force feedback, you can probably feel that. Uh. I'm driving badly, that's what I'm driving. <laughs> what, what was this car? I can't even remember what it's called, so it's got a weird name. Keep trying, you'll get there. <laughs> Eighth, not last. I'm trying to get our ranking up in SRS. That's it, it's a tip tipo. Should be called the Tipex, so you can Tipex our, our lap time at the end of the race. Ah, oh dear. What were the lap times? 148, so. Right, let's be, just, just be safe. Right. Chase Jason Statham's awesome. I think he grew up in the Midlands where I grew up. I believe. I think Jason Statham used to go to the clubs in Burton on Trent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard that. Don't know if it's true. I just uh, I just repeat obvious lies. Look at this steering wheel, Momo. Oh, no, it's the OMP. It's the OMP. Is it a Trecento? I thought it was like the Trecento, but with Alcantara finish. It's a different OMP wheel. I like the OMP Trecento. Here we go. Fasten your nipples. Glue your trousers on.
how did we fit through there? Lube up the doors. Vaseline grease pass. I surprised the car fit through that gap. Moses. <laughs> Moses move. How did we get such a good launch? Was I just really quick on the uh, lights out? Lights out and away we slow. Cheat mode, war hacks. Thank you. <laughs> I blocked it because he barged me on that other corner, so I think it's fair. Drift entry, guys. Oh! I'm getting absolutely punch smacked here. <laughs> Little bit of bargy bargy in this race. Thanks for subscribing, Genovi uh, Pippo. Well, yeah, I was semi-illegally blocking this red car. I'm not going to do it now, but only because he um, he, he basically he, he knocked into me on the. Uh, no, he's doing it now. I, okay, sod him. I'm just going. I'm not letting him pass. I let him move up the inside there because. So the first lap, he was ramming to pass me on the, on the right-hander down the hill. So I'm like, well, if you're going to do that, I'm not going to let you through in a fair way. You're going to drive hard, I'll drive hard. But I let him go through basically there. Like, I don't defend it, drive it fairly. And he just rams me, so... Who is it? An Antonio Jimenez. He just totally barged me off the track for no reason. Oh, look, that's what these guys are doing. They're, what they're doing is they're missing the break point on purpose and then just going up the inside. <laughs> that's not how you overtake. And that, that, they're doing it because it's a front-wheel drive car. So they're missing the break point, going up the inside and then barging the car on the outside off the track as a way to overtake. That's not... That's not how you overtake. <laughs> if you try doing that in a real-world drive car, you'd crash yourself. Yeah, to be, I have been totally punted to seventh here. Well, now I know how these people drive. I'm going to just do it to them. <laughs> Bloody rough, this. This is this is destruction derby driving. Look, he's missed a brake point. He's understeered into the car on the outside and he's knocked him and that's what he's... <laughs> I mean, that was close. It wasn't too bad, but you see what he did? Two can play that game. That game. I know we actually did a good overtake there. That's actually a good pass. This is like pit manoeuvre race in this. No, you can't do that, you penis. He's... So I defend the inside and the car, he... he what a knobhead. I move to the right there to defend it. He still goes up the inside. I brake early because I'm on the inside and you have to brake to make the corner. And the car just drives... What a... What a knob! Who is he? What a knob! Like, how are you... Sp 
If I'd have not defended the inside and gone out the outside, he would have gone up the inside and punted me anyway. I think he's just taken that guy out. What a knobhead. Xebiot... Ex well, he's got a bin in his name. Exubin ex Lee. <laughs> he's got a bin in his name, so it's fair enough. Oh, be it's, if it's Chinese, that'll be Zhao Zhao Bin Lee. Zhao Bin, he'll bin you. <laughs> You've been Zhao Bin. <laughs> Zhao Bin. Ah, oh. thank God Osama Bin Laden's dead. He would have been well bad in a sim rig. <laughs> Zhao Bin. <laughs> Xiao <laughs> Bin. Sounds like a mo type of mobile phone. Xiao Mi's gone under. They've been replaced by the Xiao Bin. Xiao Bin Industries. <laughs> I like to put my rubbish in the Xiao Bin bag. <laughs> you shall be binned. He's got more bin than the average rubbish tip. See, the car, the car behind did what you meant to do there. So uh, Isaiah Lucas was catching on us a bit, but he still had to break to go through the corner. And so he didn't plough into us. He didn't zhao bin us. We need some we need some Zhao Bin techs. It's, it's a shame because the race is actually apart from Zhao Bin and that other guy, the three namer, this has actually been pretty good driving. We've got 12 minutes to uh, try and catch Zhao Bin. Hello, German Vettel. Welcome to Zhao Bin Racing. No, I'm all right, actually. I went to sleep at like midnight, woke up at like eight, and then just jumped in my sim rig. Because everyone was whinging. Not enough of Chateau Corsa. You don't play enough of Chateau Corsa. Nye, 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 nye. So here we are, playing a Chateau Corsa. I have to say, guys, you have all these YouTubers going, ah, oh, we've got the best, best channel members, best subscribers. I'll tell you why, I have the worst. <laughs> I have the worst subscribers and channel members. Game of Muscle videos, it's a cesspit of despair, guys. <laughs> the worst, the worst streamer attracts the worst, the worst channel members. That's all I can say. Hello, Nick. It's not easy. I get complaints from everyone. <laughs> I get, but everyone whinges at me for every, Like, even whatever I play. If I play AC, you get people going, when are you playing Project Cars 2? Well, actually, it'll be Automobile Listed 2. I, you know, I play a flight sim. People be like, when are you next playing this game? I, I play VR. When are you next playing Traffic Sims? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna defend the inside. This guy, see this guy, driving perfect. He went for the, the thing there, he was behind us. I defended on the inside. He makes a move around the outside. He's you know, absolutely, absolutely perfect racing. Mr. Isaiah Lucas for president there, look at that. Finds his way through, no contact, absolute spot on. I'm in love with Mr. Lucas. I'm in love with Lucas. <laughs> Despite him passing me, it was a good overtake. It's good racing. He waited two or three laps as well. Top notch. Top notch driving. That's all you need. It, it happened like, you know, racecraft, guys. 
You don't have to be a you don't have to be a Zhao Bin. If you're faster than the car in front and there's at least ten minutes left in the race. You know, I mean, sometimes you do have to, like, force your way through a bit, but... I'm installing rocket launchers on my car for the next one of these. If we put landmines, claymores on the doors... That'll do the trick. Probably at some point. Oh, I missed a power up. Hello, uh, Red Eye Bandit. Yeah, the good thing with Claymore mines is you can direct them. It actually, on a Claymore, it actually says written on them, point towards enemy, <laughs> just so you don't accidentally point the Claymore at yourself when you blow it up. You can actually have a you can actually have a claymore really quite close to you if it's pointing the opposite way, and it won't actually hurt the, you. Like I think you could be within meters of them. I think the idea is like say you were say you secured a building, you could be in the like you could put a claymore next to a like a door in next to the room that you're in to protect to act as a protection for that room that you're in, so no one sneaks up on you. What do the... Do the, the British don't have claymores. I mean, we probably use claymores. What do we use, though? Was there, is there like a... All I know about the World War II and grenade trip, trip-wise. <laughs> this is the tip, Tipex car. Someone Google, guys, what the British Armed Forces use uh, if they use claymores. Now, I don't think that's the correct racing line into that, but it's the fun line. Crumpets. British Army use rats filled with explosives. <laughs> the British Army use a cri crippled economy and a, and a completely useless foreign policy so that no one wants to invade the country anyway. It's a genius. It's next level strats. Ah, the uh, too shit to invade strategy. They'll ne the enemy will never see through it. Oh come on, Zhao Bin's gonna get counterbinned if we're lucky. Zhao bin him! Come on! Come on, Eyes Eyes Lucas! Come on, Racecraft Master, you can you can Don't let him bin you, man. Come on. Hello, JK. Come on. Come on, Lucas. Get the bin. Game Lucas. Yes! Oh no! Come on, Lucas! Remove the bin from the track. <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be in this race. Oh, come on. Go. He's got up the, he's got up the right side. Go on. Go on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There goes the bin! Zhao binned! Ah, <laughs> oh, what a takedown! Honour restored, guys. 
Oh man, this is like Klingon racing. <laughs> We're in sixth place, not even seventh. I'm going to let Lucas pass if we get to the uh, end of the race. Justice restored to sim racing system. That was a glorious, that was a glorious battle. Kapla! Pure Klingon honor guard. Those of you just joining us, we got binned by Zhao Bin 10 or so laps ago, and he was, he was absolutely ramshackling us. So in case you're thinking, oh, that's crashing. No, that's, that's justice, guys. He fought the law and the law won. <laughs> Everyone else has been racing really good on this server. <laughs> well, the race is back on here. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Hopefully I can close the gap on uh, Paolo Maniti. He's been driving nicely as well. That's the thing with sim racing. You can have like... 20, 20 people that drive really nicely, really good, clean drivers, and then two that drive awful, and it really does kind of damage the race for everyone. As, as we have seen in uh, <laughs> some of the pro races. Oh, look! Paolo Maniti runs wide there. He ran out of track. You've got to take off enough speed that's good for us getting the draft here hopefully speed aggro <laughs> two minutes left here just like IRL whoa I was a bit early on my brakes trying to be smoother through there because I'd done some crazy slides beforehand. I'm too fast to need a dash. I, I drive by engine note alone. Oh, I think we're in the draft. I might actually be able to get, if I overtake him then I'm not gonna let uh, Isaiah go past but if I, if I don't overtake this guy I'll let Isaiah go past the last lap Isaiah Lucas for his justice serving pressure's on this car in front Paolo look at the car bobbling around all over the road surface I'm trying, BKS. <laughs> go, 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 go. He's suffering for grip for some reason. Oh! Huge error, the pressure got to him. I think we both got past him. He's gone. He's in the wall. Oh, no. What happened there? I'm going to defend the inside line here. Whoa, drift entry. <laughs> well, we managed to not hit him. <laughs> Take calculated move, guys. Calculated. Eh! Side the new entry! Nani! 
super defender. Ooh. Textbook front wheel drive, defend the inside line again. Final lap. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Bobsled entry. Nice pass by Isaias again. Absolutely fantastic driving by him. <laughs> 10 out of 10 drift do. <laughs> We have to look at the replay of this race. We had an amazing race start as well. I have to say, Isaias deserves finishing in front of us, though. He, he did, like, two really nice overtakes on us. He restored justice to the server. The most honourable of sim racers. That was nice racing. Fifth place is alright, considering we got punted twice. Well done, Andrea Mobile, Alex Bernardinardis, Gabriel Thomas, Isaiah Isai Lucas, legend. Zhao Bin <laughs> came behind us. Too bad. Too bad you got binned, mate. <laughs> right, let's watch the replay here. Oh, sip of coffee. I need to open my window a bit. It's a bit warm in here. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Did everyone click the like button? If you didn't, you should feel very ashamed of yourself. I'll set Zhao Bin on you. Right, guys, watch this race start. This was this was emotion. Am I car one? Are you... How do you know which car's which? No, car one. I always forget this. Every sim has its own little... Guys, this was, this was incredible. This was... <laughs> oh, I mean, you can't get any. I'm telling you, lubricating the doors was a good, good idea. People say lubricating the doors is a silly strat, but <laughs> control L for names. There we go. Look at this. And it, can you? <laughs> I mean, that's a little bit, it's a little bit ambitious, but, I mean, come on. They left a car space there, guys. That's all you need. They left a car space. <laughs> Can we do reverse? What's free camera in AC? Will that, will that free cameras? I did tap him, unfortunately. Uh, how do you get... 
it don't work in uh, the replay view. Do you have to be on a certain camera? It don't they don't work? F5. Ah, oh, there we go. Can we zoom in and out? It's a mouse wheel, isn't it? Oh, look at this. You've got to lube the doors. Max lubrication. Forget Max Verstappen. Max lubrication. It's Coming through. <laughs> Squeezed. Oh, my God. That was good. I did give him a tiny tap, but, you know, it's all right. Oh, look. Zhao Bin. He was already from the start. He already took that guy out. Look here, this guy's driving in a nice straight line. Zhao Bin just uh, binned Tim Versa, Versnet. Zhao Bin was binning people throughout the entirety of this race. Look at that, maybe he's lagging. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe his ping's just really high. Right. Hello, James Tabolti. Good racing there. Xiao Ping. <laughs> and we got taken out by this guy, Antonio Germanes. You can see him. No, there's no other people report him. If he's a proper crasher, I don't like reporting people because I'm streaming and. Uh, it's even more, you know, it, it's like it, it might get more unfair attention. Also, I know the guy that runs Sim Racing Systems, so, you know, I, I, it's not fair for other people. If I report them, it might have more weight than other people. So, unless someone's literally driving around the track backwards or doing something, I won't say anything. So, this guy... Great. Thanks for thanks for that move on me, uh, Antonio. Uh, I'm not sure. I, AKG. I've seen some, some stuff. I'll have to do a video on it. <laughs> My drift entry there, textbook. <laughs> a little bit of door banging. I think it was on the T1, he's ramshackled us again. Now that was alright. No, see, that's not alright. It was fine, he did this perfectly fine here. So this is fine, this is great. Like, you uh, get up the inside, he's broken off, he's not understeering into us. But what he does here is he's purposefully getting on the throttle... I'm holding, you can see my line is straight, and this guy's literally just driving into us. He's, so yeah, what a sod head. What a penis. Tip winkling me off the, look, and he's done it again there. What a knobhead. Antonio Wamez Fran, dirty three namer. <laughs> Bloody three namers in, in racing sims. And that slowed me, that put me back for that car as well. Cockfosters. Now, what's this guy doing? That's not... You're not going to complete a pass there. <laughs> Venus. Right, I get it. You want to get past the car in front, but you, you can't 
ram them off the track. So he does it as well. I mean, come on. Then we get, we get, oh, hang on. Did Sal bin not bin us? Was that someone else that binned us? <laughs> the, 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 oh, no. I'm sure we got Sal binned. I know we did. There we go. There's the Sal bin. Yeah, we got Sal binned. It's straight like people go, well, you know, it's your fault uh, for not being fast enough or whatever. But then how is it then that we managed to then catch up with Zhao Bin and uh, we were racing perfectly fine with other guys? Oh, Titus race. Let's go. That was good fun, though. I still enjoyed it. It was nice racing. It was made up by the other guys that were racing cleanly. I don't know why it's so... Oh, uh, what? What do I need to download most? I thought I got it already. Most Autodrome. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it already. Let's have a look here. Most Autodrome. Isn't this track terrible? <laughs> I can't remember. Ah, uh, where is it? There we go. Most autodrome. Some say it is the most autodrome of all the drones that are auto. What's going on here? Moist. <laughs> And is it a fictional track? I still got my logo on it. I think the guy that made it put my... I can't remember. Uh, yeah, well, the netcode Matthew hasn't been fixed, so there's no real... I, I, I like playing it with other people, so... I don't mind the... I quite like the handling before. <gasps> the force about is fine with the DD wheel. Right, here we go. There we go. It's working now. Sick head sim racing. Oh, it is a real track. Nice. Whew, I'm hungry already. I only had breakfast like an hour ago. Ten minutes to go here. The Titus is an epic car. I, I like it. It's nice and simple. DD girl with a DD wheel. She went to Fanatec to catch a deal. 20 newton meters talk. She's so damn strong. <laughs> Maximum strongs. I only got up an hour ago. Ah, oh, okay, Ginger. I, I woke up at uh, like 8. My pillow fell down the back of my bed. I was like, ugh. <laughs> well, at least I got like 7 hours of sleep, which is quite good for me. <laughs> McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> Uh me and Random Course I've had a McDonald's breakfast. It was it was really exciting. <laughs> I think that was the last McDonald's I had. Oh stretching my back here. Uh, 
I need to tighten my pedal after this race. Both the t <laughs> the tops bend it. I need to tighten the top bits up, and I need to tighten the side bits. So, can you remind me after the race to tighten my brake pedal? Oh, this is coming loose here. Can you see that? There's a little screw there. I put the wrong screws on it, actually. It's my fault. <laughs> really, to tighten it properly, I need to take the pedal off. Like You have to remove the, the uh, brake motor thing. Because uh, I won't tighten it in seven minutes. I could give it a go, actually. I could try it. Let's, let's see if we can. Good idea. Where's me, uh, where's my toolkit gone though? Ah, oh, here we go. Ugh. Oh yeah, I need the, really need the Allen key. Oh, this might still work. I, the Allen key should really be on the outside because then you can. Uh, <laughs> you can't, unfortunately. There's not enough gap. Otherwise. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> this is how you do it, guys. If you've ever wondered how toolkits work, you use your hands. I was a bit lazy when I put these back on. <sighs> Tighten her up, boys! Tighten her up, boys! Got to have your sim pedals tight. Ah, there we go. That bottom one was totally loose. Do, 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 do. How much time do you guys spend fiddling with your sim rig? That's not the right size. <laughs> Still too big. It's number four. Hello, thanks for subscribing. Welcome. Sorted. She's tight now. Mark Howell, thank you. That was quicker than I was expecting. It took two minutes. <laughs> this is top entertainment. Oh, no, I just tightened this at a wonky angle. Oh. <laughs> I'm not moving that back. Oh, well. Bugger me. I just tightened it with it slightly to the side. Oh, well. Uh, the, these use Hall, hall Effect sensors. Oh, you just want to ask about CSL Elites? Yeah, you have to clean them every now and again. A little spray of uh, air into the pots does, does them, yeah. These, you can see here the sensors at the side. Uh, hall Effect sensor, where it, just, it measures the magnetic distortion of a magnet moving. Generally better than potentiometers. They don't wear out. And they can be conf and they can be configured at any specific like no they don't have to use a definitive angle like a potentiometer. Oh. 
Hey, well, it, hello, Joshua. Truly was exciting. I like to really push the boundaries of entertainment. Uh, you need to get sim racing system. And then uh, just join, join with that. Get content manager, then get sim racing system and you're sorted. You're more out of breath than usual. Yeah. My lungs are still getting better. After watching your AC, I went back to it and I take back everything I said. They forced me back so nice and you can catch slides. Of course, Lucas. Everything I say is uh, I, I'm Lord Jesus of force feedback. <laughs> BKS Media. I've, I've been fine with the lockdown. To be honest, uh, they said uh, in, uh, was it February, March? I can't remember. I, I wasn't very well, so I'm just happy to, to, put, to be well, to be honest. A lockdown thing's not really bothering me at all. Uh, you have to register with like 10 minutes to spare, well, 5 minutes, 6 minutes to spare or something. Looking better each day. <laughs> uh, there we go. Get a little bit of practice in here. Oh. <laughs> That's what would happen in real life if I, if I drove a real Titus. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you're, if you work at home... I mean, the only difference with the lockdown thing for me is that there's certain events and things I would have gone to, and uh, some. Uh, so I, I, there's a few people that I go out and visit that I haven't. Typically, for me, I normally um, I normally meet up with some friends on the weekends. Friends on the weekends. Oh, hang on. I know this track from. I know this track from uh, Race Room. Lidl's been great. It's mostly empty. You have to find shops that are like not in town centres, basically. You have to find supermarkets and things that are slightly out of the way. I've got friends that live in London and they can't, they have to queue up for hours. <laughs> to be honest, London's a terrible place to live. Ah, I missed a break point. That might, give my, might move my camera back a little bit. Well, that is the camera. There we go. See, see. There we go. A bit more visibility. Uh, I don't use that much toilet paper. I think some people are like use a whole toilet roll each time they go to the loo. Hello, 
Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good track, but it's very hard to uh, master it. It's one of those kind of tracks. It's like Swedish Donington with a few extra corners. I think this is in Sweden, isn't it? I think it's a Swedish track. Sweden. Or as uh, as we now like to call it, Covington. <laughs> Most autodrome <laughs> in the India technique. This is going to be a total carnage race, I can tell already. Just from the nature of the track. Oh, it's Jardier's logo. A terrible track, then. <laughs> right. I oh, was in. I thought it was in Sweden. I didn't know it was in. Didn't know it was Czech. My mistake, sorry guys. Do I, uh, should I do a little light button graphic? Woo, there the wheel goes. Thanks guys. I watched uh, watch YouTube on my mobile phone. I don't know where the like button is on the mobile phone. <laughs> YouTube doesn't seem very well designed on mobile phones. Yeah, we've got to get a quality lap in here. See, this is actually, it is a very good racetrack. It's like a simple, deceptively simple, like deceptively hard. Why is there cars parked on the stands? <laughs> okay. Maybe that's normal in the, in the Czech, in the lands of the Czech. I use uh, I use rubbing alcohol instead of toilet paper. <laughs> I use I use a concoction of bleach, methylated spirit, and rubbing alcohol, along with some uh, steel wool <laughs> and uh, yeah, electronics uh, wall sander. Does the job. I actually, I, I use a small pyrotechnic. Got to get rid of those little bits. <laughs> I use a miniature rocket launcher. Lighter fluid. Yeah, you've got to make sure you get the temperature up. I actually put my backside into a uh, pottery kiln for two hours. This is most autodrome, Elenando. We 
really need to be in the top 10, otherwise we're in the carnage zone for the race. He's become a member. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, that's illegal. You can't be a YouTuber that becomes a member. <laughs> Dead little bastard. Ah, oh, see, that's what happens when Super GT becomes a member. Instant punt. <laughs> Guys, you know what's about to happen? There she is, from the sky, like an angel upon high. Dee Dee Girl with the Dee Dee Wheel, what a babe, what a beauty. Look at her wrist, it's a Dee Dee Girl with the Dee Dee Wheel. Powerful and strong. She's got Accuphor, Simutech, Fanatech, Dee Dee One, and Dee Dee Two, Dee Dee Legs. DD arms and the DD buns keep her hair in shape. What a beautiful woman from a simmering made of aluminium profile. What a beautiful woman. She only likes high talk for feedback devices. DD girl with the DD wheel. 200 newton meters of power. Hang <laughs> on, 200 newton meters. That's enough to lift a ferry. Dee Dee Girl with the Dee Dee Wheel. So strong. Dee Dee Girl with the Dee Dee Wheel. With the Dee Dee Legs and the Dee Dee Breasts and the Dee Dee... Oh, there she's gone, she's gone. Thank you, Super GT, for becoming a channel member. You're now banned from the channel. Guys, all remember to unsubscribe from Steven, Super GT, terrible console peasant YouTube channel, driving the worst driving games, GT Sport. It's, I mean, so bad it has to lie on the box and it's a simulator. Look what it's done to Steven. Just look, just look at Steven. Next time you watch uh, Steven's live stream, just before unsubscribing to his channel and disliking, just look into his eyes and, and, and look at the deep despair. Well, actually, I say that because he's a robot. He doesn't feel, he doesn't feel emotion. If Steven was human, he would feel despair. But he's like Data in Star Trek without the emotion chip. That's how he drives so quickly. He has no feelings other than finely attuned servo motors in his arms to turn the wheel quickly. <laughs> Poor Stephen. I say, it would, if Stephen actually had feelings, it, it would be quite a sad tale. But alas, he doesn't, so it's okay. <laughs> you know... It's like the robots in Star Trek. It's like the Borg. You think, oh, ejecting them into space. That's terrible. But, uh, you know, it's fine. They're all, they're all dead inside. So what else is dead inside? My ability to lap at a reasonable pace on this circuit. Mr. GT, did you practice uh, for the Porky tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tuesday? For Tuesday? That's not tomorrow the Silverstone National Circuit. Uh, I'm interested to know what lap time you get with the car because it drives like a cross-channel ferry. I did, I did three hours of hot lapping yesterday. It was painful. Well, we could probably do like a practice server again on the Tuesday. Right, guys, I need to concentrate for this lap. I need to get a... We're literally last here. You should join us on AC, Stephen. It's really good. Especially with the DD wheel. 
Ace is not... In terms of viewership, though, it's not that popular. But in terms of it being... For force feedback, if you set your wheel up nicely, it's incredible. Right, come on. Got to get in the top ten, otherwise we're screwed at the start of this. God, I just don't have the flow through those corners. Exactly, <laughs> no apex is hit. Ah, oh, Christ! Do I get one more lap? No. <laughs> Bloody hell! Well. It looks like we're doing this uh, from the back. I can't lose this because we'll lose a lot of rating. Hello, tortellinis. The thing, you can really attack with this Titus way more than many other cars. But then if you miss a break point like that, you're done. Yeah, it's like a small track, but it's really technical. Last time I drove this track was in uh, race room with a GT3 car. It's, a, it's actually easier in that car because that car's not as nimble. You can't attack in the same way, so the, the corners are more obvious what you need to do for them. With the Titus, it's got so much downforce, you're not like running wide on the corner. Do you know what I mean? It's like you don't have to use the whole corner. pain guys <clears throat> medium tires for the race uh, well the medium tires actually drive uh, easier than the soft tires in some ways so that'll help like they, they've got less grip so they're more they're more slidey which you know weirdly makes it easier to to drive. Here we go. Casper uh, disowned. Bugger me. Starting. <laughs> Starting in the back, guys. This is going to be. This is going to be a mess. Straight up to 11th there. Trundle, on, <laughs> trundle past the car park. I think what happened there is people got used to the soft tyres. So they didn't drive expecting the mediums. <laughs> I 
Uh, well, I was, I was, stayed really wide. I mean, normally I expect a car to drive into the back of me in that situation. You know, drive. You just try and drive around the very far edges of the track. It's the most likely way to survive that kind of situation. 400 IQ. Yeah, you know, I thought I could qualify at the front, or I could just qualify last and avoid the crash. Try and catch up with these guys. Let's get on the tail. Get the draft off them. That's a good start though. Use the mirror. Use the mirror to like get out of the way of people. This is most autodrome there, the dive. Welcome along. <laughs> We're closing the gap, I think. 1.5 second gap. Ah oh dear, two one. You do have to lift a bit there. Whoa, car in the wall. <laughs> you do have to lift for that final corner. That guy's just missed a break point. Almost into the side of us there. Thank you. Thank you, mate. <laughs> No, that's that's just the real time uh, display. This is part. Of, this is in the game. <laughs> you have to get the entry into that so right, otherwise you lose so much time. This is like it's like an R factor on track conversion. You can tell because the road surface is totally smooth. Feels like I'm driving on a glass table. really could do with a car in front of me because it helps me uh, focus on the line through the through the corners
Hopefully this guy's got pace. We can draft him to the uh, cars in front. Oh man, we're not fuck tens up. That's how badly we were messing up some of those corners before. I mean, there's like two seconds in this track. <laughs> I'm really, I'm having to concentrate to drive this. This is the Titus of Bath uh, ramp uh, Really good trainer car. Oh, we are closing in on the uh, the other these other two guys. They were five seconds up. Now they're um, three point eight, and they're battling. So it's good for me. Andy in 14. Ba -ba 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 Here we go. Bit of a battle in front of us. Good for me. I think that's just a lift through there. <laughs> it's me breaking for it. I think there might be an accident. We'll get a place if there is. He's hassling him. <laughs> He's all over him. Wheel bagging. One point eight seconds between the uh, us and the car in the middle of that group. Ah! 
<laughs> Goodbye, so long, suckers. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> what a shame. Oh dear. Hate, I'd hate for someone to park it on the apex and everyone to drive into them. Up to eighth. Last to eighth so far. Eight minutes left. Rigged. Our uh, electronic polling stations are perfectly fine. Ah, oh, man, thank you. What? Hang on, what is that rupees? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Loving your content, mate. Keep rocking. Thank you. Ah, oh, rupees and the horse under the lorry. Didn't get better than that. Really appreciate that, man. What a ledge. I think that is the first time we've ever had rupees. Or was it... That, was that rupees? I'm hyped. <laughs> Let's not do what they did. Ah, thank you, man. I need to go to, like, the post office and get, like... <laughs> One pound notes from each currency. I like different uh, currencies. I think it's quite interesting. Woo! Six minutes left. Uh, I don't know. It's, it'll be... I don't know. I don't, it's not... No, I don't know. <laughs> I would be a good film to watch. Hey, Ben, how's it going, man? Australian Ben. Oh, no, we've got cars coming up behind us here. I don't care, it's all good. Appreciate it. Money is a money. A money is a money. Defend the inside line there. Nice and easy. Still five minutes to go in this. <laughs> I reverse winkled the car behind us. Whoops a daisy, that was my fault. I mean, he lost control, but I, I broke too early and he overreacted and lost his car. Next level takedown, guys. The best, the best punts are the ones where uh, it doesn't look like you did anything. <laughs> totally bad pixel in with that. It was like a... A brake check. Inception punt. Poker punt. Ah, oh, bugging me. My rear tyres are. Uh, I need to watch out. My rear tyres are actually melting off the car. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, Jules. When you realise that I provide the ser the service of despair, an existential crisis, you we're actually quite good at that. It's what we offer. It's what we bring to the table. Oh, he's lost it as well. I think people are losing it because of their tyres going off. So we just got to drive very carefully.
poker me. <laughs> that is just a lift off through there. Oh, that will happen one day. That's that's that'll be uh, you know that's. I can't deliver that too early because that'll be peak gamer muscle. I haven't, no. I haven't tried that mod. Oh, no, I haven't. Woo, a bit wide. Well, we're catching with Felipe Alcon. we only two minutes left. Give it a go at some point. If I could pick up a seventh out of this after starting last. Deep into that corner there. Oh shit! Okay, we've got a bunch of cars behind us. We can't make any mistakes. Bugger me! Got off the grid behind us. Ah, oh, thanks for subscribing. No pressure, guys. Jesus Christ! Final lap here, I think. I hope. We've got seven cars behind us. Run away! <laughs> Run away! He will run away. Go, go, go. <laughs> we did get a little bit of a gap there. Whew. Seventh? Oh, is that because people have left the server? Or is that actually a legit seventh? Nice. I know we were eighth. That was good though, we started last. That was good good racing. Oh, C6R next. Let's do that. That'll be good. Yeah, that was good racing. We're getting our ranking up here, guys. My rating is on 644. I need to... Uh, we have to keep going to get it up. 
We've had some good results, though. We've we've done, like... Well, we've just done three races, and we've been in the top ten on each one, which is pretty good. Corvette it, guys. We're normally pretty good at Road America. If we don't get punted, we're all right. Your first lap, 20 car pass. Next level. How are we doing on the old likey buttons here? Yeah, get get yourself on the sim racing system. It's fantastic. So are you uh, are you living in India at the moment? Whereabouts in India? I, I really want to uh, visit India. There's, there's like a bunch of countries I want to go to. I want to go to... I think New York would be a shithole, but I really want to go to New York and I want to visit different states in America. I really would quite like to go to some parts of like Russia... I think I'd manage like two weeks in India before having a mental breakdown. <laughs> it's too noisy, but I'd really like to see parts of it just out of just out of interest. Oh, guys, <laughs> you know what's about to happen. Oh, I love Indian food. <laughs> so is that? Ah. Uh... I'd, I'd get one of those uh, Indian uh, head massage <laughs> things as well. Come to South Africa. I've been there uh, as a baby. I, I've been to Zambia. <laughs> I know that's not South Africa, but here we go, guys. What a woman. They, they go in the day they will. She's so strong, she's so powerful. It's a day day go, it's a day day wheel. She's got all the power. Day day go, it's a day day wheel with all the wheels and the strength. She's got Aki 4, Sim UQ, Sim Magic, Father Tech, DD1, DD2, and uh, Father Tech. <laughs> Where's the Father Tech? Goal of other attacks. DD girl with the wheel and the DD legs of powerful talk. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. All the DDs, all the DDs. DD girl with the DD wheel. So much strength. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie. Ah. Uh, She's so chill, she no chill. Uh, she she used the Fanatec affiliate link and, and she used the Sim Magic. She used all the affiliate links. Uh, I, need a, I need a drink and a cup of tea. Thank you, man. Thank you for becoming a channel member, Reggie. First time watching this stream. I think we're on like 110 channel members or something ridiculous. Let's have a look here. Oh, that's the fish. That's not... <laughs> that's the wrong button. Let's have a look here. It's almost as if it'd be nice if it said on the screen, but it doesn't. Uh, my channel. Trottle, trottle, trottle. Oh, hello. Hello, James. Oh, hello. Why are you not playing Race oh. Racing Experience? Wow. This contains no sort of room nor experience. They're not paying enough. Do you know ra your race room racing experience? Experience. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We will be cancelling our contract oh, with you with no. all payments. Cut up. Goodbye. Bugger. Christ. I'm going to have to complain to JF now. JF promised me he was going to pay me even more money. Build up anticipation for the next race room stream. Right, memberships. Here we go. What are we on? 111 channel members. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Right, I'm just going to uh, get a cup of tea. I might get a bit of chicken breast. I'm starving. F. So I'll be back in a second, guys. I'll give you a bit of a BRB. Register up to this uh, next race, C6R. They've actually got a good selection of cars on the sim racing system this this time. The Titus is good. The front wheel drive's good for people that hate cars that drive well. 
and uh, this one's nice. Back at back in a second. Oh, my radiator's on. I was, I was like, why is it so hot in here? It's my radiator's on. Turn that off.
Hello, hello. Ah. Oh, I hit the like button. Why not? Bit of chicken breast here. Who else eats chicken breast like this? <laughs> Are you guys signing up? Any of you in the chat signing up for the race? Um, I'm not sure if it's fixed that up. Last time we did it, I, people didn't seem to be pulling away. Where's my... Where you can see your rating? Oh, here we go. Six. I've dropped loads. Yeah, we have to get our rating back up. I always look pale, unless I go out in the sun. It's the webcam. Mostly making me look pale. Um, because the race is in ten minutes anyway, and I'm eating my f I'm eating dinner. <laughs> I have to get my nourishment in. Reggie, I I haven't done any SRS race in months. Got to, well, to don't submit footage. <laughs> just, just like ignore them. That's what I do. Just, just expect people to crash you and then drive around it. The race room pro pack's good to buy when it's on sale. To be honest. Or just, just do the competitions and get the cars for free. Uh, I uh, super hot wheels. I I do uh, my own food prepping. That's why I've got these random chicken breasts <laughs> that I'm eating on their own because I bought too much chicken, so I had to cook it because I I I don't like wasting f uh, meat at all, like as a thing. So uh, so if it's going off, I have to cook it, and then I end up having to just eat it, you know. Three pounds a meal is a lot of money as well. <laughs> I can't afford that. I um, yeah, no, I normally do like um, I'll cook like a big chili. Then I have individual glass containers. So I um, I'll, I'll cook like six or seven meals worth of food, and then I'll eat one or two of them, and then I'll freeze the rest. I tend to eat, um, I, I, I'll eat a lot of protein rather than, um, carbs. Protein and vegetables.
I like doing um, stews in the slow cooker's good. Use a herb. Okay. Seven minutes to go here. Oh! Marcelo! Jesus Christ. Ten pounds. Mental. Will the donation read it? Should do. Tea's a leaf. I've actually got a cup of tea here. Oh. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity <laughs> for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Get some hot sauce for that chicken GM. Thank you, ma'am. Um I can't I can't eat um hot sauce unfortunately, like spice like really spicy stuff, it, it really messes up my stomach. I really, I like, I really like spicy stuff. I like proper, like spicy curries and stuff, and like, you know, but it just, it really messes up my stomach for like three days. <laughs> like, you know, it's not good. It's a shame because I really like, um, I really like spicy chicken wings, like you know, proper spicy chicken wings and like Tabasco uh, sauce on pizza and things. I, I really like it. I, I really like when you're eating food and like it's like stinging and like I quite like that, but I don't. I I I, I it makes me literally sick. <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't. I don't have any spice now. I I don't even have like proper piri piri chicken, proper mild. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's, it, it'd be all right if it was just like, oh, you know, if it was just like, oh, diarrhea for one day, it'd be all right. But it's, it's not even that. I, I like have like, um, I get like really bad heartburn, like three days of like stomach upset, uh, uh, like cramps in my stomach. It just can't take it. And it's got worse. It, what's weird is I used to be able to eat stuff like that. It was fine. It's got progressively worse. I wonder. I wonder if it's a specific type of spice, rather than it being spicy. I wonder if it's a type of uh, pepper, or like a specific pepper that I, that I'm allergic to, or something, as opposed to just spiciness. Gav is going like the skittles. Yeah. Well, a, a good example, right? I had a, uh, last week, uh, well, no, a few weeks back, a friend did the shopping for me when I wasn't well, and they bought uh, mulligatawny soup. Oh, yeah, I can eat wasabi, yeah. No, so I had this mulligatawny soup, and it was like, it. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was in so much pain. It was like all through my throat and stomach. That was horrible. <laughs> Yeah, so I can have, uh, like, well, the thing is, wasabi in the UK is dyed horseradish, and that's fine. Uh, mustard, ho that, those kind of things. Mustard, horseradish, totally fine. I don't know. Do, it, it's, I, I don't have any other problems. It's just, I just noticed when I had, like, really spicy food, it just makes me feel really ill. But it's not. I don't mind because I, I, I enjoy spicy food or did. But it, you know, it's like um, alcohol. And I, I enjoy drinking a beer and stuff. But it's not. I don't enjoy it so much that it bothers me to not drink it at all. You know. Uh, it's not. It's not a problem though. But here we go, guys. Get ready to go racing here. But yeah, Marcella, that's super, super generous. Really do, really do appreciate that, man. I'll I'll get some. Uh, I've got steaks in my fridge. I'm not going shopping for like another month or two. <laughs> uh, I've, I've literally got food for the next two months sorted because I didn't want to go shopping often. Keep the load down. Hello, Nunu, Nuna. Um. Well. When I, when I have curries, I normally get, like, Nepalese curries, which are more sweet. They're kind of sweeter curries. 
Um, yeah, I mean, the nice thing with a lot of the, like, proper Indian curries is if you make the curry bait like a boona base, or you do a proper curry base yourself, you, you don't have to put the hot spices in. So, yeah, next time, uh, I might try different curries, but, you know, obviously some curries are meant to be spicy, but it's up to you. It's totally up to you how you cook it. <laughs> Put as much spice in as you want. The, the other thing I find is if I eat garlic, it makes me feel unwell. And if you go to restaurants, they put way, they put loads of garlic in stuff because it's, it does taste nice at the time, but then afterwards you're like, oh. That is too chocolate farm, but at the same time, if you can't take it, then, you know, it's better. If you, you know, you can still enjoy it without that. It's, it's obviously different, but. Yeah, let's go. Let's get a lap in here. I don't know if the softs are... I think the soft, super softs burn themselves out before the end of the lap, so... bombay -aloo. But a chicken, <laughs> yeah. I'm often having cormas. <laughs> Such a pathetic Englishman. But you're a corma. I'm warming up my shifter paddles, Gasper. If you've just joined us, guys, we're just uh, we're on sim racing system at the moment. There is, uh, feel free to click the like button if you haven't. How many likes are we on? Can someone refresh the stream and let me know? Full Monty breakfast. Yeah, sausages, fried, fried bread, black pudding. Oh, 170. Nice. Uh, baked beans, mushroom, tomato. Oh, 180. Thanks, guys. <laughs> glass of glass of wine. Yeah, breakfast cereals and porridge is okay, but most of the breakfast cereals are like sweets. Like there's so, if you go you look at the sugar that's in the uh, breakfast cereals, it's insane. If you're like me, I try and I try and cut like refined stuff out of my diet as much as possible. Well, until I have biscuits, but other than biscuits. And you look at you look at cereal, it's it's just mental. But I like I like having uh, porridge with uh, raisins in it, it's nice. That's what I have for breakfast today. Well sugar's addictive, isn't it? That's why they do it. I just uh, I just eat powdered MSG. <laughs> the MSG is not actually bad for you. MSG on toast. What more could you want? Mm. 
my name the F. Hey man, how's it going? Have you got a hangover? <laughs> Jeff and Tim Muesli were a little bit drunk last night. <laughs> I bet T's still asleep. <laughs> At one point in the stream, she's like, I'm going to take my clothes off. <laughs> and you're like, uh, no. <laughs> I don't, uh, there's no evidence that MSG is bad. I think the only bad thing about MSG is it might make you eat more than you would otherwise eat. But in and of itself, I don't think it's, there's no evidence to suggest that it's uh, particularly terrible. Marmite on toast, or Australians have Vegemite. Right, off to quality here. So a nice car, this. Nice and progressive. The Sim Cafe? I don't know. I didn't park on the corner, practice and finish BKS, you... You beanus. <laughs> uh, well, in Germany, uh, the, the government, I think, was, has been relatively proactive and did a lot of testing, and they have a much uh, better health service. I don't think they've been that much better than other countries, though. I think Germany will have suffered from a lot of German smoke, which I think has been quite a big problem. But Germany's healthcare system, I don't think has been overloaded to the same extent as, well, especially Britain. So I think that would have helped a lot. <coughs> and they definitely have done testing better. It's, um, it's, it's very hard to compare between different countries with the whole uh, COVID thing because you need a lot of them are reporting deaths differently and there's different aspects to how the, the different approach. Like you, the only way you would know would be after like two or three years of looking at the mead, like the average deaths per year historically, and you know, then and other reviews would be the only way to really substantially go X country done better than others in, in a comparative sense you can say though categorically and factually that uh, UK has completely effed itself <laughs> that's the, I mean not even you don't need to compare against other countries that's just a an obvious fact that you can demonstrably see Well, it, it's interesting. There's definitely been a cover-up in the UK of, of, like, the reporting of deaths and stuff. Like, the te there's, there's complexities to testing and there's complexities to reporting causes of deaths and things, which is, you know, that's just the nature of that sort of thing. But there's definitely a, a media sort of reporting cover-up of stuff because they don't want people to panic. And, it, like... The interesting thing is, if you watch the uh, media coverage before stuff came to the UK, for example, you watch the media coverage of like Italy and China and what have you, it was like, oh, it's horrendous, it's terrible, oh my God. Now, if you and perceptually look at the media coverage of the UK, it doesn't look like, if you were to be watching the news and you're just like a British citizen, it would seem as if it's not bad at all in the UK. Do you, do you see what I mean? The, <laughs> it would seem as if there's no problem at all. If you were to just go by actual media reporting and coverage, you'd be like, oh, it's fine, everything's been fine. 
when the reality is it's been every bit as horrendous as the other countries. It's really weird that that's that's the power of propaganda, of of how like how you can cover something up, how easily something can be covered up, how you can shape public opinion. Woo! Okay, we messed that up. Try again. Let's get some good lines here. Briggs and Stratton. We really need to be in the top five or six, otherwise we're in real trouble. This is the Corvette C6R. Um, best Delta app. I don't, I'm just using the in-game one, I think. And then I've got the race essentials at the top. Yeah, exactly what Freaky Leak's saying. That's the only way you know for sure. In terms of absolute numbers. Uh, rejects game, that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> UK, USA number one. Hello, Corey. Yeah, this is like, whoa, there's a yellow car right there. <laughs> Does it? I'm, I seem to have a stable frame rate. May, maybe I might try something else instead of race essentials. I don't know. Hey, Sal. Well, you know, the, the thing that is is pretty is really terrible in the UK is like you, you've got complexities of any pandemic, which you know is complex and difficult. But when you have when you literally have nurses that can't have basic, really basic protective equipment, and then the government lying about that, and then the government literally silencing nurses as if we're like Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> like n doctors and nurses are like the most chill people in general they you know they're seeing death all the time they have to deal with pretty uh, harsh situations all the time it's their day to day it's their job on like a you know all that's what they're trained for they see a lot of shit and as a result out of the average person in society doctors and nurses are like some of the most chill people you will ever come across and for them to go out and protest or for them to have to go to the media and say, look, hang on, why aren't you reporting on this? Or for them to be actively complaining is insane. Like, it's, that's what's really messed up. Can you imagine like a nuclear power plant having a disaster and then the government going, sorry guys, uh, the people that need to, the firemen and what have you, uh, we haven't got the equipment, uh, you know. So you're just going to have to go in without protection. But it's like with the Chernobyl disaster. All the like, a lot of the West were like taking the piss out of the Russians, going, "Ah, oh, those liquidators. Ah, oh, they didn't give them appropriate protection. They just sent them to their deaths." And that was in the 80s. And it's like that is exactly what is happening now with the doctors and nurses in the UK. And then the media and the government are silencing that. So, which is bollocks. <laughs> I'm not re Torying, it's re terrible government. <laughs> Bad planning. Kid. 
16th. I need to get faster here. Come on. Come on for the speed. Anyway, anyone that's not thick knows how dumb stuff is in the UK. I just need to brake light. I'm braking too hard. I could probably do with turning my force speed back up a touch as well. Hang on, is this open setup? Oh, maybe I maybe I do need to put the super softs on for quality. <laughs> there are yeah, there are worse governments all around, you know, but yeah. There's better and worse governments everywhere, for sure. Nice drive. Come on! Mosey it through. Get some nice performance here. Oh, Jesus, Tut. <laughs> Great lap. Right, Tortellini, you're getting a timeout for being a knobhead. <laughs> timeout, here we go. Uh, oh, I don't even know how to time you out. Oh, oh there you go. Put you in a timeout. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, burnt. <laughs> yeah, you are actually welcome back. I'm only, I'm only playing with you, Tortellini. Yep. <laughs> can you untime out people? Oh shit, you can't. No, you can. I know you can't. Oh well. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> UK government thought about economy before the people. Well, they didn't, ironically, because um, all the models are suggesting that if you went into lockdown early, you could then come out of lockdown sooner. Or you can, you know, if you have, if you have the testing resource, that's the irony with with neoliberal conservative thinking, is it actually costs more. It's not, <laughs> it's not economic. That's that's the really stupid and funny thing about it is that conservatives have this reputation for being like financially prudent. It's like no, all the data shows that that is not. It's the opposite. That it's not only shit. It's actually worse financially. <laughs> it's so dumb. Is so dumb. You look at uh, you look at countries that have been on top of testing, had a health service that can can you know obviously they'll be overwhelmed regardless, but can get on top of it, have the appropriate equipment. You'll have less traumatized doctors and nurses. You'll have um, you'll be able to get up to speed quicker. It's like. That's the that's the irony of it all. No, it doesn't, Scotty GT. But either way, there's you know, there's different there's different aspects to that. The uh, that initial thing, the government was using the term herd immunity incorrect. Like you. So herd immunity, you go for anyway. That's just that's. That's what you you want. Herd immunity is not a positive or negative thing. Well, it's a positive thing. Like you you want a degree of herd immunity, regardless. They, but they yeah they, they were using the word incorrectly with that initial that initial strategy, and the media reporting on it has been incorrect. <laughs> it's so it's just so everything all this stuff on it is so dumb on so many levels. It's like <laughs> it's just stupid. 
the whole thing's been like a for anyone that has a rudimentary understanding of science it, the whole thing is a complete face palm and by the end of it you just you kind of think that the humanity deserves to like just die out <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> Hello, George Orton. How's it going, man? So the, the thing is, it's not so... Like with the, with the Sweden approach, it's not necessarily a bad approach. If you if you have the data, it's same, same with like a, the initial British government strategy. If you have the data to support it and you know that your hospitals can, can carry the load at not too much detriment to other stuff, and you've got the resources there, and maybe you've got a, um, you, you, a suitably remote population, you, and you know that the population will generally listen to advice, generally stay apart, or you don't, maybe you don't have high-density populations in certain places. It, you know, there, there's scientific approaches for doing different strategies that are perfectly valid as long as, you're, as, long as the evidence is there to support it. The, the problem is, is we're living in a point in time, and have been for like, a long, well, probably like 15 plus years, where apparently s science and like facts, like facts don't matter. It's, <laughs> we live in like a post fact, and, and it's not just a case of idiot population just not knowing better, and people just being thick, which is a problem in and of itself. It's like you literally have government that are operating internally in a post fact <laughs> like they they believe stuff in they innately believe stuff that's literally not factual like even for their own objectives <laughs> so it's like so you could have like for example you could have someone that's a, a, a very conservative person but you could be really conservative and still operate on facts so you could be like right you, you value specific tradition Maybe you value more local industry. Maybe you value, um, like, uh, maintaining specific businesses, and uh, or, or maybe maybe um, uh, a more modest foreign policy, or what? You know, in terms of like not doing random invasions or not altering with other, uh, effect, uh, not doing certain types of economic work with other countries or trade agreements. That you know, there there is the potential to be a completely 100% factual, legitimate, conservative person that's actually applying conservative values. And it'd be, it'd be for like, I, personally, I'm, I'm not a conservative in that sense, so I'd, I'd probably disagree with it, but it wouldn't be incorrect. It would be a different philosophical approach based on the facts, which is perfectly fine. And, and, you, would, and you could have an election on that, and people could vote on it and be like, well, that's what we want to do. And you're like, well, that's... You know, even if I disagree with it, at least it's based on facts. So, you, you know, whatever. It's like a subjective, a subjective disagreement, which, which is fine. Subjective disagreements are subjective disagreements. It doesn't really matter. The problem is, you have something where you have someone that's literally killing people, li or literally ignoring their facts. <laughs> so it's like, you're just living it. It's like... Um, you know, like Dada art movement. It's like that, but with like politics and everything in reality. <laughs> it's like we're just living like a post-factual world. <laughs> so it's best to like just try and enjoy life. Try not to do harm to people, and not like if you if you get like uh, if you the, if you sort of as long as you realise that's the world that you're living in, it's not necessarily emotionally draining because you, you like you know that that's the game that's taking place you, you, you know let's go I think we're I'm better with the mediums I really like this track. 
<laughs> Punting somebody started racing. <laughs> This is, this is the thing, it's like, I, I have, as I've said before, I know quite a few people that are super, super conservative that I'm, you know, can have a good conversation with and agree and disagree with things and it's fine. As long as everyone, like, facts are facts. Welcome back, Tortellini. No, I'm, I'm shifting incorrectly because I shift off the uh, engine note and I've, he's bamboozling me. Did you, did you enjoy your time out? Is there any chance your apathy is worse than everything you speak? Hey? Whoa! Drift entry! We've got to be careful of the tyres here. <laughs> apathy for reality. <laughs> Yeah, I always, I always shift on engine note, and so when you go from mod car to mod car, especially this uh, this car has a very droning deep engine. It's quite hard to like be like uh, to sort of sense that the engine is crying. Ah, oh, we're meant to shift when it goes. I'm oh, shifting on the blue light. There we go. <laughs> Shifting, how does it work? Do a backflip. Good. Lubricate your mirrors. Yeah, well, you, you know, the, the sort of lockdown thing in terms of enforcement, it's like, the, the reality is the government can't enforce anything like that. If, if everyone decides not to do it, then you can say what's legal or not. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. I think that's why, why the government, the British government and, and some governments are really terrified because they maybe they realise, it's like, hang on, people will realise certain things. <laughs> It's like, it's why uh, I think governments are terrified of universal basic income. Now, I'm not saying, I don't think universal basic income is necessarily the solution to economic issues, but it is a solution that's probably better than the current random benefits system that's totally broken. Um, but I think the government is totally, is completely terrified of something that would break the illusion of or like totally show how stupid the current monetary system is. Once something like that is out of the bag, you can't put it back in the bag. <laughs> now, if you, if you think universal basic, basic income is communist, you don't understand basic economy. Like, it's, it's actually very capitalist in a, it depends how you execute it but if you if you have a universal basic income that ends up being cheaper for the for the for a country and you are taxing that universal basic income back off people so all, all it is is like economic stimulus at a low level people are still they have to spend that money and they spend it on rent food and business and they will spend it on businesses that are closer to them so you end up building more localised business rather than top-down business, which actually produces a stronger capitalist system that has more redundancy to it and is more immune uh, and can, can potentially employ more people than a system where you have four companies running everything, there's a, there's a depression or, or an economic situation and they all have to get a bailout from the government. <laughs>
but you do you, with universal basic income you do still have problems in the sense that it doesn't address housing issues fundamentally so you, you know if you give people universal basic income well inevitably if there's not enough houses in the uk for example house prices will go up and you end up in a similar situation where people can't still can't afford flats and houses Uh, some things get more expensive. Yeah, it, it changes. It, it changes the dynamics of uh, how things are distributed. As I say, there's different approaches to UBI, and some are better than others. And it's not necessarily the perfect way to do things. But hello, Mike Green. It's just weird what, as a culture, like, forget, forget, like, um, which government you vote in, what type of financial, you know, stimulus and everything. It's just weird as a culture, the stuff like working in a cubicle in an office is culturally acceptable. Like, what? That you, so think how much time you spend at work. So you spend, let's say you spend probably nine hours a day at work. And you then go into this little box in, in these cubicle offices, right? open plan offices, random little desk. It's a shit environment. It's like, that's... Ah, oh, you penis! <laughs> Why? Why would you move? I can't avoid that. F cock. <laughs> I was just having a nice conversation about cubicles, and he ruined it. Let's stop on the track here so these guys can avoid us. Bugger me ass. Car's done. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I couldn't avoid that. There was nothing I could do. He just decided to move all of a sudden. Yeah, so it's, it's mental that we can have, like, it's accepted to sit in an open plan office. You spend nine hours a day in this horrendous environment. It's like, that's not a way to spend your life. It's like being a battery hen or something. Why do we culturally accept that? Absolutely wrecked, guys. So there's a whole bunch. Of, like the, the point I'm making is, outside, like obviously people will be different, will vote for different governments and things, and you know have different opinions on that. There's objectively shit things that we shouldn't put up with as a society. That even if you're like a, even if you like the current capitalist system, you would you would have you like you can't deny it's just terrible. I can't believe that. Hang on. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, the car can't even reverse. It's knackered. Did that... Is there no repairs in this or something? Yeah, but I'm choosing to live in a basement and I... I, uh... I enjoy sim racing. It's different. It's, you know... If I... What? Why is he not actually doing the pit? I'm confused here. You missed the box. I think it's messed up. Oh, do you have to select a pit option? Oh, I see. <laughs> My mistake. Thanks for that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, did, I thought it would auto automatically add it set. I mean, there's no, in a 20 minute race, there's no, um... Well, it would be going well. It's a shame it, the race was ruined by someone that, if the fact they crashed is fine, but they just start, there's a car coming, you don't just roll off the track. Let's get out of the way, this guy. Ah, oh, it's Bern Hebelson. <laughs> We're always driving near burned, whatever happens. And it's like, so, one of the big positives of this situation now is that the idea of working at home 
is like be, it's being forced on businesses and a lot of businesses will find that for some staff it works really well for other staff it doesn't work well but the point is it's very cost effective in many cases if you don't if you don't have to if you people don't have to come into an office every day um you know and it's just a, you know it's more like a an accepted option it's like better like a, a lot of people not everyone but a lot of people can work more effectively it gives them more freedom it allows them to then do other stuff in their life it reduces um commuter transport it is it, so good and like culturally so many businesses because there are souls let's be real there's people that run a lot of people that run the offices and certain certainly sort of larger businesses you get these middle manager dickheads that they're wanking themselves off over being in control of people <laughs> so that's why you have they're like oh you've got to come in at seven if you're late uh, you've got to get in your cubicle it's because they're arseholes so but now it's like if a business is being demonstrated that um people can work from home perfectly fine and in many cases work more efficiently they can't argue against it so it's like you know it's a nice positive <laughs> when are we getting snow runner stream i don't play snow runner well that's it that that's it comrade s exactly oh you can't work from home it's impossible oh oh you can work from home it's indeed possible Tortellini, you're going to get another time out in a minute. I'm, I'm <laughs> Everything you say is is negative towards me. Why, why like even like you, you're just like a, a beacon of negativity. I have enough of that watching the news. People leave job because of ticket management these days. Exactly. Well, this so. Uh, when it comes to work, right, the people you work with and it being a nice environment is way more important than the actual job itself. So, like, um, when I worked in McDonald's uh, uh, and Morrison's and stuff, the difference between a shift, like, I, I could have some shifts where it'd be with a complete arse or, like, a, a people who are just awkward to work with and it'd be, really, it'd be a really bad job, one, like, just a really horrible job. But then I'd do other shifts and the manager would be like, just matter of fact and like, you know, not still like, not like lax or, uh, you know, not like, oh, you mess around or anything, but they're just like, norm, like a nice person and you'd be with other people on the shift and it'd be, it'd be an enjoyable job. Like you're just doing a task. Um, Red Eye Bandit, not everyone is in a position to be able to choose the, to be able to move to different jobs because there's not enough choice in the workplace in certain fields. So, again, because, because there isn't, in, in many cases, there's not enough job opportunities. Or, or, you know, they might, their house might be in a certain location where they can't get to, to that, um, to a different work location or it would take too long for them to go to a different job or they don't have enough savings or they or, or uh, um then maybe they're under stress maybe they have mental health issues and they, it's a lot of a, it's a lot of stress to go to a different job there's so many reasons why someone would get trapped in a cubicle job what's my lack of perspective on what You have to explain yourself if you're going to say that. You can't just say random words. That's Red Eye Bandit. Not everyone can do that, though. Not everyone can afford uh, to, to potentially not get paid for a month or two months <laughs> like if you're if because the house prices are so mental in the uk if you want to live in anything that's barely acceptable it's not like you just go oh i don't like this job i'll just find another one <laughs> well 
Well, but what... If someone's saying something that's right, it's right. Why... You don't need to be... Like, what, you, what argument are you making, Jeff? <laughs> you have to... If someone says something, you don't... You, you can't say they're wrong by just coming out with a... You have to actually have a... You, you say, oh, you're wrong because of X, Y, Z. If someone says, oh, this, M this, this government, uh, a person in government's done a demonstrably crap job, you don't, you don't go, oh, you're wrong because you're not an MP. <laughs> Is Jeff just trolling? Well, no, but what are you disagreeing with? What specific point are you disagreeing with? If someone make if someone, you have to disagree with a specific thing, otherwise what you're saying it doesn't make any sense at all. I've got I've got to unlap myself. I I don't think you do unlap yourself in AC. They, it's like you're, what you just said is like going, oh, a teacher can't be a teacher because they've not worked in X industry. That's patently not true. Like some of the best teachers have never worked in certain things, but they're very good at teaching specific subjects. I mean, or you do have the case where for certain things you, you would hope that uh, certain teachers have had actual experience because generally that does help. But it's not always the case. Like if something's true, it's true. Jeff's not responding now because I called him out. <laughs> well, what you specifically say what you take contention with with what I said, R rather than just you just said a general comment that doesn't actually mean anything. So, <laughs> next race, next race. Jeff's been a Jeff's been a bugger. I'm gonna put Jeff in the dustbin. <laughs> Here we go. What? Uh, we might need a server actually because uh, we're back on we're back recycling. Well, that was a disaster. Shame about the accident there. Oh, wrong buttons. Racing <laughs> him. Uh, we did so. Yeah, we need we need a server. We need a we need a nice um, GT3 spa server. Which uh, red red eye bandit again? You've not said anything there. You need to say someone says something. You need to say which specific thing you disagree with and why. Otherwise, what you're saying is useless. It's lunchtime. Let him finish his plate. Well then, don't don't. But you type you type something that was patently stupid, because or, of of no use whatsoever to the conversation. So, giving people equal pay for not equal work. I didn't say that. I didn't make that argument. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> so, that's literally not what we said at all. Like, come on, man. You you, you should <laughs> you should use downhill track in the gravity race. Oh, that would be fun to try. No, I didn't say that. That's not what universal basic income is. I specifically defined, I specifically said that universal basic income isn't necessarily the, the solution. There's multiple forms of use universal basic income. And also, you're, you would be taxing universal basic income away. Just because you give universal basic income, that I didn't actually state how much universal basic income. If you gave everyone a universal basic income of £200, then... That's irrelevant to someone that's got uh, another job that's getting more pay on top of it. So the amount of universal basic income is very important to, to how much you're actually... Um, what to the, to the operation of it. it. It's completely different. You're not even... Like... <laughs> uh, 
I don't understand why people feel free to type something or say something that's just stupid. <laughs> Put everyone in the dustbin that can't pay attention. Put it this way. Say say you were given... Say, say you've got universal basic income of uh, £10,000, right? Um, say someone else does a job that then earns... Uh, twenty-five thousand pounds, and you're taxed if you earn over fifteen thousand pounds. Well, the person doing the work, or is actually you know doing something uh, capitalistically uh, beneficial, is still making more money and getting more pay than the person on universal basic income, or a that a, a hypothetical form of universal basic income where everyone got ten thousand pounds. Bear in mind that effectively, on an economic sense, you you are, what do you mean? Where am I getting these figures from? Are you mental? This is not. <laughs> this is a hypothetical situation that has a logical foundation to it. That that's the point of a hypothetical. Oh Christ! Oh, I can't. There's no point. Uh, I try and have. I try and have an interesting conversation, and it turns out that people don't have the mental capacity to understand the basic ideas of, of conversational foundations. So what's the point? <laughs> right, done. No no interesting conversations. It's finished. <laughs> Scott Curtis gets it. I, I just don't... It's really annoying that you can't have general conversations about certain things because some people don't... I, I guess they just don't have the framework to... to uh, to actually discuss certain things. Right. Can we got a server? <laughs> Happy Sunday. Pineapple pizzas. You know, I just try to try and have an interesting conversation and then, you know, it's nice to have someone go, oh, you know, that 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 uh that thing's wrong or potentially would be good or bad because of these reasons that's called an interesting conversation you know <laughs> i'm all right Mik miko techno it is you know it's like you have a, a, a conversation with someone that's like really religious or whatever they can go oh or just have faith or whatever or, or they could just come out with mental stuff or they can say like an approach it in an interesting way and it's like you could disagree and you could be like oh that could be right or wrong or whatever but you can have an interesting that you know there's stuff to be learned from it We're just, uh, I don't know if someone can create a server. I don't know if there's a server god available. Izzy, did you, did you, uh, are you doing a server? This is the epic AC stream. <laughs> Scott Curtis. Scott Curtis is Adam Curtis's, uh, son. <laughs> All he does is watch Adam Curtis documentaries and feel depressed. Had Windows update. Okay. Masturbate. To be fair to Jeff, he's, he's hung over. I'm the, the irony is, uh, out of people that are actual social, like full on socialists and full on like Marxists, I'm I'm actually relatively capitalist in that I I there's aspects to capitalism or like the if having like free trade, like free trade. That's, that term is being like totally ruined. Having the ability to exchange and trade using some abstract form, i.e. money, uh, without having a central uh, a government or power that, that paperworks everything, you know, so you've just got an immediate ability to trade and move stuff around, is a really good. Like, like, as long as you've got competition and the ability for, for capitalism to actually work properly, and you haven't just got a small group of people controlling everything, it's fantastic. It's so much better than having some, like, a proper communist, or, like, well, proper, a specific communist system uh, that, that happened historically, where the, the governing body ends up being c corrupt, inevitably, and will then, then, you know, they have their own agendas, and it ends up just being like capitalism is actually right now. So there's innate aspects to capitalism that are fantastic jeff you just you just said another you've just said something that doesn't mean anything again 
You need to behave yourself. You need to learn how to, like, if you have a contention with something, I can't see the server. If you have a contention with something, you need to say the specific thing you have a contention with. Yeah, there's good and bad everything. As I say, it's just, it, oh, thank you for the server here. What we asked for, fantastic. T is the password. Yeah, it's the same, uh, Chris, it's the same with uh, any sort of, uh, any system. All, all systems can only operate if people are, well, it's exactly like a video, like a computer game. It only works if people are following the rules. And obviously, in reality, no one ever follows the rules perfectly. And there's exploitation. And that's why the current capitalist system is a complete mess. Any, pretty much any communist system that's gone past is a complete mess. In, in reality, what ends up happening is it's whoever has the most power will try and maintain and hold on to that power. And then uh, generally, you sometimes have a population that manages to claw back some of that power occasionally by the fact that the population is a, a majority of people. And they do, they, they have the power in the sense that if they organise against the minority of people that are controlling the power, they can claw some of it back. That's just the reality of it. So whether something's capitalist or socialist or communist is irrelevant in the real politics situation. It's, it's all just a case of who's got power and now it gets mangled up. You can, you, you know... Random call sign. Power. <laughs> See, uh, in this situation, Spa GT3 has all the power in sim racing. Uh, Mr. Snoot. I want to upgrade from a Driver Force GT to a wheel that will fit on a play seat challenge. Um, Fanatec CSL Elite using the Gamer Muscle Fanatec affiliate link is the best way to go if you want to put money in my bank account. Uh, for us, which one's the TX? Is that the T300? Um, T300 is a really good value for money wheel, if that's what the TX is. I think the TX is the Xbox version of the T300, isn't it? I'm not sure. Is, it, is the TX the T300? Then why did Thrustmaster have four sodding names for stuff? I mean, all the wheel companies that Logitech do. No, no, Logitech have the G29 and the G920. Yeah, so if the T... Yeah, if you, if you want... Um, I, I personally went from the G25 to a T300, and I was quite happy with the uh, quality difference in them. Like, it felt nice, and it was a good upgrade. It was, it was good value for money upgrade. Like, you can't go wrong. The pedals with the T300 and the TX are utter shit, so you probably want to change them for the T3PA pedals. So that increases the cost of it by, like, another £100. Uh, there, there is a... There is a, t a T300 that comes with the T33PA pedals. I can't remember what it's called, and I don't know if they do an Xbox version of that. Um, the Fanatec CSL Elite is probably 30-40% better than a T300, like 15% better than a TSPC Racer. The wheel rims are a lot better. The force feedback's nicer. It's a lot looser. Uh, great bit of kit, but the price of it is also more so... You, you know, it's more of a price commitment to go to CSL Elite. But I, I would say out of... Before going for like a DD wheel, the CSL Elite is the best of those wheels uh, that you can get. But best value for money out of... You know, if you want to save money and you want to upgrade from what you, you're getting, the T300. Uh, yeah, the T150 is a different wheel again. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the T300 Ferrari Alcantara. And that Alcantara wheel rim's quite nice as well. I've used that. So hopefully that <laughs> hopefully that helps you. But yes, if you do if you do buy Thrustmaster, you can use my Amazon affiliate link. <laughs> I'm only I'm only here to uh, to shill. Thrustmaster hate me because I tell people to buy Fanatec. I've spoken to like Thrustmaster, people that work at Thrustmaster, they they gave me the stank eye. <laughs> they don't like me. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> One drawback if you buy Thrustmaster, you would need to buy shifters. Yeah, but uh, the TH8A shifter is one of my favorite uh, shifters. Like, I'm using the Fanatec uh, SQ here, which is nice. It feels, it does, 
it's more chunky than the TH8A, but though the TH8A shifter is a little bit loose uh, and not like firm, it has a really nice feel to it. Let's get a lap in here, guys. Yeah, I, I really like it. I had the TH8A for a while. I really like it. It's really good. Really good uh, bit of kit. I'm going to drive this with the Formula Rim. Why not? Well, uh, Leonard G, I had a CSL Elite on my sim rig for, for like six months of doing 10 plus hour streams and it didn't turn off. So, you know, any any of the equipment could turn. I mean, maybe, that, maybe there is like an issue there, but, you know, that can happen to anything really. It's like <laughs> Jimmy pulling off his wheel off his uh, DD and what have you. You know, these things happen. Even real rally cars, their wheels <laughs> fall off. <laughs> yeah, that play, seat, uh, that play seat rig is really good for being able to hide it away and it's still actually being relatively okay. And it's actually strangely comfortable. Yeah, still, uh, putting a wheel, uh, having an office desk with a computer and just putting your wheel on the desk is a really good solution, you know, if you don't have much space and just using a chair which doesn't have wheels on it. I mean, I did that for six plus years of sim racing. <laughs> this might be a lie. I need to put my music back on. I, I know why Jeff was trolling so much. He's got a hangover. <laughs> Poor Jeff. T, is T, uh, T Musi still there? Have you, uh, have you got a hangover? <laughs> this is why I don't drink. I hate having hangovers. My name is Jeff. Okay, let's do a flying lap here. Need less traction control. Uh, this is our own server now. Password is T if you want to join. We were doing sim racing system. Probably should have made the, uh, ah, okay, legal. Probably should have made this one a bit longer. No hangover, was exercising. <laughs> uh, no, no one's allowed near my head, unless they're, unless they're Eastern European and uh, have a vagina. Leonard, I forgot you're the AccuForce fanboy. <laughs> Leonard's the uh, Automobilista AccuForce fanboy. <laughs> oh dear, I forgot about that. Leonard's like a fundamentalist sim racer. I don't, I don't mind the AccuForce wheel. Oh yeah, your <laughs> motion rig fetish. Oh no, you've triggered Shumi now. Fight, fight, fight. Force feedback wheel fight. The software's really handy on the AccuForce wheel. You could probably make ACC force feedback feel all right with an AccuForce.
Also, the AccuForce software is really good with motion rigs and how you dial it in. It's very quick to set up. Now, to, to be fair, Leonard, even if you... The, innately, the AccuForce motor is not as good as an OSW motor and the, the power and the force feedback delivery from the motor itself is not as good as, like, a small mage DD. Um, like, on a... On, regardless of how, how well you set it up, the delivery of the torque and the force feedback is not as, uh, like concise, abrupt, powerful as a small mage DD. But personally, I think it's like, it's still within that range of like being a DD wheel. <laughs> it's, it's only particularly noticeable if you're driving with a formula rim. So for me personally, it sort of passes a DD threshold and then when you factor in you factor in the pricing especially for people in the United States the AccuForce is really good value for money and then if you also have a motion ring that uses the AccuForce software well you might you might prefer it but I'm, I'm factually and objectively the force feedback delivery is not as precise as sport as the small mage motor for example you might prefer the feel of it but I, I say, as, as someone that's literally gone through all the settings and actually quite likes aspects of the AccuForce wheel and, and has tried all these wheels side by side. Uh, well, the, the Bodner I always felt was let down by the software and the Bodner... I, I, get, I would... <laughs> personally, I find the Bodner worse than the sim, uh, OSWs. I've used two of the Bodner wheels. I think the Bodner issue is a, is a software thing. So this is the thing: once you get past a certain amount of RPMs and torque delivery from a from a, uh, a servo motor, it really does come down to software that that makes the difference. Uh. It's uh, Redux game. It's reasonably better than a a, a 2.5. It depends how you're like breaking down. In what sense is it better? It just delivers the torque more precisely, and you've just got a little bit more range to it. It's just a specific feel that you get with DD wheels, and then the the absolute rotational speed. You don't necessarily need it. No one needs it, but. Yeah, well, Leonard G, it'll just be down to how they've set it up. Like, when I was at Sim Racing Expo, a lot of the rigs were set up all over the place. Nice one, Jeff. Get in that content manager. Get, uh, yeah, get in there. You both, haven't you got, how many, uh... Why don't both you and T-Bags have a sim, a sim rig each so you can both join in? Like you could, that could be your niche. You could do like sim racing couple. That's like you could totally and sim race at the same time and have arguments. And then you can get married in that two-seater sim rig. Perfect, it'd be very emotional. Well, Shumi, you don't have to. You don't have to watch. You know. Everyone knows that Spa in a GT3 car is the ultimate. <laughs> it's the ultimate combo. This is the. This is the warm up. Deal with it. I get my music back on here. I'm finishing this lap and I'm putting music on. I need more tea as well. Assetto Corsa invented. Oh no, Burn Ebbleson's left the server. What are you doing, Burn? Get back in, man. 
Right, why's my music stopped? Oh yeah, because we've been streaming for too long. That's <laughs> Huge error. There we go. Ah, uh, I race in practice. All the uh, all the real drivers are now on my side when it comes to I racing tire model. Ten years, ten years I've been saying the I racing tire model doesn't drive like a proper car with that with incorrect slip angles. Ten years, guys. Ten years I've been mocked by people saying, "Oh, you've never driven a real car. How would you know?" I race is the best simulator. Oh, they've got real drivers. I've told them. Oh, I race and cost so much because it's the most realistic. Ten years, more than ten years. I've been saying this, and finally, it takes a global pandemic and a bunch of complete uh, unbiased Formula One drivers to come in and go and, and go. Um, oh, you can't drive the cars properly because the slip, the the driving at the limit is totally bollocksed. Finally! Finally! GT3 at Spa, GT3 at Imola, GT3 at Road America, GT3 at Road Atlanta, Cayman, Adono MX5 at Generic Donation. Brands MX5 at Laguna, Porsche RSR, Road America, it has, it has America, me. Porsche RSR, Adono F2004 at Spa, I've seen lots F2004 of videos then, it's <laughs> donation. Magello. Magello. So, <laughs> thanks for the generic donation. Uh, generic car donation nothing beats a generic car stream we could uh, we should do the uh, crazy russian formula car next the low power russian mobile yeah you know when people look back in history they'll, they'll look at people like nelson mandela um <laughs> uh, i can't think of any other famous people we could cause is uh martin luther king um, yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, that, <laughs> Florence Nightingale, Game of Muscle, that's <laughs> Gandhi. Well, apparently, Gandhi was really bad. That Russian car, so bad. The Babushka for Formula Babushka, it's where it's at. Hello, original Simstig. Right, we're ready if... I'm ready for some Formula Babushka around... Uh, uh, yeah, well, it's based off GPL engine and then NASCAR. Uh, do we need mediums or softs? Yeah, everyone's going with softs here. Uh, they'll have done. They've, they've kept working on it. They've, they, you know, they've had so many new time models. So the thing is, realistically, it's very hard to program a real-time time model. I mean, it's kind of like a miracle that we have Assetto Corsa and some of the like new cars in R Factor Two and what have you. Um, are we going to stay with soft tires here? It's probably a bad thing to do, but you know, it's not easy. It's it, it's easy to go. I oh, want to. <laughs> the uh, tires, the cars don't drive right. It's, you know, it's not like the programmer could just go. <laughs> okay. Get ready. I just, I get. We do like i racing with other people and stuff, and I would I'd be like, oh, you know, we drive the Porsche and we'd just be like rotating randomly and all this random crap, and and I'd be like slagging it off, and people are like, oh, it's just because you can't drive, it's just because you can't drive. It's like, with, funnily enough, that the IRFFB. Oh, he didn't need to pull back there. <laughs> I was moving over. The IRFFB really helps you avoid putting the load on the tyres, but you know. Hello, Bert, Bert Smealy. Mm. 
Why is my uh, frame rate? I've got like weird stuff. Oh, it's because I alt tabbed out of the game. I need to alt tab back in. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Hi, James. Oh, Thanks right. for the feedback. Unfortunately, all the real drivers are wrong and along. With yourself, are also making a grave mistake in criticizing our utilization of the latest technologies to recreate <laughs> the most accurate tire model. Cease and desist. Ah, uh, no. We'll be ceased and desisted to death. No, I, I know, JK. I know it's complicated. I, often. Often these historical characters like Gandhi and Mandela and whatever, you know, they're presented like all, all the positives or arguable positives are like highlighted and the terrible aspects of them are <laughs> kind of glossed over. And it gets complicated. It's almost as if you can't just reduce a person into a single uncomplicated entity. It's almost as if the world does not operate in black and white. No, Mother Teresa was just evil. <laughs> Mother Teresa was just a complete bitch. <laughs> she was literally just evil. There's no, there's no debate there. That's, that's not even debatable. Mother Teresa was literally just evil. And I was changing that, not expecting a car to be parked on the grid. Thank you very much. Great. Can we restart the race? <laughs> Come on. Why is there a car just parked on the start-finish line? <laughs> restart. 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 Remember restart. I was adjusting my traction control because I thought, of all places to adjust traction control, start-finish line would be good. We need a restart. Okay. What is the password? That was a vo yeah. If I was looking at my screen, I was looking at my controller whilst talking about Mother Teresa. <laughs> Come on, all GT3 drivers talking about Mother Teresa. That's, that's what you do whilst racing. Where's Discord? Oh, I've lost Discord. Hang on. What is the password? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why have you made the password so long? It's... <laughs> ah. How do I even... I can't even remember how to do this. You can't copy and paste, no, unfortunately. Oh! What's going on here? Day day girl with the day day wheel. What a babe, what a beauty with a high top wrist. It's a day day girl with the day day wheel. She's got all the day days. D wheel, she's got Aki Four, Sibia Two, <laughs> Fanatec, D D One and D D Two. She's got D D wheels on her legs, D D wheels on her legs and her arms and her head. It's a beautiful girl. Ah, oh, the race is starting. Shit, <laughs> no, D D girl. Oh no, <laughs> it's the race start. Race D D girl. Race has been lost because of DD Wheel. Missed the race because of DD Girl. Thank you. Thanks for becoming a channel member, Bert Smilly. <laughs> I got DD distracted. She's too beautiful. I couldn't concentrate. Thank you for becoming a member, man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Emotional moment there. 
pure, pure fire. Fire in the sense that you wanted to burn your earlobes down. <laughs> Thank you. DD girl equals Mother Teresa. Now, seriously, guys, look. If you don't know, look it up. Like Mother Teresa is at pure evil. <laughs> DD girl's a valid excuse. It should be showing the other DD girl. It's broken. Streamlabs is messed up. Right, here we go. What's funny is Mother Teresa was like, oh, I won't give help to these people because it connects you to God. Suffering connects you to God. The moment she got ill. Oh, top medical care straight away. She, she wouldn't give like, um, uh, what are they called? Like, um, anti-pain, uh, what are they called? What's pain medication called? Painkillers and stuff. She wouldn't give them to people specifically because she wanted them to suffer to connect them with God. I mean, what the... It's proper evil. Painkillers, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Painkillers, yeah. Those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, painkillers, yeah. Painkillers. Can I turn the volume up again? Only if you hate yourself. I should have fixed my frame rate thing. That was rather close. <laughs> we almost remodeled the back of Bernd Hebelson's car there. I see it's him. <laughs> Painkillers. Ah, uh, thank you. I don't know, guys. It might it might be painkillers. <laughs> Password T. The whole thing's in capital letters. The only real good guy from history was Mr. T from the A-team. I put in a fool. <laughs> Roger, I will do. Thanks. Thanks for that pro tip. I always forget to look for the park car. <laughs> a little bit wide out of that. Hello, Xbox. Bit of a dive bomb there. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to the. Uh... Oh, thank you. Well, you, didn't, you don't need to back out of it, but Ben Ebelson's such a nice driver. I guess he'll pass us on the straight here. An Accuforce special. There she comes. From the sky. DD girl with the DD wheel. What a babe, what a beauty. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. She's got all the wheels. The direct drive. She's got Accuforce. Sip your cube, sip magic, and the fanatex. Act your force, sip your cube, sip magic, and the fanatex. <laughs> DD girls in the sky like an angel. DD girl over spa looking at my GT3 beautiful car. <laughs> DD girl. With the wheel, directly powered. <laughs> so strong in the wrist. Thank you. And my lap time goes really down when DD Girl appears. Recycle shell. 
Thank you very much, uh, Leonard, for DD girliness. That was DD girl with the AccuForce wheel. I think if I went to like a mental hospital, they would certify me. Welcome, Otto Rajola. Oh, Burn Emerson giving us a burn battle. I need another drink. <laughs> battle for burned. Oh, what's, what are they doing? Oh, it's a blue flag. Oh, what a squeeze and a baby muscle was born. Oh, it's Tortellini behind us. Why isn't Tortellini in first place? I thought Tortellini was meant to be like an alien. Hello, Steve Size. I'm struggling for grip around those corners. Joining late. Ah, flopping all over the place. Torch Lady trolls his way in front. <laughs> Alien fanboy. A little bit late on me old breakies there. I, c I could do the little pizza. Nelson drop back. Maybe got uh, knocked. Oh, we're not gripping through. Ah, oh, no. Using <laughs> negativity. Suck all the power out of our engine. Bloody penalty system. That's the paddling. And this stutter's driving me crazy. Let's see if I can fix it. Maybe it's just spa. Frame timing's off on the game. Yeah, normally, Leonard. The five second works well if you're doing it through that chicane at the top, but not ten second. Yeah, just at the chicane stopping and getting going below the speed is a good way of doing it. like a real yeah stop lower the side down psh, let all the people off Just 
take it just take a real boss but for some reason the game's run, it's running at 60 fps that's why it feels stuttery i don't know uh, why like the frame rate's 100 i think my monitor's randomly just for some reason flicked to 60 hertz It's weird, 60 hertz feels terrible now. <laughs> You're so used to 100 hertz with it being like super creamy smooth. Uh, Asus ROG Strix, 34 inch ultra wide. It's a really nice monitor. It's got a little bit of a curve to it. VR head uh, valve index is 120. 30, 30 hertz console gameplay. Well, the first ever video game, or well, interactive electronic game, Tennis for Two. Uh, I think that was running pretty fast. I think that, that's smooth. I played it. It felt better than 60 hertz. Mind you, an oscilloscope has, like, motion blur because of the phosphor. I don't know who that is, uh, Moving Target 1, but if they're a well-respected, intelligent and attractive man, then I'll, I'd, that's great. If they're, if they're not, then, uh, then I don't accept it. Do you ever have any issues with VR sickness? Uh, not with sim racing. Flight sims. <laughs> Doing loops in a flight sim uh, messes me up. No, you get used to it with sim racing pretty quickly, to be honest. Greek comedian, intelligent, attractive, subjective. Okay. Well, you can't, you can't have everything. Maybe I'll get this RTX 3080 Ti. Is it out? Is it, have they announced it? Time to throw away the 2080 Ti that we spent a thousand pounds on. <laughs> Let's first spend another million pounds for two more FPS. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, one of the good things with driving sims, apart from ACC and VR, <laughs> but if you're playing on like a monitor, they're not normally as like crazy as other games. 40% faster? Oh no! Oh no! That's not going to be true. Be, that, yeah, that 40% will be like faster at RTX <laughs> than it isn't in any game. 40% faster in this specific use case in terms of actual gaming in all normal situations, 10% faster for another £3,000 guaranteed uh, I'll buy I'll get a Playstation 5 uh, for sure, I think 
Yeah, I'll get a PS5. And then never play it. I think I'll get one at launch. I've never bought a games console at launch. Ah, oh, there's another 10 seconds for you. Well, I was trying at the bus stop. Well, the new Xbox would make... Mm. Might make sense, if, you know, if you don't have a PC. I'm excited for the new Valve consoles. Valve are going to go mental. Valve are going to do like a, a proper Valve console that's, that's like a, just a single one. They're not going to do what they did last time. You wait, guys. Get ready for the Valve games console announced next year. Excited. Yeah, I mean, I, the only reason I'd buy a PlayStation 5 at launch would be so I can make a video on it. I wouldn't bother otherwise. I, I only want it, I'd just get it for GT Sport or Gran Turismo, whatever it is. Whatever GT it is. I'm not sure what they're going to call it. Oh, Jesus, I got stuck there. Well, they can't. It will, what their console would be is like some kind of like Linux, probably a Linux-based um, console. But they'll um, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll just be like an Xbox, but Linux. Whoops. <laughs> okay, there's better ways to do that, guys. Fifth place, though. Uh, maybe Chad Ed. If it's got a single player, I'd be happy. Even if it's, like, simple. It's quite satisfying just unlocking cars, to be honest. I was really surprised I didn't do it with GT Sport because it's got the cars in there. It'll be the Steam Box reinvented. Yeah, well, they just need to do, like, a single spec that's, like, a high-end PC equivalent for a reasonable price... You know, single thing. Lazy gamey shark, gamey shark. Thank you for subscribing. Right, I think we're gonna drive. Uh, if if the server god can abide, and we can have the uh, go for the um, Russian formula car. SH Shadow Jifter won that. Totally in the second. Political facts third. Jonathan Christen fourth. We came fifth. The servers go into another one. Hopefully AC fixes itself. Is my monitor... Let's see. Is my monitor's frame rate gone? Advanced display settings. No, it's running at 100 hertz. I don't know what's going on there. Here we go. Nurbo Ring GP. This would be good. Oh, Izzy, can you make the quality uh, twi like 25 minutes or something just for this one? Because I need to get, I want to get a little drink. I need a little, uh, I need a little breather. So I can have a little five minutes of pootling and then uh, that'd be awesome if you could do that, Izzy. Also, people need to download the car as well. So that'd be, that'd be perfect. Back in a second, guys. Ah, oh, the server god's been responsive here. Uh, that'll probably be to do with the AA that they use moving target. Back in a second, though. Links will be in chat. Links do Iron Bist.
Hello. Hello. Hello there. <coughs> right, Tortellini being negative again. When will Tortellini learn? Denied. I think uh, it'll, it'll learn eventually. It, it'll develop a Pavlovian response to negativity. How's it going, guys? Look at this, this is a proper beast car, guys. Uh, I've only used the Hoosing Bell pedals really briefly. They're really nice pedals, but I, I, haven't, I haven't used them on any of my rigs. I wouldn't be able to compare them. I haven't used them side by side. What's this straw pole about? Let's have a look. Is this democracy in action? RSGTGNT races. <laughs> yes to vote. Yeah, obviously, yeah, two votes. Terrible poll. Uh, I don't know, Scotty GT. You just uh, there might be an option, <laughs> which is probably what you're looking for. There'll be guides online on YouTube. There should be a thing showing what to do. This is the best Noddy car. Get in the server, guys. Password is T. In capital letters. I, I haven't I, I've on cybers that I know of. Don't mock the babushka, Formula Babushka. It's a top vehicle. Only the best drivers can handle Formula Babushka at the limit. I think fifth gears are relevant in this car. It makes you go slower. Is this open setup? 
Is the setup open? Why has it got an economy gear in it? Okay. No, it's fixed, fixed setup. It's all right. Ah. <sighs> I think we should do um, uh, MCR at uh, Magello or something. Oh, no, maybe like a MCR at a, big, a track where we can have more drivers. Like, um, what's, the, what's Road Atlanta? Maybe, yeah, maybe MCR at Road Atlanta would be really good. Not MCR. What's the, the uh, <laughs> MC12C? What's the MCRs like an amalgamation? Or what would be another good car at Road Atlanta? So we can have a relatively big grid. Um, yeah, MCR's in AMS too. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. There should be an MCR for AC. It's a good car. Tom the dentist is playing tabletop simulator. He's gone mad. Ah. I don't like front wheel drive cars. What, well, when they're Gleckenhusens? <laughs> People seem to tend to struggle with them. I mean, it'd be good in the uh, what we drove at Road America, actually. That um, what were we driving at Road America earlier? The C C six R would be good. Pretty easy car for people to drive around that track. What other cars are in the same class as the C six R? I don't know, it's just easy to get more people in with that mod, isn't it? Let's get a lap in here. Hello, Joss. This is the ultimate Noddy Mobile. Right foot braking? Do you mean left foot braking? Or... <laughs> I don't know. Do you mean like heel and towing? Maybe you turn... It depends what you're doing. If you're pushing them too hard, turn the brake sensitivity down in game. Maybe use a lot non-linear braking in the game options. If it, they're not low cell, are they? Oh, we used to say in fourth gear. It's 
Get a laser beam in here, guys. Fly it through. Ah, oh, holy seventh. <laughs> hey, Mark. That was a bit of a cut there. <laughs> I'm trying to laser beam this. Ah, <laughs> kind of messy corner up there. That's gonna be like fifth, surely. Ah.
Ah, oh, poor Dom. Dom, 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 Dom. How many complaints per hour have it, have it has Dom reached today? It's like super grippy this. It's dinner time. I should have put a curry in the microwave. Oh, I don't like the car, so I'm gonna complain. Blah, blah, blah. Every car we drive, someone's gonna complain about it. <laughs> Sim races and they're complaining. There's the fifth. I can show you a complaint every single stream. Maybe if you spent more time joining and less time complaining, you, you'd have got in. You'll be able to join next race because we'll do... Uh, Road Atlanta. The spot healing brush. Don't worry, I'm not good at healing toe either. <laughs> being bad is part of being uh, having fun. Like Michael Jackson, he was always bad, as he would say in his song. <laughs> I'm bad. Shamu! Ew! <laughs> Take it out. Ah, oh, it's not the racing line. No, we'll do MS MS two when the net code's fixed. As the number one AMS two shill. Uh, yeah, this is Formula Babushka. Fish fishing. Formula Babushka does the best cooking, and it gives you and it gives you a shot of vodka with every meal. Maybe this car has a lot of grit because uh, it's designed to work on cold tracks. Ah, oh, no, I've done it again. Fifth gear is totally useless in this car. I know, it's one of my favorite tracks. Welcome back, uh, Contrary Rhombus. Got to improve my lap time. It's going to be close on the fuel.
Here we go. Right now, the chicane. Ah! <laughs> when we get to the finish line, come on! Come on! Yeah. Okay, got to the finish line. Good luck. Off to them races. How many? What are we doing? Two, two minutes a lap. Oh, okay. Get ready, guys. Ah. Oh. You should be able to fish fishing, yeah. One oh five. I'm not sure. If you tried two versions and they were both bad, it probably isn't. Isn't there a version of that, um, what's that Formula One track in the uh, old city that was added to the F1, the last track that was added to the F1 calendar? I forgot what it's called. I think there's a cool track of that. Cut down some trees outside. Yeah, we're doing uh, C6R at Virginia International Raceway next race. Baku, yeah. It's a good uh, it's, it's a good model of that, I think. Detroit Raceway. Detroit! Oh, C7R. There you go. What's the difference between the C6 and the C7, apart from the number? Right, here we go. Ah, oh, Jeremy Corbyn's in second place. I think he's given up his political career to, to race uh, Formula Babushka. I think we need to do an 80s... We need to do an 80s F1 car race at Monaco. <laughs> that will go well. 80s F1 Monaco. Dragos, bye. How's it going, man? Come out of the closet. He's in the closet. Welcome uh, back, Dragos. Nice to see you again. To see you, nice. Bit of Barbie Dragos. Here we go. Right. I'm not going to be happy unless we can finish in the top four. I need to eat something after this race as well. It is. But that's part of the uh, joy. Yeah, to be fair, unless you've got a DD wheel, the boost is ridiculous. Plan B. Here we go. Formula Babushka, guys. Spasiba. <laughs> Spasiba, nice. Niet! Niet! Close driving here, guys. Spaceba nice through those corners. Mm. 
It's like, we've got to get in the draft zone, otherwise we're in trouble. We're stuck in no man's land here. What? Why did my why did fourth gear not work? Did I not push the clutch in enough? Ah, oh, I, I need to recalibrate my shifter. Where's he going? Big, don't question it, BKS. You cannot question Formula Babushka. Niet! Inspector Muscle. I'm having to concentrate because this car is so grippy. It's just weird. Got to catch up with these guys. on here oh huge error boy oh where's he going I take it moving on up nothing can stop us this is formula babushka I don't know why do people keep asking Oh, you can hit the like button if you enjoy Formula Babushka. Maybe the uh, pre-race vodka was too strong for him. That was my impression of Dom GTR having a conversation on the telephone. Fluent in Dom GTR. And not the car that I want to buy. I didn't put enough fuel in my car. Bye. 
Dom's just angry because Boris has run out of Henderson's relish. So, I think it is Johnny L in America. Well, oh, I went in a bit too hot there. I think Dom should work for Ofcom because he complains so much. He'd feel right at home. He could he could filter all the complaints of people complaining about pointless things. Uh, we've received a complaint of people complaining that this uh, that they were offended. This steam wheel has been moulded out of the finest polystyrene. Ah, uh, I find that very offensive, is he? We describe this car as cheap. Who are you to ascribe the value of a vehicle? Typical offensive anti Russian language from Izzy there. Really, really upsetting. <laughs> this car could only be described as luxurious. Highly efficient and homely. No, what one man's cheap is another man's um, expensive. Are you drunk again? Unfortunately not. What an entry! <laughs> oh no, Enroy's coming! Whoop! <laughs> I nearly mean, took him out there. I was trying to get in his draft as quick as possible. That ain't the racing line, matey. Oh, look at this. Babouche Karin on the limit here. The fifth gear is slower than fourth gear. The car, the fifth gear is for economy driving, so you can drive to the race circuit without using up all your fuel.
Bit of a battle going on behind us. <laughs> Give him a bit of a weave. Woo, a little bit nippy through there. Skoda F2 car. That sounds awesome. Skoda all the way, guys. Hello, Joe. Only the best babushka lines for me. James is James. <laughs> Got one more lap here. This is one of the only race cars that comes with a little um, shot glass holder. Maybe to click the like button for more racing car facts on the Game Watch YouTube channel. Oh, glorious seventh place, guys. I think we've lost our wheels. <laughs> the left hand side of the car's cooking. got no wheels, I ain't got no wheels.
Wow. Seventh place. Spectacular result. <laughs> Absolute performance. Look at the results here. Well done to SH Seto Drifter, Jeremy Corbin, Adam B. Six, 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 Political Facts, Tortellini, Enroy. Well done, guys. I just put some food in the microwave here. I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying. I need some energy. And then we're going to uh, Red Atlanta next. Death by Sim Racing. That was good. It was a good drive. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Antoine. My Alienware monitor is great. Did you guys know I got an Alienware monitor from Alienware? <laughs> Alienware monitor for the win, guys. Did you know about Alienware monitors, guys, guys? <laughs> Alienware monitors. Uh, thanks for letting us know about Alienware monitors. I, I never heard of Alienware. Have you guys heard about Alienware monitors? Because I hadn't. Uh, thank you for that donation, Antoine Potato. Easy, we need we need longer quality. I'll, I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm just going to grab something.
Oh, am I supposed to call you and eat? Am I supposed to do that? Am I supposed to demonstrate the raw talent whilst eating? We'll have to we'll have to extend the quality. Uh, that's what happens if you stream in the morning. You have to you have to replenish your your calories. It's hard work live streaming. It needs even more time. We need to vote vote for a timeout. Why well, to microwave McCurry? Didn't have any fridge curries. I had to go full on frozen curry. Just where we were at in the curry situation. It's it's in the game, Big Pete. It's just the delta, delta real time delta, isn't it? Is that a fuel tank in the door frame? Or is it like water? Like what's that about? It's just a block of foam to protect the driver. Yeah, real time. Oh, man. I need biscuits. Uh, this is in the game, SDR. Well, I've got to eat, Greg's. We've been streaming for five hours. I'm eating it. Look, look here, Jeff. You've you've got uh, Team Muesli cooking you sodding English dinners. I didn't see you cooking. <laughs> well, I'm saved by the lockdown. <laughs> didn't want to be mean. <laughs> Jeff's an alcoholic. That's why. And he's in. Uh, he's in. Uh, he needs more. He needs more alcohol to get back on. Back on form. But yeah. He, he had his drink yesterday, and now now he's like, oh, I've not got a hangover. But like subconsciously. Am I putting weight on? Uh, I was. I'm going back down in weight now. It wasn't a lockdown. It was because I was... <laughs> I was lying. I spent a month and a half <laughs> lying down. <laughs> that was that was what I didn't help. I've never been so passive. It's like a morbid obesity simulator.
Hello, Phil. Well, I have, um... I have an indoor bike. I've always had an indoor bike. We need more quality. Why did I... Why did I get a knife to eat curry with? I'm just sat here, holding a knife whilst eating... <laughs> don't need a knife to eat curry. I'm just holding this in my hand to feel like I'm doing something with a knife. Yeah, I had to cook! I do cook. I'm. Oh, Jesus. I cook good stuff. But, you know. It was frozen. Well, heat up. Oh, I cook like uh, stews and chilies and curry, steak. <laughs> Can't beat a steak. Why the knife? Uh, the knife is to fend off T1 crashes. I need some biscuit. I have a biscuit. Oh, I need some biscuits. No, I'm wearing jogging bottoms. How much fuel do we need? There we go. Well, it'd be all right if I was a hot girl. It'd be awesome. If I was a hot girl, I would totally, I would totally use it to my advantage <laughs> whilst live streaming. I'd have been one of the first people with like the chalkboard behind bending over. I'd have gone all in. How much fuel, guys? I identify as a direct drive wheel, so. It's all good. I mean, technically, I have cleavage cam here. <laughs> oh, thanks for finding the count. That's really handy. Re you really helped me there. Ah uh, no, I'm, you you buy expensive. I I'm, I don't buy expensive clothes. How much fuel do I need, guys? Uh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> 20 litres is not enough. I'm going to go 43. What's the default amount? How much? How much? Are you sure? Right, well, I'll go 40 because I don't trust any of you. <laughs> Are we going for slick softs? Okay. Here we go, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 28 cars. Well, we'll see how this goes. Great. Thanks for that. Here we go. Thanks, whoever that was. Drove into the back of me. Rejoin back where we were, it's alright. There we go. Thank you for subscribing, Alatron. Oh man, the default brake bias on this is way too far forwards. Huge crash. So glad we qualified. Where's he going? Straight. Did all right. This car does quite nice. A little bit of roll to it. But handles nicely. Road Atlanta is an awesome track. Oh man, I feel so much better after eating. <laughs> I was pure calorie deficit, man, then, earlier. Dear hell. My brain just shuts down when I'm hungry.
Gaspers in front of us. Political facts behind us. Michelin man in the sky. Beards <laughs> being annoying. We're getting faster, guys. The Rumble Trungle. <laughs> Big Gauler in front of us now. Who's that? He's gone. Rolling back across the racing line. Thank you. Sven de Roos, I think. Eighth place. Big Gauler in seventh. Huge error up front. I, I agree, GT. Does. Nice hills as well. Some nice tight corners. It's got a good mix of corners. Political facts is trying to come up behind us. defensive there oh come on man contact there we go Nice and easy. Ah, oh, they've come together. Ooh. Political facts and big gauler. Tony, thank you for subscribing. Welcome along. Asper's coming back at us now. I'm all right, Lee Cold Carbon. How, how are you? 22nd to 6th. Laser beam. My car just turned into a plane. <laughs> front lifted off the ground there. For some reason, the car doesn't turn when the front wheels aren't touching the ground. It's ridiculous.
Hello, thank you for subscribing. Just Lars HD. Welcome along. Got back marker coming into play here. Kamala! 7-1-1. We are slowly catching Hesberg and Emroy. The Brabham, the Brabham's like superpower gloomobile. Someone needs to uh, take that, the, the handling is like, take the handling files and just redo the model, like improve the car model. to put the flaps on. Just trying to put pressure on us here. <laughs> Welcome to iRacing. Oh, Gasper, you cock. Oh, you idiot, Gasper. We get a ban on Gasper. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh, sorry, Gromsey. Oh, my tyres are effed. Oh, Jesus Christ, Gasper. Oh, come on, I can't. I'm just... <laughs> Bloody! Ah, it was also going so well. Textbook murder. I think Gasper's admitted guilt. Ah, oh, his, his wheel lost force. That's he's going for the force feedback excuse. Gasper's off to the gulags. Right, that's it. Tortellini's said another stupid, whingy thing. <laughs> every single, every single annoyingly predictable whingy comment by you, Tortellini, is earning you a timeout. <laughs> Every single time until you learn. Teach a Victorian teacher muscle. I'm f I think with Tortellini, it's like flicking water at a, a, a pet cat that's misbehaving. Eventually, it learns. abuse it's re it's uh, I'm reforming reform we're, we're doing some reform Pavlovian conditioning <laughs> with Pavlovian conditioning Tortellini well Jeff I, I genuinely hope that ACC develops borderline acceptable force feedback that's my hope That's, that's the dream. Oh, look at that line. Straight through the corner. Yeah, but... The, the, the thing is, Paul Keeble, it's not even realistic. That's just like some... people say that like some people are like oh it's the steering rack things it's realistic but it, it's not it's, it's just wrong it's just crap force feedback 
Because if, if someone makes that realism argument, it's like, okay, so is is R Factor 2 then? Have they not gone for a realistic force feedback? Is AC not realistic force feedback? Is Automobilista 1 not realistic force feedback? Is AMS 2 not realistic force feedback? It, do you know what I mean? It's like, well, even I racing. has better force feedback than ACC. So is iRacing not really got gone for a realistic <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But do, do you know that for sure, Paul Keeble? And even if you don't, even if you don't have seat of the pants force feedback feel, um, you you would still expect some very like degrees of variation. Like AMS, uh, I'm pretty sure. I, well, I don't know for 100 percent sure, but with AMS, I, I'm pretty sure they're going for a realistic type of force feedback. Also, the seat of the pants thing is only one type of force feedback. Additional force feedback. They, you know. You can dial in the force feedback as much as you want. It's not as good as R Factor 2 force feedback, AC force feedback, AMS. Does not, it just does not have the variation in there. Anyone that claims otherwise has either the ignorant to R Factor 2, AC, AMS force feedback, or they don't, they literally don't know. They don't drive from the force feedback. So, that's ignorant. So you can you can like it, you can think it's fine. But it's an objective fact that it doesn't convey the same uh, same amount of information that AC, Automobilista, Automobilista 2, R-Factor 2 does. You don't counter debate because motion rigs don't actually give you that the seat of the pants feel anyway. Oh no, we were so far behind. Motion rigs are good for heave and suspension feel, a bit of tilt, and if you've got a motion rig that does your, it's good for that. But you, 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 as I say, R Factor 2, Autom Automobilista, and Assetto Corsa have the range of force feedback. ACC force feedback is utter shit. If you say otherwise, you're wrong. Because <laughs> I'm not talking about what's better or worse. I'm saying just deal with it, Tortellini. Do you want another time out, mate? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, um, when it comes to force feedback, dictator, mo you know I'm right. I, it's, uh, anybody, anybody that, that agrees with me knows I'm right. Look, I, I put Aris's force feedback settings on my DD wheel, tried it with AC. It's exactly the same. I've tried every setting. I've used every wheel on the market. I'm sorry. It's just crap. It's just crap. Like, it... it in terms of variation of force feedback, it's crap. In terms of like springy left, right what forces and vibration, it's fine. Necessity, necessity for money. Oh, Nikki, sticks running good. ACC does has terrible FFB. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It's a slight improvement, DW, but it's still crap compared to, the, to in terms of range. And also, it's more that you just because the whatever they do with the suspension. There's an initial bit of loading change, but it's not any use to actually drive from. <laughs> I'm so I, I, I'm sorry, but I I've felt the I've felt the supreme force feedback of AMS R Factor Two and Assetto Corsa with DD wheels. If you if you anybody that's used all the DD wheels on the market or a couple of DD wheels and set them up properly and played. R Factor 2 set up properly, AMS set up properly, Automobilista 2 set up properly, Assetto Corsa set up properly. It's, it's, it's like 
ACC and iRacing, they just, they they don't use the, the it's like you're not using the, like, it's almost pointless using a DD wheel with those simulators because you're not getting the benefit of the DD wheel. It's, it's just like, if you're only going to play AC, ACC, you are wasting your money buying a DD wheel because it, it doesn't really add anything to it. It, it like maybe a bit is stronger and you get more bumps and stuff and it's a bit more snappy for catching the rib but you you're not getting the point of a dd wheel which is more detail <laughs> i'm going to put this in a video i'm going to put i'm going to dress as jesus well done dog gtr look every, every look i'm sorry but i know i know some people don't get it i know there's some dissenters but i i could i i guarantee you if i set up five sim rigs with dd wheels with them all set up optimally and you add and you add them they're all identical sim rigs and you you did like a mass study between people they'd, they'd all be like oh hang on a minute yeah <laughs> acr factor two this is like oh i sit totally see what you're getting at well they can say it's awesome there's lots of gt drivers say all simulators are awesome just <laughs> get a time out. The time modeling ACC is a lot better than iRacing. I'm just talking about the force feedback. It's also it's it's somewhat you know, it's time for distraction. Oh Danley Banks. Here we go. The, f the force feedback fish knows. I, I know. I look, look I, I was right about I racing for ten plus years. I'm, I'm going to the grave with my force feedback stories. <laughs> there she is, with the force feedback, high quality. DD girl with the DD wheel. <laughs> oh, she loves the DD feels. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. She's got AccuForce, Fanatec. She hates ACC because the force feedback's terrible. With a DD compared to AC. It's a DD girl with a DD wheel and the DD legs. Two of them. What a beauty. DD girl. I'm getting in the server. DD girl. Ah. Oh. DD girl with a DD wheel. What a babe, what a beauty. She likes front end feel. And the seat of the pants. Found in AC and R Factor 2. Ah, DD girl. Hey, Bizarre. Thank you for coming to member, Danny Banks. This is my this is my day job. <laughs> oh, we got Mazda. It's not my fault that people are, people are force feedback peasants. Thank you for going to have a member. Pe it turns out it turns out that there's just a lot of people in this world, guys, that are complete peasants when it comes to force feedback, and that you know. They're happy with not having detail in the force feedback despite spending multiple thousands of pounds on steering wheels. And do you know what? I say no. I draw the line. A line has been drawn, guys. A line has been drawn <laughs> in the sand when it comes to force feedback. You can... At the end of the day, how many people watch my, watch my wheel review videos and they're depending on an honest critical and uh, you know they, they depend on someone that understands what's important when it comes to force feedback to give them an unbiased force feedback review and that's what I bring and that's what they get shoot me we're going to drive 80s F1 cars after this this is a cool down this is a this is a cool down race I know you can enjoy ACC that's fine I'm, I'm just just don't lie about the like just, just don't lie about the force feedback on a DD wheel. In fairness, if you're playing it with like a, a you know, if you're playing with a, a T300, a G25, you probably won't notice a difference. 
because and, and you know so although to be fair ac1 actually feels quite good on g25 but still Torsalini, you you can enjoy it i'm not saying he, i'm not saying you can't enjoy it i'm saying it's objectively not as detailed you can enjoy not as de look lots of people enjoy uh eating marzipan but they're idiots because most people put marzipan on top of a cake you can enjoy eating marzipan on its own that's fine i, I you know do you do that but it's not as enjoyable as marzipan on a cake if you're if you're enlightened Yeah, no, I know. I'd say that as well, Gaspar. But I'm saying it's le the differences are less noticeable on lower end wheels between the different simulators. Look, if if a Belarusian supermodel was like, James, I, I, I don't know why she's got this accent. I want to marry you. That's why she, I don't know why she talks like this. She's, she she suffered a stroke, and I'm looking after her. That's the only reason she likes me. And she's like, I want to marry you. <laughs> it's Super Mario. <laughs> uh, James. Uh, but uh, I, I like a, a, a ACC force feedback more than AC. And I'd be like, no, we're not getting married. You might be a supermodel. You, you might be a Moldovan babe. You might, you, 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 might, you might cook amazing food and be perfect in all other ways. But you don't like ACC's force feedback. Get out. <laughs> That's what I'd say. And you know what? I'd be better for it. I'm going to qualify now. Just, I was just telling you, just to look, I'm just telling you some proper game of muscle mythology there. Exactly, Gasper. No, Gasper, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> he spent eight minutes ranting. You're wrong, Gasper. Subjective, 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 subjective. <laughs> it's subjective. It's subjective. Subjective. Subje subjective. David Perrell will agree with me. If he, David Perrell can come sit in my sim rig and he will agree with everything I'm saying unless he's brain dead. Also, look at the field of view that David Perrell uses. Can you trust a man with a field of view that high? If you... if you Look, look, Jeff. If Tia was driving in that field of view, would you still be attracted to her? I'm not sure if you would. <laughs> oh, the lighting looks really nice here. <laughs> to be fair, with field of view, you just get used to... You can get used to any field of view. But I just... I, I You know, it's, it is traumatic. Look, if Ayrton Senna was brought back from the grave, he would prefer Assetto Corsa or R-Factor 2 or Automobilista. I'm sorry. If Michael Schumacher hadn't had his skiing accident and you put him in a driving simulator without any pressure and you gave him side-by-side -side comparison he would pick he would pick a Seto Corsa Automobilista R Factor 2 I, I no I do because they they whoa drift entry because they're not stupid that's <laughs> you can't ignore the facts I'm sorry everyone said to me for years like well let's bring back iRacing here for years for 10 plus years, I've been going on about iRacing, not driving properly on and over the limit. For 10 plus years, it's exactly the same as what I've been saying about force feedback with games. 10 plus years of me going, iRacing is not right. You don't drive it right. It's, that's not how you drive real cars. And every single time, every single time, people would go, oh, you've never driven a real race car. How would you know? Oh, this. how come, how come this real race driver drives iRacing and says it's the best. Oh, how, how come it's the most expensive? Oh, how come this and this and this? And it's like, now, and now it's like, oh, a bunch of form, uh, Formula drivers and race drivers that aren't being paid by iRacing and are, are racing for fun because they haven't got anything else to do. So they've been forced to play driving simulators to get enjoyment out of it. 
Um, now it, now they're like going, oh yeah, you, you know, and it's like, oh no, everyone's like, oh yeah, no, iRacing's time model's really messed up at the limit and over the limit. I'm sorry, guys. It's the same with force feedback. I'm, I'm, you could, you know, I might sound like a fundamentalist force feedbacker. <laughs> I'm just speaking the truth. Anyone that's as enlightened when it comes to force feedback will, will totally agree with me. If you're not enlightened, I can't help you. Those that have seen the light will know what I'm saying. <laughs> 90, exactly. There's nothing else to talk about. No, a ACC literally, it's force feedback, literally misses components that are in AC, AMS and R Factor 2 that are vital components to use if you drive from force feedback. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not saying ACC's, uh, you know, there's aspects to it that are great. No, they're not missing because I don't feel them. They're not there. If you think they're there, you're talking about something else, you're imagining things, or you're using a AccuForce wheel and you set it up with um, uh, the uh, s some of the Foundation Force feedback things. I'll, t I'll time you out again, Tortellini. I I I you're not you're you've got to behave yourself. I'm already yeah, I'm, I'm not. I mean, uh, I'm talking to other people that are on the fence. I'm not talking to you, Tortellini. I know, you're a you're a brainwashed ACC fanatic. <laughs> David Blue, thank you, man. Don't encourage the bold man. It's funny, but you you don't you don't notice them. Then there must be something wrong with you. Uh, but strangely, he does notice it in AC, R Factor Two, Automobilista, uh, and other simulators. Oh, 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 strange that. Where's the logic missing there? Hmm. Hello, Mast. It's, it's people's, the unenlightened people's willingness to accept low quality force feedback means that those of us that are enlightened have to suffer. It, you know, it really is sad. It's really sad. It's like forcing everyone to eat biscuits with no chocolate on top because a bunch of people can't, they don't taste chocolate. It's like, it's like doing all paintings as if everyone's colour blind. Ah, no, I can't see those colours, so uh, you can't see them and it's fine. That painting's perfect, despite missing the colours, because I can't see them. Hello is the force feedback. <laughs> why are you why is in what scenario would someone shit in your mouth and then tell you it's tooth like why would they tell you it's toothpaste <laughs> I mean surely they would tell you it's like chocolate or something like it's a very odd analogy <laughs> I'll tell you a good example of the Kunos Forum fanboy boyery is when ACC first came out and it wasn't just crap force feedback, well, non-informative force feedback. 
it was literally like delayed and I was it was meant uh, absolutely mental and there were loads of people in the AC forums ACC forums going oh it's so good I mean, you've absolutely nailed it it's like because they will say they've nailed it regardless of what they do it's, <laughs> it's like the same thing happens with iRacing and all these simulations. There's so many fanboys that whatever the developer does, this isn't just sim racing, it's every game. They w like, they're not basing reality on like anything objective. It's based off like some weird subjective interpretation of whatever the developer says is the best. Well, no, yeah, Reza are the best, let's be honest. But crucially, you might have noticed recently that I've been saying repeatedly the netcode means that you can't play Automobilista 2. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just straightforward about it. And nicely, the reason developers are pretty, they're pretty straightforward with their posts. They're like, oh, we're working on it now. This is what we're doing. They haven't, they haven't like made something up about, ah, oh, we've set the netcode up so that you magically hit cars because we want to keep cars further apart because it makes for cleaner racing. You know, go got an army. I, exactly, they've, they've not seen the light. <laughs> Hello, Lawrence. Lawrence de Sowa. How's it going, man? We're just, I'm just screaming about force feedback. It's part of my therapy session. I've been told by my counsellor not to think about force feedback. It's one of my triggers. Uh, yeah, Alpha God, real cars have G-forces, so why even say that? Also, real cars, a lot of real cars. Some real cars have no force feedback through the wheel. Some some real cars have tons. Some, it depends on car setup. There's loads of variables in it. But the fact of the matter is, if you're driving a real car, you can feel what it's doing through your body. If you don't have that in a simulator, you're screwed if you're someone that drives by feel. And the fact of the matter is, not in, emotion rigs are too expensive and they're too slow to actually convey that kind of feeling anyway and you know you can do it through force feedback wheels as demonstrated by a uh, AMS1, AMS2, R Factor 2 and Assetto Corsa so it's like eh, it's kind of the you know <laughs> why, why do I you know do I need to open up a university of force feedback One of Trump's universities. Yeah, only we serve free cups of tea. And I don't charge my students exorbitant rates. And they come out of the university with an appreciation for high quality force feedback. In my university would be better than your average normal university. Oh, goodbye. Uh, I don't know. got punted toilet seat drama amazing look at that look at that generosity <laughs> force feedback church i'm setting up a cult guys tax exempt if it's a religion we'll call it a religion not a cult i have to pay tax cult of force feedback 
I'm I'm crappy what slow cars, Lawrence. Whoa! <laughs> Necessity for money. Sorry. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Take my time. You just need to take my time. Sorry. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Take my time. You've just taken us to FFB Church. Thank you, uh, toilet seat drama. Look at him ride that horse. Would he be able to ride that horse underneath that lorry if he didn't have good f side horse feel? Look how he look how he navigates. Onto, look, he leans the horse right onto the side wall of the horse, slides it under there. Look, look, look at the timing. Be look at that. Look how he's locked the rear diff of the horse. You can see the, the locked diff on the on the legs. Absolute pure skill. And look how he lifts it up afterwards. Rides off after. Look at that. It wasn't even. He didn't even get slowed down by that lorry. Proper talent. Ah, oh, bollocks. <laughs> Just concentrating on the horse too much. Thank you for that donation. Super appreciate it. I think I, what I reckon it is is there's a vocal minority of people that don't understand force feedback, that that always get triggered. But I think the majority of our viewers understand the value of high quality force feedback. <laughs> For no feel. Uh, Andrew Garner, yeah, the point is a DD wheel magnifies what force feedback there is there and makes it a lot better. So, even, so, so, I, I, let's take, uh, I racing, for example, it doesn't. So without IR FFB, it doesn't have any like seat of the pants or sort of rope like uh, load preemptive load force feedback. Whereas uh, our, uh, race room AC, uh, whatever the other seems seem to, or that's what comes through the wheel anyway. Um, so say you're playing I racing on a normal wheel. You, you feel less like, uh, so track details, suspension compression, um, and uh, less, less like innate torque, like resistance, and less range in, uh, in force feedback as you go faster and slower. You know, all those things are massively improved by a DD wheel, regardless of if a simulator doesn't have other components of force feedback. A D so a DD wheel basically just makes all the force feedback better or more detailed and more obvious for every simulator, if you see what I mean. So that's that's the benefit of a DD wheel with any sim. The seventh day church of front... Ow! <laughs> Political facts just punted me off the track. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. Nigel! Necessity. Necessity for money. Thank you. I'm not supplying money for necessities. <laughs> the the horse. seventh day church of FFB in front end field. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for that donation. I mean, as, as I said before, I've I've driven real world go karts that literally had no force feedback in its steering wheel. Uh, total shit force feedback from a real world go kart. You can feel it was, it was like running this DD on 60% strength, 80% uh, dampening, with it being inconsistent and ratchety. But despite that, you could feel everything through your body, so it didn't make it, it didn't matter. When I flew the Cessna, <laughs> the, my Cessna story, the only time I'd flown a Cessna, um, the steering, the flight yoke was shit. It felt garbage. There was force feedback variation in it as you sped up and when you pull back on it and when you turn and stuff, and it did self center and things. Like, it did have variation to it, but it felt like shit. But you could feel all the G forces through your body. So when you're taking off, you could feel the yaw of the plane when you're landing. You could feel all the details of the surface and then the movement and the loading. You could feel the buffeting of the wind to know how much... No, so it could be millimetre precise. Ah! Here we go. DD girl with the DD wheel. What a babe, what a beauty. She's got front end feel. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. She's so strong. And she doesn't like ACC. She's so beautiful, so powerful. She likes 
detailed FMV with a active force. Fan attack, DD1, DD2. Sim Magic. And all the other DD wheels. She's <laughs> beautiful and strong. With 200 meters of rotation in her wrist. DD girl with the DD wheel. So beautiful. DD girl with the DD wheel. DD motors for her legs. DD girl with the DD wheel. If we all had a DD, we'd have a DD girl with the DD wheel. Uh, this race has not gone well. Thank you, Stickman76. Appreciate that. We killed the stream. Kunos have shot us down. <laughs> Big goal there. Refresh. Britain's got no talent. Have you refreshed the stream? Is it working? About cap, have some respect for other racers. It's it's my server. Well, it's technically it's not, but look, I'm busy singing. D D the race wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for DD girls and donations. So that's the respect they're getting. Just a throttle blip. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for being channel members, guys. It's MX5 as well. MX5 is about crashing into people whilst pretending to do a clean overtake. <laughs> I, I would like to see anyone else drive cleanly or as cleanly as I do whilst singing songs about DD girls putting in my own put freestyle in the lyrics may I add and also trying to read people's usernames whilst being severely dyslexic these cars these things and cars do not go together too well <laughs> thank you man We'll catch you back up here. I think we're doing 1980s F1 next race, guys. On uh, a, a fun track. Uh, Jeff, Game Muscle has to decide soon whether he's a serious esports driver or man of music. <laughs> That's the film. <laughs> That's Game of Muscle, the musical. It'll have one of those scenes in it where we're clicking because it's a musical. Like West Side Story with them leaning against the fence. Jeff, uh, you and Tear can be in it. You can, Jeff, you can be the bad guy. Tear can be the love interest. <laughs> Tear can be the uh, side plot she, where she finds a DD wheel in a cupboard and uh, becomes enlightened to the way of the direct drive. I, I, you know, I am, t I am tempted, Izzy. I have actually, did I, did I show you? I bought a new MIDI keyboard. I'll show you after this race. I bought a, um, I can't remember the name of it. It's awesome. It's a little bit, I should have bought a bigger keyboard, but it's really handy for what I needed. It's good for just putting notes in rather than using the keyboard. Yeah, we started it. This is an epic stream, Ray's Chandler. Everyone was whinging about it's not playing enough Assetto. No, 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 not playing enough Assetto. Like with Dom GTR. No, no, no. So uh, I started at like 9am and we've been playing AC all day. Yeah, so I... And, right, the best mini keyboards are ones where they don't... So most mini keyboards start on like C and then they have one octave and another they have like an octave of C and then another C and another octave 
which is shit. It's terrible design. <laughs> it's like... Because you can transpose it anyway. So what they should do is they should start on, like, another oct... Like, um... What's the key below the middle? Like, you've got three uh, sharp keys. What's the key below uh, the first tri tri triple... Sh so you've got three black keys, three sharp keys. What's the key? Is it F that's below the first of the three, the group of three? Is that an F? I think it's an F. Because it's F and then F sharp. Yeah, it's F. I couldn't remember. <laughs> so, dyslexia even applies to music. Yes, so F... How many of you typed the image in there? <laughs> um, it's the best mini keyboards would go from F up to up to and then up two octaves on the so F to C and then another octave of C. So, if, so rather than starting on C, starting on F, so you've got that little bit extra, and that means that you have enough of a range between the two octaves and enough of like enough space that you can play your keyboard with two hands if you wanted to even with a mini keyboard so yeah it's really annoying that the norm has become two octaves c to c but with that two octaves c to c it's all right if you're just using one hand yeah if you're if that's so the mini keyboards are good for just input inputting notes you know rather than just playing Oh, I was reading the chat room. Why is he stopped there? <laughs> Huge error. Uh, no, actually, actually, good keyboards have force feedback in them. And in fact, um, old pianos. One of the <laughs> one of the things that rates a piano is uh, the the. Uh, mechanical resistance of the key and there's a whole like design of the way that the hammer arm has like six different things coming off it so that when you push down on it there's a point where it like where it bites down when it actually launches the hammer up um that's all like d designed with the weighting of the key and the moment arm of the key to actually give good force feedback on a, on a piano so <laughs> Look, I'm telling you guys, when it comes to force feedback and haptics, there ain't nothing that I haven't thought about. <laughs> but if you want to get a digital keyboard with uh, with like proper weighted keys on it, they, they just don't feel like real real keyboards. Mozart hated ACC. Guitar has better force feedback. Guitar's direct. No, it's it, okay. It's not active force feedback. I mean, I guess it is, it is at the point of where the arm, like the weight of the um, the, the plucker. <laughs> I don't know what it's called on a on a piano. Ah, oh, we didn't even get to finish the race. Put me in the bin. Uh, do you see what it said? You, no, you can't. You, so, yeah, each half of the octaves of the keyboard can be mapped differently, but then, as I say, the physical con constraints of it are so close, and then you would accidentally end up going into the other hand's space, if that makes sense, because it's not far enough apart. But, yeah, you, c you can divide it up into different octaves if you want to, and you can adjust it on the fly. It's really, it is actually really good. It's fine. It's totally fine for what you use it for. Well done, guys. Uh, SH set drift to Thomas Smith, Emroy, still to deal. It's, it's time for uh, 80s F1, I think. That was terrible. I, I got punted, so. Yeah, optimum would be three octaves, but then I think it gets. Three octaves gets uh, quite. You, you get to a point. So three octaves would be what? 30, 28, 30 keys? How many keys are in an octave? Uh, like, is it like it's like nine keys, I think, plus uh, five sharp keys. So, fit like fifteen keys in an octave, including the sharps. So then that'd be thirty for two octaves. So yeah, you like forty-five, fifty, 
no, he's... Yeah, you're getting there. Uh, you're getting there. Ah, uh, Road America. No, it needs to be. It needs to be like a Nippia track, like um, like Monaco. Is that in, okay? So twelve keys then. I don't know. I'm just thinking off the top of my head here. I'm I, I'm sat and counted. So twenty four keys. But forty. That's gonna yeah. All right, uh, Nicky Sticks, McFanagan, thank you. Now, Watkins Glen is too flowy. It needs to be a track with tight corn, like like uh, Monaco. Uh, Silverstone would be good. Um, well, that's not... Silverstone would be all right. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, Alton Park would be amazing. Zanvort would be good, but it's there's no overtaking. It's not um, there's no overtaking places because there's no like long straights with a tight corner apart from the first corner. <laughs> no, I just like I just like Silverstone. That's why I was saying it. Monaco, just because it's Monaco. <laughs> yeah, what I mean is Alton Park, Brands Hatch, Zandvoort would fit in it, but I, but it ends up not being good. Um, you know, track, tracks like that. You, you know, that sort of period. Uh, Donington, uh, well, we, just, we did Donington uh, recently. Yeah, although some of the, uh, America's got a uh, Virginia International Raceway would be quite good, especially the short layout. Um... Laguna Seca, there you go. Awesome. 80s F1 at Laguna Seca. What could go wrong? <laughs> Shoot me. You, you, you're just, you're just going to complain, whatever. I think you're related to Dom GTR. Now, this was a good choice. This was a good choice. I like a bit of Lag Laguna. Oh, look at this car, guys. Look at that. That is... Why do people like GT3 cars? Well, why don't you suggest a good track, Shumi, instead of being a bitch? <laughs> but you, you suggest a good track. If you suggest a good track, people will be receptive to it. It has to also be a good track model. And, uh, you know... Oh, there we go. Well, we could do Hockenheim Long. If you could, is there a good mod version of that for a set of Corsa? If there is, we can do it. It's not hard, is it? Let's be productive here. Yeah, look at... Right, right, guys. Let's just take a second here. Just take a second here. Right. Whoa, Christ. What? Well, okay, we're in gear. Right. Just, 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 just a second, right? Look at this. Look at this. Just look at that. Look at that, guys. Are you looking? Are you all looking? Would you look at that? Now tell me, why do people like GT3 cars? Can, can you explain? Can you explain that? I because I don't know how you explain that. I think the only explanation for people liking GT3 cars is the same sort of people that like ACC force feedback and think it's acceptable. <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Just look. Just look at that. I mean, look. Look at it. Ah, uh, that that is a car. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the car there. Okay, let's get driving now. Oh, even look at from the T cam. Look, look at my, look at his little. Look at his. Look at the wheel. Look at the moment. Look at those dash gauges. Look at the size of those wheels. Even even. Even written on the wheel is chalked. There's is set one. Ah, oh, you look how look how close the wheels are to the driver. Just look at it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm I, the drop. But the wheels are in line with my kneecaps. Ah, oh, beautiful. Uh, 
you would say that, Jeff. You you have no no taste. Ah, oh, look at that turbo. Cars designed by design to throw the rear out on on throttle. It's just. Ah, 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 too much, too much, too much. <laughs> Got to listen to that car. Ah. Oh. It's got more meaty than the back end of a cow. Ah, too much throttle. Okay. Let's give it 70% turbo. Yeah, I put the quality ties on. Yeah, this is back when your ankles were the crumple zone. Absolute beast. P1, P1, of course. It's the real car, that's why. Ah, oh, P2. Who's, 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 who's battling this? Battle of the Turbo. We're going to have to go 100% on the turbo, but we've got to be careful. Look at it! Look at that. It just looks gorgeous.
Oh, I've got six minutes to get a laser beam in here. I got too much fuel. We need to take some fuel out. I'd also cut the tires. Ah, uh, proper car, guys. Absolute beast. It's in the game. Oh, sorry. Trying to avoid the car in front and block the car behind. <laughs> My uh, driver's suit is constructed out of rare tropical bird feather. We go. Oh, we got some speedy guys in here. I did mess up two corners there, though.
Oh, third place. Woo! Jesus. Oh, back to fourth. <laughs> Bloody hell. I think we'll go 70 boost for the race. Oh, man. Proper car, guys. Uh, hang on. We've got some setup changes. Is it open setup? How's he getting so fast? Bastard. <laughs> How did they get... How did SH State Drifter get a no, a no 9 9? We're all like pretty close, and then SH State Drifter smashed it. How did he do that? How did he do that? <laughs> look, we're all like, look, 6 8 8. Yeah, but, but look, Jeremy Corbyn's bloody fast. So's Joss. Right. SH set a drifter. Let's hope he bins it. My, <laughs> I had to send a reincarnated in the server. Where did he find the time? He drove through the through the walls. <laughs> right, that's that's just ridiculous. Right, get ready for broken arms here, guys. <laughs> Fifteen minutes of this, we'll be dead. Yeah, but all you know. I mean, look, Tortellini can't even... Look, one, one plus one minute 30, but one second 30, one minute. Look. There's... Toggling the boost. Boost toggle. This is going to be, like, interesting. Ah, uh, what a car, though, guys. It's going to be carnage. Oh, no, he's gone back to Quali. <laughs> Quali results deleted. Oh, no. Ah, uh, uh, Tordellini, you've been timed out for being, uh, being rude. Ah, uh, F. <laughs> Laser beam denied. No, all that effort gone. That was like a metaphor for sim racing. Uh, skip, go to the race. Uh, what a mess. Skip session. Don't set a lap, guys. Well, we'll, we'll go to the race. Oh, I need a... Oh, gee, I'll have to log in. Oh, uh, no, this breaks my frame rate thing. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I spelled admin wrong. Crap. I can't type with gloves on. Uh, what is it to go next session? Is it all one word? Am I spelling next session wrong? Oh, underscore, that's why. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Right. Do we go softs or mediums? Will softs last 15 minutes? Preemptive F. Probably gonna have to do a race restart. Here we go.
Our sodden frame rate is stuck on playing at 60 hertz. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is awful. It's like I'm playing on a vintage TV. Oh, God. I don't know why it does it when I alt-tab out. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's like playing with stop motion. That's what it feels like. It's really weird. Oh, well. Maybe if I click on something in the game. <laughs> Just drive my 1980s F1 car while I was trying to get my frame rate okay here. No, that's not helped. I, I don't know. Oh, well, let's just drive. Of the refresh rate. I need to press the turbo button on my PC case. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god, I stopped complaining, but she, when I go around the corner, the whole screen's just... <laughs> oh, Alienware monitor, yeah. It's, it's something to do with AC when you tab out and then tab back in, but then I, I just tabbed across. I don't know what I can do. Or maybe there's a window behind AC or something. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I need to make sure the game's set to full screen. Oh, uh, yeah, it could be. Oh, enter might fix it. We'll give it a go. Let's <laughs> try and find a time to all enter. How am I supposed to all enter with one hand? Oh, uh, why well, you can't park there, you penis? What are you doing? Oh, Jeremy Corbyn, don't be a knobhead. Why are you being a dick? Come on. you blue. F yeah, he's just been a dickhead. Why would you do that? Right, I'm fixing this. We'll restart. Restart the race. No, I'm not a bat marker parking on the track. Right, we're restarting this. Uh, we'll fix this. I don't know, he's because he can't he's a only child, so he <laughs> Right, here we go. Work out what's going on with my computer. Nice, is that it's weird because the Game is running fine. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, enter. Did fix it. Yeah, it is a Windows Windows focusing. Right, let's restart. It's annoying we can't do quality again, really. To Right, come on, guys. It's a really fun car. Why do people have to be knobheads? Don't be a knobhead. Race properly. Yeah, sorry, Zobad. Someone was parking on the...
carousel. Yeah, because the whole thing reset. So just deal with it. Don't be a bitter. Don't be a bitter penis. Just we'll do more racing with these cars. Just make the most of it. Right here we go. Life's not fair. It's the server reason. Re just deal with it. We'll do another race. Otherwise, we have to run through all the quality again. So we might as well just do another race. We might as well do this with where we are. Enjoy it. Get on with it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. I restart. <laughs> I restart. He lost. <laughs> he lost it into the entire grid. Ah, oh, that was like that was almost like a textbook 80s F1 star. All we needed was a mechanic to get run over. <laughs> he got on the throttle too hard. Right, we'll restart. Jesus Christ. Like last one, guys. That was pretty funny though. Oh dear. Come on guys, you've got to be careful with the throttle. Oh, new player connecting. <laughs> he took out the whole grid, so. Right. Take it easy, guys. Lap one. 15 minutes. Uh, so it's like some of the best cars, uh, but people just need to chill the nipples down a bit. Tipo <laughs> lag victim. These cars are amazing, though. Because the car's amazing. All right, here we go. It's easier than our Factor 1 80s Formula 1 car. Are oh, you... <laughs> Come on! Now, who is that? Right, I'm just going to... just. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice lord podge is it damn kicking you from the server man who was it who is it <laughs> who is it just kick him from the server <laughs> i'm crying it's so ridiculous who is it <laughs> we're not I, we just kick him who's in front of me Here's Lord Podge. Stop. Like, turn your... Lord Podge. If he does it one more time, we're kicking him. Just turn your turbo off on the car. Put it to, like, 30 or something. My God. Like, do people not develop? <laughs> no, really? Are you watching it from my view, Shumi? It's absurd. Just, <laughs> just don't push your pedal all the way down. Right, here we go. I'm crying with laughter, just about the cars flying everywhere. If this had Beam MG or Wreckfest crash damage, it'd be so good. It's going to be me crashing everyone now. Here we go. I miss shifted. It's all right. I didn't crash anyone. I was not expecting to be able to get past him like that. I put a car in the wrong gear. Woo. Spicy nipples. Okay, we go. We're not restarting, guys. We've had three restarts. What a fail with the gear shift there. 
that was a, that was a proper 80s 140 gearbox. Only it was me that was the faulty gearbox, not the car. Ah, oh, Dom GTR's behind me. What? Have I? Ah, oh, I think I've. I think I've knocked my physical gear stick out of place. That's why I'm picking the wrong gear. Oh, God. There goes Dom. Ah, uh, yeah. I've <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've accidentally moved my gear stick. Oh dear God, it's tricky. Thomas Schmidt in the wall. It's just like 1980s Formula One racing, totally cursed. But good fun. Uh, what? <laughs> what have I done to my gear stick? <laughs> and he's in the wrong gear. It looks like Gamer Muscle is having problems. Tortellini works behind us. Taking advantage of my misshifting. Adapt to the change. Oh, he's running his turbo at 100. We're going to have to go all in, guys. He just trundled past us like Martin Brundle. Oh my god. No, I had it turned down for the start. Tortellini into the back of Enroy. It's a huge disaster. Team Tortellini and Enroy coming to fisticuffs. Surely that will be a punch up in the pit lane after the race finishes. Oh dear. So good. This car's got so much wriggle.
Nice and easy. We're slowly getting faster. I have to concentrate to drive this because it changes the handling as you, you've got the initial turbo that you have to balance the throttle for at lowest speeds. But then you also have the, uh, the slip at high speed. <laughs> my gearbox is like, oh my God. My gearbox is slightly wonked. Thanks, guys. It's a really good track for this car, though. Stick going to break point there. Not sure why that went into gear because I had my foot on the clutch incorrectly. Jesus! New line. <laughs> Threw it in a bit hard there.
give you guys a bit of wheel action. Here comes Dom. Oh, there goes me throwing it over the hill. Tortellini's behind Dom as well. Might be a close finish, guys. <laughs> it's like the, uh, it's like a 80s F1 race where everyone comes out of the pit strap <laughs> on the final few laps. That's too much sausage. Why is his car faster on the straight? Just draft. Ah, <laughs> bloody gears. I <laughs> like the grass coming off the sand. I need to work out this angle of my gear shifter. Final lap. rear end me oh no oh no oh the race timing end oh <laughs> denied denied at the final corner race there <laughs> the drugs kicked in that's the problem with racing in the 1980s what is going on with my shifter 
Oh man. Start wobbling all over the place. <laughs> totally like knackered it in. I need to adjust that. I need tightening up. Well, don't stay then. Go away. <laughs> You'd have to watch. Oh, you didn't. I just I must have got on the throttle too hard. I was uh, I was losing a lot of power from putting too much gas on. I didn't hit her. I did not. Right, nice driving, guys. Well done, SH Set of Drifter. Josh the boss. Ah, oh, the scoreboard says I came third. There we go. So sorry, Tortellini. It's official. I'm third. <laughs> Hello, uh, Fraser Islam. Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'd shift gear. It'd be going from like th third, fifth, and I'd accidentally go into second, or I'd go from third, and I'd accidentally go into sixth. I need to, uh, I need to tighten her up. She's got the wobbles. It's too too much intensity. I need a cup of tea. Yeah, we need a different. We need a chill out car for a bit, Izzy, because uh, I'm got my, I'm cooking. Do do a chilled out car for a bit. Do like uh, something, uh, like a Janetta. A Janetta GT4 would be good. Oh, no, it's <laughs> a tip of my penis. Thank you, Rose Chandler. Yeah, we need we need something like G GT maybe like the Porsche Cayman GT4, uh, you know, something nice and chill. Yeah, but we'll, we can go. We can do another one of these Formula cars afterwards. It's just I'm I'm baked. <laughs> I'm like this is seven hours into a live stream. Nineteen eighty. My hands are like sweating. Gloves are. <laughs> yeah, MC12 is fine. Well, you know, whatever. Just something more chilled out. C can you give it like a bit longer quality as well? I just need to get a tea. Chill out for a bit. Looks <laughs> pretty nice, chill. This stick of dynamite up your ass is chill. It's not always the same. Look, right, this stream, we have literally just driven different cars. For, we've been streaming for seven hours. Like, whatever we drive, people will complain that we're driving the same cars and tracks because, well, you're going to see this, some same cars and tracks. Like, even like even when we're playing Automobilista 2, we're, oh, it's the same thing. It's like these cars are new to Automobilista 2. Ah, oh, dear. I kept me shifting as well, I'm Roy. Man, I'm sweating. He's driven them all. Is he, uh, did you put the server back up? Oh. Ah, oh, it's a classic. <laughs> so, for, for me, like, driving like a slower car on a track that I kind of know is means I can also read the chat and, and be a good old live stream host as well, you know. I know some of you in the races, you're just joining and racing. So you're like, oh, I just want to drive different things and race. and You know, it's a balance, guys. It's a balance. Are the V8s... <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Are the V8s any good in uh, AC? What V8s are in AC? That'd be quite interesting. Man, I'm I'm soaking. <laughs> I need to shower. Game of Muscle 2020. Oh, my God. I'm, like, proper drenched in sweat. 80s Formula 1. Imagine driving those cars with, like, mental fire 
Tardant suits on. Billy Broadbent. <laughs> Yeah, I need, I need to get a drink. I might, I'm might. i going to change my shirt as well, I think, if I can find another shirt to wear. I might put my, the one I was on wearing yesterday, actually. Let's do that. <laughs> Back in a second, guys. Just going to have a shower. <laughs> How's it going there? How we how we doing for the old light button business, Lark? 
I've been uh, building light buttons since 1982. <laughs> Hello, Ollie. Hit that like button if you haven't. How are we doing for likes? I feel a bit cooler now. <laughs> I was baked. I don't know, Gasper. Oh, my gloves are just disgusting. <laughs> They're just wet. Sweat gloves. I need to wash them. I'm going to wash them after tonight's stream. Gonna soak in some uh, washing liquid, I think. Uh, I'm not sure I might do. I, I might not do. No, the gloves are really handy for gripping on the wheel without having to. So, this is another advantage of racing gloves. Um or any gloves for that matter. If you've got an Alcantara wheel rim, you don't have to squeeze to hold the wheel. It like grips when you just hold like gently, so you're not, you know. Oh man, this is so easy compared to the <laughs> right, 80s F1. Ah, oh, this is so chill. Ah, oh, thank you, John. I appreciate the people that come back repeatedly for torture. It's quite nice being able to have a fake job. Let's face it, I wouldn't do a real job. I don't know, actually. I decided if I was going to do a real job, I'd work as like a nature is <laughs> nature warden i almost actually applied for a job in uh, it was in like scotland this was years back basically um the job was to just stay on a bit of land like look after look after an old um building basically and uh it's, it's proper remote and you're you're paid like 35k a year And that was it. And the problem was there's no internet, so it's like no. But I, that sort of thing's. Uh... Ollie Cole, yeah, I've been doing this for like uh, YouTube for three years now, I think. Well, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for longer, but full time U YouTube for three years, and then I was, I was doing uh, like web game stuff and music stuff before that, and uh, game stuff before that. Can we play our Factor 2? I will. We probably will do our Factor 2 at some point. They've just released um, New Zandvoort, I think, for our Factor 2. It's just coming out today. I believe. Do you know what? This, this track's really nicely modelled. I mean, it looks superb, doesn't it? Like, some of those tracks in AC, you don't play AC and you're not... You, you, you play in AC, you're not, it's not like, oh, this looks like a terrible mod track. And, like, it looks proper good. I never, I've never had a T80. Do you mean a T300? My very first streams were on Twitch, but I've been doing YouTube before that. I don't do anything part-time, no, I just do this. Uh, that's it. <laughs> YouTube all the time. Uh, might yeah maybe it's a little bit too but uh, yeah it does feel a bit bumpy from my wheel but it's it's fine. What 
Well, that's the weird thing. It's actually <laughs> this whole lockdown thing is it's been good for sim racing. What's the time? 4.39. Welcome anybody that's just logged in, <laughs> tuned in, logged in, logged on. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. That's my real motivation for UBI. But is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? Uh, having people having more disposable income to then give to other people that don't earn a lot of money? Why don't you want a sim race, Kitex? You might as well play games or do something creative or you know if you've got time you might as well make the most out of it if you can Well, see, the thing is, I think what's, what will have happened is a lot of... So if you're outside of the sim racing bubble, a lot of people don't know that sim racing exists as a thing. Like, they don't know it's a thing. So this is like... Just made more people aware that, that you know, you can... You can play driving games that have the tracks and the cars and they're, they're relatively realistic. They, they literally did not, like, the amount of times I talk to people randomly about sim racing, you know, they're just like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I do sim racing YouTube stuff. And they're, they're like, what is that? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'll be like, well, it's like car games that are sort of a little, like more realistic car games. And But they're still, they, even then they're like, oh, they don't, they don't have any idea. Like, they didn't even realise that there's uh, actual race drivers do it so it doesn't even matter if the real drivers keep streaming or not the the advertising has happened now already like it's it it's just put it through past the threshold to make more people aware of it well yeah i don't know what the you know, I don't know what the exact number is, but I can tell you from, like, all the sim... Like, n there's no, like, wheels in stock. By for, like, Thrustmaster wheels are all out of stock. Fanatec wheels, I, th I think a lot of them have gone out of stock. Um, the sim rigs are all out of stock. Um, it's like... Even before the sort of... Um, the, the aspect of factories maybe not producing stuff... And even prior, to be, to be honest, even prior to the uh, lockdown thing and the, the, the virus, prior to that, sim racing had grown like double on double each year, like crazy growth for, for any industry. Well, what I find weird, right, with someone that's going to go, oh, sim racing, eh, sim racing, not real racing, not sim racing, isn't it? It's like, well, okay, that's fine, but do you apply that same thinking to chess or poker or, like, any other enjoyable, like, board game or any other activity you do, like, that's not necessarily massively physical, like table tennis? I mean, I know pro table tennis players are actually pretty physical, but there's there's sports and activities. Just because it's not physical, 
doesn't. It's like if you. It's just something that people have decided to spend time doing and they enjoy doing. That, that's valid enough. Like just canoeing, canoeing down a river, not not like white water rafting, just canoeing smoothly. If people enjoy it, and you can develop a technique of how to be like extra smooth at it and whatever. I mean, bloody fishing. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, I think fly fishing is quite intense and specific, but a lot of fishing is, you know, it's more like a methodical process and choosing the right bait and, you know, choosing where to do stuff. But you, you know what I mean? It's not like it's, it's not 80s Formula One car driving, is it? So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the point I'm making is it's like, because something is or isn't physical doesn't really matter like it doesn't make it any more or less valid if people are enjoying it it's like a lot of things it's whatever you make out of it like tiddlywinks go to the world championship final of tiddlywinks it'd be pretty damn intense or any any like even the uh, world world competitive rock paper scissors <laughs> it's like it's going to be pretty intense if you get to the final of that Well, I think that, Stephen, I think what a big component of it is, is that the, a lot of people don't know what race driving is. Like, innate, they don't innately know what driving a car fast is. Like, to them, it's like, oh, I can drive a road car quickly. That's going fast. That's, do you know what I mean? They don't, they don't realise that it's about... Uh, modulating the brake pedal it's about uh, specific lines through a corner it's about balancing the car on on the limit of grip like they, they have no concept of that at all <laughs> so yeah it, to, to a lot of people dry, race driving is turn the wheel to point where the car goes and push the gas pedal as much as you dare and in fairness, you can't necessarily blame people too much for not realising what race driving is because unlike football, unless they've done sim racing, there's no way that they've actually have experienced it. <laughs> I am sped. I do, so you know we like the real race drivers taking the piss with the sim racing. I don't necessarily think they should always take it serious. You know, if they're doing a, a, a fun event, it's like a silly event and that's what they're doing, then that's fine, uh, you know. But if they're doing an event that's sort of like meant to be like a serious event and then everyone's doing it seriously and then someone just decides to take the piss and be stupid, it's, it's like... What if, you know, what if someone was to come into their field? Like, say you had, like, a billionaire that comes into NASCAR racing randomly and he's just, like... I mean, the problem is, in real racing, there's danger there, so, you know, they will get ejected from for, for being dangerous. But it's like you'd, you'd be like, oh, that's a bit of a dick thing to do. <laughs> what about all the people that are taking the time off to watch it, all the people that have invested time in, like, getting good at it, um, all the setup stuff, all the people organising the event... You know, it's like, and also they they sort of forget that not everyone is a ridiculously rich, spoiled race driver. Not all race drivers are ridiculously rich, spoiled race drivers. But you know, because race driving is basically about being rich at the start, like you can't get into it unless you're rich. For the most part, it's slightly different in America. They they have no, they, they don't a lot of them don't have a conception of like what it's like for people that have don't have that kind of money or that kind of background like you know <laughs> so I think, but as I say there's two aspects to it if, if, if people are there's having fun and there's being silly and not taking it too seriously which is perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that you shouldn't take everything seriously but you know what I mean it's like if, if it's a uh, 
Also, you don't have to take it deadly seriously and still have lots of fun and still it, it be jokey. So like, a good example would be like the uh, Porsche Community Legends thing I've been doing with uh, thank with Porsche, thanks to them inviting me and everything. But doing that with like um, Jardia and uh, Super GT, it's like no, you can have fun. like we we're, we're, but we're trying to win. And we're trying to not like, but we're, at the same time we're not like wreck because it's just worse viewing. It's just not. It's just shit. It, it, but we can still like joke and still like try and battle and try and push as hard as possible. But apart from Stephen just wrecking me, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's like you can still have fun and still be joking and still like take the piss a little bit, but without being uh, ruining it. It doesn't matter if it's a game or not. It, it that's irrelevant. It's not well. It's it's non-alcoholic, but it's the uh, <laughs> Petronas tires, <laughs> uh, alcohol-free beer. You see, slurping audio. <laughs> Yeah, like, people seem to get confused with, like, first of all, assuming that you can't have, like, like game necessarily doesn't mean take something seriously or not seriously, or that you can still take something seriously and still have fun with it, and, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like forcibly putting preconceived notions on something for no reason at all. In, in the same way, sim, re sim racers often forcibly act, act artificially that it's real racing. It's not real racing. It's sim racing. <laughs> it, it is its own thing. So it, it's like the it's like another dimension of doing that, but in, a, in another way. Hello, Revin UK. Well, look, everyone lives for a finite amount of time. And so if you're spending your time doing something, you know, that's... <laughs> That's a relevant factor, regardless of what it is. Uh, yeah, it's a. Top, I'd say it's a genre of video game. If if you're doing it in, I mean, if you're using it a hundred percent as a simulator, in the same kind of way that you put a car in like a digital air, air tunnel to adjust its aero and. Or you're testing the ECU, or you're, you know, you're literally a race team <laughs> to testing components. You know, that's that's pure, pure, pure simulation. But you know, I mean, you are. It's a realist, uh, relatively realistic video game. There's nothing wrong with that. It is literally simulated racing. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's, uh, it's if you uh, were to do like you know, like um, what's it called, like target shooting, for example. You could do target shooting with a like real, full-on real rifle. You could do target shooting with a reduced caliber rifle. You could do target shooting in virtual reality. I mean, you could do target shooting with an airsoft gun, so it's not even firing a, a bullet. Uh, you could do target shooting with a paintball gun. <laughs> you could do it in VR with different types of methods of tracking and uh, hand devices and types of mechanics in gameplay. You know, they're, they're all individual activities that have similar skill sets between them. And you could choose to take any of them seriously or not seriously. <laughs> it's like... They're all a form of target shooting, no? Hello, Chocolate Farm. I, I love AC. I, I think it's one of the best simulators out there. One of my favourites. Force feedback, mods, sim racing system. 
What are the types of guns? Wow, shotguns. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Shumi's being sarcastic. Sarcastic man. Sarcastic man. Welcome to sarcasticman.com. Today on Sarcastic Man. Ah, uh, Nerf guns. Peanut. Peanut gallery guns, yeah. Woo! <laughs> water guns. Ah, uh, I forgot the water guns. Do you guys ever... At like uh, fairgrounds, or they, they have them at zoos, those, those like water pistol things where you've got the targets you shoot for like kids to play. They were amazing. Valuable skills. <laughs> I don't know if race driving skills are that valuable, though. <laughs> Let's be real here. In America, Counter Strike and Battlefield skills. Stay behind cover. There's like a there's like a school shooting every other day in America, so playing Counter Strike and COD's quite handy. Probably, you're more likely to be in a sh in a mass shooting in America than you are to be in a race car. So. Learning how to hide behind a, a brick wall and how to run away is, is pretty pretty damn useful. That's one thing I've learned from Counter-Strike and, and Battlefield. Use cover. Use everything as a shield where possible. Stay low and crawl. Man, I tell you, if, there's, if World War II happens again... Uh, Hell Let Loose as well helped me to like follow hedge lines properly. A little bit loose there. Yeah, I need to. I haven't played it recent that recently. I like just playing it by myself, like wolfing it on the big maps, running through the countryside, then flanking the enemy. It's just really fun. America will win again. Oh no, we've sent Antoine off. America! <laughs> da -da. Gonna save the world. Woo! Antoine out. How do you, uh, don't you get, don't you get annoyed that America aren't number one when it comes to Alienware monitors? Doesn't that upset you? If America's number one, how come they don't produce Alienware monitors? <laughs> yeah. You might have guns, but do you have Alienware monitors? Come on, man. How do you... How do you... Uh, how do you uh... <laughs> Which country produces Alienware monitors? I, th I think is it... Is it... Is Alienware uh, Chinese or is it South... I think South Korea does loads of monitor, uh, like TFT displays, don't they? Also, is Alienware... It's not their own panel, is it? It'll be like, isn't there only like three panel manufacturers, like Samsung, LG and Sony or something, and some other one. Like TCL make their own panels. Yeah, but but they don't they don't make them in America, do they? Taiwan. Look, they'll just put stuff together. They don't. They don't make it. It'll be like, you know. <laughs> Try 
China, China, China. Oh, Mr. Breaker. Try and find the Dom. It's Dom in the underpowered GT4 car. If, if car companies did computer components, which car company would make the best one? I think Porsche would do good graphics cards. That was probably an inopportune time to have a sip of my drink there. Tesla use Nvidia processing for their um, auto drive thing. Williams F1 PC. Did they actually do, did they do that? I'm sure I saw that. Tremendous monitor, probably the best monitor. Very, very large monitor. <laughs> tremendous, pa tremendous power. So much brightness. All the brightness. The very best brightness. <laughs> the strongest of brightness. I would like a Skoda PC. It'd be good value for money, it'd be good performance, and occasionally you'd have to reboot it because it wouldn't work properly. Guys, why did the uh, why did the extraterrestrial look like a computer monitor? Because because that's what aliens wear. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, guys, click the down vote button, dislike button. Unsubscribe, format your C drive. Everyone dislikes stream. Hey, it was good. Uh, it was good. T 
10 out of 10. This car's like the Euro truck sim of race cars. Thank you, Harry. Those trucks are terrible. I've, I drove them. Maybe they've improved them, but they just, they're just they so horrible to drive. They're all over the bloody shop. They feel like they're just, I don't know, they don't make any sense to me at all. I'm pretty sure the ones in the first automobilist weren't that bad. Maybe they fixed them now. Your eyeballs are now bleeding. Maybe you just contracted Ebola from a bad joke. Yeah, the, the gears are for uh, depending on how, how much uh, you've got in your trailer. No, they're like proper just drift all over the place. And then they're like, the wheels lift off the ground when you turn the steering. <laughs> I need a biscuit, but I haven't got any. I need the biscuit, but I haven't got any. I keep falling down, <laughs> falling down through my sim rig. I need to tilt my chair back a touch. I know. <laughs> I need to install a uh, ass grip pads. Jack Garland, you just search for Game of Muscle on the server list, and then uh, password is T in capital letters. You have to be subscribed to the channel though, otherwise the server phones up your parents and tells them that you're a dirty sim racer. So yeah, you have to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Some people, lots of people forget to do that, and it's very embarrassing when they have to have the conversation with their parents about what they do in the sim rig. So, don't make that mistake. If you want to join, you also have to, uh, you also have to sign a legal waiver that states that you agree that ACC's force feedback is not adequate. And that it needs to be better. I don't think I'll ever be invited to a virtual F1 GP. I'm too outspoken. Too slow. Not popular enough. And uh, don't have enough hair. And... Uh, that I've, I don't have any game of muscle. Well, that was a cruise. <laughs> what? Whew. I need an energy boost, guys. I need a biscuit really bad. I might make some cookies tonight. I like the Jurassic Park fencing on this track. Let's see the old results here. Giortolini with the win. Joss the boss in second. 
Finally, Harvey Bravo. Bro, bro, brov. Third. Ryan Thomas, fourth. Dom GTR. Fifth. Steen to Dool, sixth. Gromsey, seventh. Chris, 047, eighth. Myself in ninth. Zero bandwidth in tenth. You could sell your G29 for more than you paid for it. Everything's gone up in value. Recently. So Can someone tell me how many likes we've got? On If you just refresh the stream. See how we're doing for the old likes. Hello, Chris Bow. You've got the wrong logo again, you noob. That's your account that you use to browse adult videos. This isn't an adult video. Three... Three diddy... <laughs> Treat Titty. Man, we can get to 400 likes on this stream for sure. Do I have Norse Ring? I think, so. yeah, I do, yeah. Do you want to do 90s DTM at Norse Ring? Or am I thinking Norse Ring? Is that that German track? No, can't do 80s F1. My knee's hurting. Oh, I don't have Norse ring. Linkity dinkity. Oh, I need to put the music back on. I was wondering why it went all quiet. It's just we lack hype without the music. We need those epic beats. And I need a biscuit. Can you get biscuit delivery? Oh, no, I know shops can't get to shops anyway. Terrible. Let's download the track here. Night one ninety Evo. <laughs> Chocolate digestives. I've got some dark chocolate. I've got flour. I've got sugar. I could make some really nice cookies. Got eggs. How would you open a shop selling biscuits with a biscuit biscuit? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> How long is 300 seconds? Ah. <laughs> uh. Poor zero bandwidth. <laughs> Instant death penalty. Ah, oh, no, five minutes. That's harsh. Sorry. I thought it was funny, though. Hang on a minute. I've never actually seen the other the outside view of the track. I didn't even you know. Oh, zero bandwidth got in. <laughs> Have to be murdered. But my knee's killing me. I need some knee stretches. Uh, there's a train line on the left. Ah, oh, we could... <laughs> my bottle's stuck to my gloves. <laughs> Look how grippy these gloves are. <laughs> Look at that. Gravity gloves. Look at that. What? What? <laughs> that makes no sense. Space gloves. Turns out sim racing gloves are the ultimate drinking accoutrement. Look at that! <laughs> Physics! <laughs> ah, sip of tea. 
Oh, I'm exhausted. Need a biscuit. I can have a banana, I guess. Guys, what can we do? Can we, uh, is it time to pimp the Instagram? I think it is. Has the Game of Muscle Instagram got a thousand followers yet? No. 938. Wow. That could be higher if people followed us on Instagram. Why would you want to do that? I don't quite know, but I heard that it's, that it'll be good. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, Doppelganger started following me. Thank you. Pinky started following me. Thank you. See, if you don't ask, you don't get. Oh, Chonko. Chan Chanko 106 started following me. Thank you. Danke schon. Danke bitte. Oh, I want to go. I want to go to Germany. I was actually thinking last when I was making a cup of tea. I'll. I really like to go to. Uh, I really want to cycle the coast of Croatia, or I'd like to cycle to Venice. Maybe go to Italy. Maybe not right now. Probably not good timing. But cycle from Venice all the way down the coast of Croatia. A lot of the Croatian coast is cyclable. Where are you, Thomas? I'm not don't like the what's going to happen is because the airline industry is destroyed um the um uh the um flights will be cheap for like a year and then they're going to go they'll go up in price very quickly so basically this like they'll probably lax flying within like 9 months 8 months so it'll probably be winter time There'll be cheap flights, and then the flights will go really, really, really expensive. So we'll try and make the most of it before it goes crazy. They'll, they'll be cheap initially, I'm telling you, because they'll, they'll be desperate to get initial people onto them to change the cultural perception of... of like, there'll be like an irrational fear of flying, you know, and then they'll do it cheap, and then they'll wrap the price up very quickly. That's what I've heard from uh, people in working in uh, like pilots and stuff that's what I've been saying so yeah but they, they it, as I'm saying they won't put the they wouldn't just go crazy with the prices straight away because that won't get people into it if that makes sense uh, well just make sure you've already caught coronavirus uh, and you've got immunity to it and it doesn't matter But yeah, the sort of two the two year position for flying will be it'll be mental, mental expensive, and I I'd expect those sort of sh short haul. Nobody knows what's going to happen with the short haul flight industry and how that will reorganise itself, and you know. No, Antoine, it's called the coronavirus. You need to behave, Antoine. Ah, oh, this car's got nice, sturdy force feed, Matt. No, that's not his name. Its name is SARS Cove something or other. Um, and it causes. Uh, what's it called? Don't you think it's amusing that the Spanish flu is called the Spanish flu despite it originating in the United States? 
Yeah, co COVID-19 is the, an, the immune response to SARS-CoV-2 -CoV or whatever. And uh, no, or novel coronavirus. But yeah, either way. Let, why, why not? Why not just try and inject something to race bait into that? That always that always improves everything, doesn't it? If there's an opportunity, let's let's have. Uh, why why not have the Chinese uh, blame the Americans? And then let's have the Americans blame the Chinese. And let's have World War Three because we'll all be good for that. <laughs> let's turn everything into a race issue because that always makes the world a more pleasant and helpful place. Oh, oh wait a minute. No, it doesn't. It makes it shit for everyone. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> No, you're right. China's not a race, but, you know, it is race baiting. It is using... It is leveraging racism for the sake of political gain. Let's be real. Yeah, they... they I, I'm exactly as I explained there. <laughs> as I say... All, uh, lots of governments around the world. Hello, Corey. Lots of governments around the world leverage racism as a way to distract from their own inadequacies and to get themselves elected. It's a really basic strategy that works. Yes, we know that China's racist. The chi there's lots of racist people in China. We know there's lots of racist people in America. There's lots of racist people all around the world. Listen to what I'm saying. Governments around the world use racism as a way to get what they want. And the whole point of calling it the Wuhan virus is political race baiting political gamesmanship wankery and if you can't see that then you're absolutely <laughs> if you if you can't see through idiotic political idiocy please just microwave your forehead And the, Chi the, as the Chinese doing it as well. Chinese are like, oh, American soldiers came and gave, gave it to us here. The trumpets and lots of Americans are like, oh, the Wuhan virus is from China. The Chinese didn't do Chinese, China. Bah. We hate Chinese. Bah, 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 bah. How about... How about... Uh, drink tea. Keep to the facts. <laughs> this track's awesome. Keep to the tracks, guys. <laughs> two, two things are always... <laughs> two things will always be for sure in humanity idiots and governments manipulating idiots <laughs> two, two, it's like at this point it's, it's, it's like a fundamental rule of the universe this car's great I don't know, for some reason, this racetrack reminds me of... makes me think of politics for some reason. I, I'm not sure why. I, I don't know, I, I just get... 
for some reason, this, this race circuit reminds me of general population's ability to be non-critical and rallied towards a cause that potentially would result in the death of millions of people. I, I, I don't know why this track would do that. It, it must be the layout. Yeah, we're playing online. Uh, so I linked it in chat, so you should be able to get it and join. I think we need to break at the 100 meter board. Almost a second up there. I really like these. Uh, it's almost as if 80s cars were just like some of the best cars. My, my brain, I need to make it more sensitive. 80s cars are just generally always really good fun. It's like an accident of the technology not being too refined. Yeah, it's a Heli Corsa. There's actually a newer version of it. Antoine, if you're being racist, you can you can piss off. <laughs> like. What are you actually saying? I, I mean, half the time I don't understand what you're saying. driving earlier that was uh, on sim racing system it was quite good oh you have to break the 400 meter board all oh, right if, it, if it's just yeah I, I, it's only because he said like stuff before it's hard to read and follow conversations in the chat in a penis.
I don't have any biscuits. <laughs> I can't read. I don't have any biscuits. I need biscuits. But I don't because I, I need to not be... Oh, Jesus, you have to... <laughs> I'll just park next to you. Hello, mate. Ah. <laughs> uh... Um, yeah, I'm struggling to break. Ow! I'm trying to adjust my brake here, guys. Please, please don't drive into me. I think I might I might change my dampness in my brake pedal. I'm a bit bit firmer. Whew. Tea is too wet without a biscuit. Ow. This uh, race is going to be interesting. This is always a clean track. Norse ring. Hey, Damon Allen. Actually, I guess it is five o'clock. It's almost tea time. That's probably... I'm just hungry. That's why I want a biscuit, because I'm hungry. I should have real food. Might have some chilli or something. Hello, Pommy Turk. Oh, if I start eating custard creams, I can't stop. <laughs> so you, custard creams are like infinitely dunkable. Well, that's it, DW United 2. I judge people by which games force feedback they pref they prefer. I think that's the only real way to judge people fairly. That's If I'm talking to someone I've just met for the first time, I ask them which simulator has the best force feedback, and that's how I judge them as a person. That should be what they use at the uh, you know for like immigration and passport. Ask people what... what uh, Ask people what force feedback they like the most. David Icke of force feedback. David Icke believes in Raelians, doesn't he? No, he lizard people. He got his channel banned. Here we go, guys. Good old T1 at Norse Ring.
Have we got merch? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, chocolate fingers make me sick, but my, my sister really likes them, so I always buy them for her and then I end up having some. They upset my stomach. <laughs> but yeah, you always want to eat more of them. I tell you what, guys, I only realised recently, you know Twixes, they are just, like, it's millionaire shortbread. I didn't realise. But it's because they're like, they're just crap. They're just like crap quality. I, but I never realized, I never put two and two together. I didn't connect the dots. It's, if you think about it, a Twix is shortbread. Oh, uh, cocking noblets. With. Why is my windscreen wiper turned on? What? 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 Why is the windscreen wiper on? What? Well, I didn't. My keyboard's not even near me. It must be reverse. Is activated it. Got an idea. <laughs> there. Whoa. There you go. Just had to go into reverse gear six times. An electrical fault. It really is a. It really is a 90s car. Box at one percent hull integrity. Oh no, sorry for ruining your life, Sir Apologies. Yorkie biscuits, which ones are they? Ow, German Vettel. Hello, Mike McLaren. I might... After this race, I can put some uh, chilli in the microwave. Oh. Twice? It's all right, moving target. You just had to use your imagination. Yeah, echo location. Oh my god, I don't know what I've done to my gear stick. Just 
So sorry, Jacques, for ruining your life as well. <laughs> I'm amazed it didn't put you off for the rest of your sim racing life. I never want to do this again. Why? Why would I do this? I think I just need to put the Allen key in and tighten it up. No, we've not raced the F2004. The problem with that is people really struggle with it. I mean, I struggle with it in terms of concentration. Hello, TB UK. These cars look really nice. <laughs> Maybe I need more rear brake bias. There, Scott, this is my day job. <laughs> I do, I'm a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. He's not the Messiah, he's a YouTuber, and he's a very naughty boy. I am dependent on the subscribers, the Fanatec affiliate link, the Amazon affiliate and YouTube ads, and the occasional sponsorship. That is my life as a YouTuber. I contribute nothing to society. He's a drain on electricity. <laughs> and people want to kill themselves every time they see him. It's a game of muscle. It's a game of muscle. Please kill the game of muscle. It's a game of muscle. It's a game of muscle. What a waste of time. That's the tale of Game of Muscle, in case you wondered. <laughs> is, this, is this a cultural contribution? I mean, it's better than any artwork by Yoko Ono, so that's fine. Hello, Robert Good. What music do I like? I, 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 I just sing my own songs. <laughs> Say form of, form of culture. So is blowing a Vuvuzela at a football match. I want to get a Vuvuzela. Someone needs to make a Vuvuzela simulator. What's ACFF post-processing? Eh? What's that, Jazz? Is that like an add-on or a mod or something? I don't even know what that is. Thanks, Gasper. Is there really a, is there really an ACC uh, force feedback mod thing? I'd be happy if there is. Oh, 
Ah, oh, people just making stuff up as usual. Fake news. Oh, I've, yeah, I've messed with that. It's a load of bollocks. Load of bollocks. You can't, you can't get something that's not there. No, I know what it is. I've already played around with it. Don't do nothing, mate. Nice air. <laughs> what do you mean double wheel? Oh, I do it because the cockpit view has uh, looked to horizon on it. Using the handbrake to go around these corners. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. So using lots of stuff might might be worthwhile for like a T300, G25, whatever. Like whatever, you know, it might improve. Like there's variations in those wheels. It might improve it a little bit. Might make changes, but it's. Utterly, utterly negligible compared to a simulator having good force feedback in the first place. And then, yeah, by the time you've got to like a CSL Elite or better, it's like, well, you have to ask yourself the question why would you need to use a LUT file to get basic force feedback <laughs> out of the, uh, out of a get, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, It'd be like having completely shit graphics in a game and then someone saying, oh, you can use NVIDIA Inspector to make this game look amazing. Well, Soul fundamentally adds new things into it. The, the, the baseline graphics in AC are pretty nice. Lots of manipulating the force curve. So it's different from, say, IRFFB app literally generates force feedback from the telemetry. So in that case, that would be analogous to Soul, for example in that Soul app literally adds new shaders and day-night lighting, you know, actually adds new stuff. It's not just, it's not just a basic manipulation of something that's already there. It's, it's not like a, an EQ of what's already existing, if that makes sense. So, 
yeah, like uh, Soul would be analogous to uh, IRFFB, seat of the pants thing, or say like the AccuForce's um, Foundation Force feedback. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I, I was terrible with this. I need to get some food quickly. I'll be back in it back in a minute, guys. Let's put it in the microwave. Look at the results here. Uh, Thomas Smith's a legend. He probably took you out because you weren't German enough through this track. You you transgressed on his on his homeland. <laughs> Finley, Harvey, bro, won that. Adam B, Icky, well done, guys. Right. Just going to put some food, heat some food up. John Webb, when you say understeer feel, you mean the force feedback gets lighter after you've already gone over the limit? Well... He doesn't. He doesn't like you, Shumi. You got to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, I I did try the luck thing. I I can give it another go, but I I just get I get tired of trying everything with ACC, and it it still feels like utter shit compared to other simulators. So, <laughs> like I've I've given it so much time. Need to go be a parent. All right. <laughs> Sponging a keyboard's where you're at. Well, it's not, Dom, because I've literally spent 10 plus hours messing around with the force feedback, as I do with most of simulators, so... Uh, yeah, I did that, Jazz. Unless there's been a big change. Can we have a large grid? Nerd! Right, back in a second, guys. I need to microwave some food. I want to do just drive the game. But like, what do you want me to do? Not point, not say something that's the case? Not <laughs> just like, ignore something? Uh, Cathedral Rock International. What? Link, link to the track. What is this about? Right, Tortellini's getting another time out here. <laughs> oh, so funny. What is this track? It looks awesome. No, random. It's an illusion. Holographic muscle. Kim Muscle returns. <laughs> oh, hello. Doc Brown. Thank you for subscribing. Downloading bitter. D uh, well, I I don't ignore. Well, I do. I I'm just look. There's five vocal people in chat that are completely wrong when it comes to force feedback. All the enlightened people are, and the highly intelligent people. Uh, know how it is, but I have to keep. I have to keep trying to inform the. I have to, you know, in. I have to keep reading the prophecy to these to these unenlightened plebs. <laughs> you know, it's and then people complain about it. the unenlightened plebs complain about it. You know, 
What can I say? I've I've told you I've told you guys I've drawn the line. It's a very clear line. <laughs> I'm a just I'm a I'm a just dictator. Force <laughs> feedback manifesto. Right. Back in a bit, guys. No uh, arguing about force feedback in the chat. I can't help. I just. I can't help people that aren't enlightened. You know. It's like if. You know, if if you can't read, you're not going to be able to get the story in the book, are you? Back in a bit.
children. Oh, of those of you that denied the uh, the glory that is Assetto Force feedback, have you apologised? Have you re repented? It's time. Look at this. Chili, chili and rice time. Beautiful. Force feedback's not terrible in Euro Truck Sim, actually. <laughs> Bizarrely, it's actually all right. Yeah, but I have to eat. <laughs> I have to eat. I'll get a lap in, don't worry. Oh, it's a new track I don't know as well. Oh, bugger me. I ate at 12 o'clock. It's six hours later. <laughs> I'm having tea. That was it. That was at like twelve or one that I had. That I had the curry. As Fanatec said, no. I keep asking for one. This is the premium gamer mukbang channel. Literally, we've been streaming for like almost nine hours today. Race after race after race. Win after win. Enlightening people about force feedback all day long. It's, it's hard being the prophet of force feedback. People said Jesus had a hard time. Uh, it's way harder convincing people about force feedback. Those of you, those of you that don't appreciate good force feedback, you like the Romans. Right. I'm going to get a lap. Is this track? <laughs> what is this? to be land Grand Prix. What? <laughs> Why is this track mania? It's got more banking than a plane in a thunderstorm.
I do. Well, that was an interesting track to uh, drive. I had to concentrate to not crash. Oh, chili and rice is so good, guys. <laughs> hey, big gorilla. Oh, I feel so much better after eating. I forget to eat. My brain just shuts down. And I'm like, oh, why am I so angry about force feedback? Oh, it's because I've not had a biscuit. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> this is a good. This is a good. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. I'm eating my. I'm eating my food. <laughs> we'll be fat. We'll be fat together in the sim rig. This is part of my uh, sim lab P1 cockpit review, where I get morbidly obese and test the weight, carry capacity of it. Rub it on your hips. <laughs> I've not had any biscuits today. <laughs> Third world countries. <laughs> Here's a man in a sim rig eating. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a trough. It's a glass food container. Environmentally friendly glass food container. point does something become a trough I mean isn't a spoon technically a very small trough no I mean it's more environmentally friendly than buying plastic tubs and throwing them away this is not it's not bigger than my head it's because it's got, it looks well bigger <laughs> It looks bigger than it is. This is like a normal... It's smaller than a plate. It's like a 500 milliliter... It's not even 500... It's like 450 milliliter food container. Not once growing up did I think I'd be sat in a sim rig playing driving simulators with people criticising my food <laughs> containers on the internet. This is where we're at. This is where society's got to. Oh, do I go mediums or softs for the race? Oh, I don't know. Look, people are unsure. I'm going to trust the Schmidt. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to go mediums. We got mediums. Oh, now we're going to go softs. Woo! <laughs> Gamble. Right, here we go, guys. 15th to 1st.
Bye, Gromzy. we go. He, wait, he slowed down. I wasn't expecting him to, but it's still my fault. That's downhill. <laughs> Been punished, guys. an easy track. Yeah, you, you definitely have to take off a lot of speed for some of these corners.
come on. And you have to concentrate. Hello, Sal. I've had fun today. The only bad thing is I haven't had any biscuits. a wall. I think should we do like the mandatory Donington portion on Leaven race next? The Donington Classic. There go the tires. Oh my god, the tires are gone. <laughs> I haven't got any dessert. I'm all out of food now. Mini Ninja. Final comeback. She's getting a server and race with us. Circuit to front end feel. Circuit to death corner. No, Dom GTR's past this. <laughs> Squeezed. I 
Hello, Mixel38. Oh yeah, I missed I missed the break. I, I know. You slowed down when I wasn't expecting to, it's my fault. <laughs> I shouldn't have been pushing so hard. It's a huge error. My well, PC superb powered. Man in the air. Man in the air. Man in the air. What are you up to, Jeff? Jeff's a little teapot, short and stout. Oh, I love doing that. I love doing that in that corner. Bacon frazzles. Dreamboat. That is true. That is. A, uh, well, saying that, the new Envex, pretty stable. But yeah, using a separate stream PC. Outside the hospital. Uh, the hospitals are all being closed down, so I have to force feedback from the basement. A ridiculous track. Up here, try and finish on a PB. Whoops, <laughs> just using the arm code to help me around that corner. Oh, his gas bomb killed him. I killed him. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ah, oh. guilty. Hello, T. T. A muesli. T. A muesli. T. A muesli. T. A muesli. Murder. Murder. I give myself a double. Oh, that's not double guilty. Uh, you have to make your animations. Got all the best animations here. What 
What happens if I push all the animations at the same time? There you go. Oh no, I got distracted by the animation buttons. Oh no! Oh, it's, again, we finished too far behind. Can that it, timer be increased? Ah, uh, can we? Are we going to do a Dono with this car? The Dono Classic. T, why aren't you in AC? There's no excuse. It's the cheapest sim. It's got the best force feedback, especially with a G25. Amazing cars. You know. Thomas Schmidt won. Icky second. In third. Nico Cheeseburg fourth. Josh fifth. That was an interesting track. I'll say that. That's one thing you could say about that track. It's interesting. Why would we do reverse grid? It would just be carnage. I don't know, Jack. Jeff installed everything. Why, why didn't you install it? How are you going to master the AC? You need to... AC is 90% learning how to... Uh, learning content manager. That That's the joy of AC. If you don't, if you don't have the mods and the tweaking and, you know... You're missing out on like half of what makes AC so beautiful. You can't you can't lean on Jeff for everything. <laughs> I wouldn't trust Jeff setting up your PC. He'd probably install the wrong mod. You'll you'll ask for a Porsche and you'll you'll get a uh, a Robin Reliant. Oh, it's Jeff racing as well now. Well, you need two PCs so you can both get in. All right, we're going to win quality. Ah, oh, that's good. I'll uh, click it. I'll check it out. How many races, T, T, have you got in your uh, Dirt Rally 2 thing? How many stages? Ugh. wonder what these holes on the door are for here. Oh, they're lights. Are they position lights? Two stages in different conditions. weird there's something on the floor there right time to uh, destroy
Have you ever seen Dono so busy before? <laughs> Trip to Monaco game. Well, you know, that's a good reason. Right, here we go. This is a mod track. You should have Donington, it's a top notch track. Thanks for linking it, Dom. Oh, Mike, you can't say that. I hear that Mike McLaren's been uh, given a popage in the Church of Muscle Force feedback. Ah, let's only cut the cars.
Ah, oh, no, we're on the podium. That's embarrassing for everyone in here. It's almost as if we'd driven Brands Hatch with his car far too much. If you hate ACC, come here for a hug. Oh no, Josh beat our time. I said I've got to get back out on track here. Hello, Mr. Toiler. Mr. Toiler seat. on the moment like a bit of a gap to go. Lights out and away they go. Uh, the service full. Great. <laughs> we are just locked up. Well, we're going to have to do it in one lap. neutral <laughs> what is he doing okay no thank you I thought he was just going to pull out into the track.
Bloody hell, it's so easy to lock up on going into T1. Fail. <laughs> okay. Didn't quite work out there, guys. Oh, we had second and then messed up the end sector. What a failure. <gasps> Maybe I should have tried the super softs. Oh, well. See how it goes in the race. Hello, Alexander Zwan Zanawaski. Zanawaski. Welcome along, man. Oh, Ben Ebelson got up there as well. Are we, uh, we're approaching 7pm death hour. Uh, if you enjoy the 7pm death hour, click the like button. It's a good time for death. One of my favourite times is the 7 pm death hour. F. <laughs> Sunday night. It's TV time. Hey, Michael Lemmy. Here we go. Just try and get Try and get a win. Qualified on the podies. Thomas Smith behind us. Ben Ebelson to our side. Tim <laughs> before Titwinkles. Joss leading the way here.
down Floster Johns. Up there, Jack going a bit slidey through there. Hey, side of you. Unfortunately, that's not the fastest way through that corner. DJ, DJ, yo. How's it going, man? Legend or loser without a life? You decide. <laughs> Ben Ebelson's behind us now in third. Solid drive from the Hebel. Neutral gear, not the most useful of gears. The only problem with neutral is it's geared a bit low. Million Ninja, you need to get content manager. Then you could just drag tracks and cars into it and it installs them. Tom said what I said. I recommend listening to Dom unless it's about fuel levels or force feedback in ACC. Two things you can't trust Dom on, force feedback and fuel levels. Everything else is all right. But those two, those two things is a, is, are his weakness. Neutral again. I feel like I've got another gear. Yeah, but you also you also make claims on ACC having force feedback that doesn't exist, which is unacceptable. We will not accept this statement. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> My fanatic affiliate link keeps me in the sim rig. <laughs> At this point, the Game of Muscle YouTube channel is basically the fanatic affiliate link channel.
Fanatec and my uh, crisis funding. <laughs> Game of Muscle bailout. Let's not use that neutral gear. Man, he's coming! Thanks for hosting, Izzy. Good job. Did a good job. Oh, no, I didn't. I've just made a big mistake there. Here comes Bird for another attack. The Bird Devilson. <laughs> Hello. We're about to experience death by Burned. There's the plane. There's Burned. We were outpacing the aeroplane there. German is coming. Ben Ebelson's a total ledge. We've been racing Ben Ebelson for like four years. I feel at home on a track with Burns. If I ever became like a multi-millionaire and entered a team into Le Mans, I'd, uh, I'd hire Burns as a teammate. Or really, I should hire... We should he should get on a different team so he can pressure us to victory that's what we need put on a show for the fans Whoa. here comes the burned Just add chilli CB. Mine is beef chilli though. And beans. Chilli has to be the cheapest... The cheapest f food you can make, isn't it? In terms of... Uh, cal like being healthy and calories... And storability. Chili's got to be up there. Like, you can make, like, a massive whatever meat or vegetables. And then uh, beans and stuff, like, really good. And all you need is, like, tin, tin tomato. I didn't eat it from a plastic tub. I ate it from a glass tub. <laughs> that I put it in after making it in my slow cooker the other earlier in the week. Yeah, I think you could you could make a chili that if you were selective with what you bought you could make like I don't know easily like 50p a portion. Especially if you put rice in with the portions. Rice is proper cheap. Yeah, are you call him posh. I'm not posh. I'm I'm like proper middle class. Well, I don't even know what I am now. I'm like Simrig class. Ch 
Josh is gone. Can someone detonate the bomb underneath Josh's sim rig? Where's he finding the pace? What a bugger. I'm not posh. At all. I don't have a posh accent. I'm not, like, rich. I'm not... I don't have, like posh friends. I'm not picky with food. First job. <laughs> Welcome along, Looper79. YouTubers aren't rich. Very, well, some are. Most aren't. Oh, yeah, I'm posh when it comes to force feedback. <laughs> I didn't buy my DD wheel. So that's not Dan Count. That was cheated. Rich by proxy. T2 <laughs> wheels, CSL Elite, T300. <laughs> I need more wheels! Look, who doesn't have two direct drive wheels? It's perfectly normal to have multiple direct drive wheels. Best friends with Fanatec. I'm, I'm friends with some people that work at Fanatec, but I wouldn't say I'm best friends with Fanatec. I'm sure there's people that Fanatec is a business like a lot more than me. Thomas on speed time. <laughs> Thomas hates me because he like, I'll be live streaming on my, from my phone and <laughs> randomly put it in his face. And I don't think he likes it. <laughs> that was really funny at Monaco. Barry, yeah, Barry's got like 15 DD wheels. Barry's house is actually built out of DD wheel motors. Not anymore, Richard, because uh, Dom, <laughs> Fanatec Dom, has had a nervous breakdown after dealing with me. <laughs> he's had enough. Fanatec Dom's he's gone into retirement, all because of me. He was happy with his nice support job at Fanatec, dealing with community and forums. And now, ever since having to deal with me, he's, that's it, he hates it. He's quit. He's become a fisherman. Barry's just rich. I think he's, um, you know, he's had a job that's been relatively successful and he's at that age where, he, you know, he, he likes random toy stuff and he's got enough disposable income to just buy stuff and not really care about it. That's the impression I get. we go guys <laughs> nice racing oh it's mixed 38 mixed out 38 we got a uh, second place yeah that's what i i get that impression from barry either that or he works for qvc with his little microphone it's bar b b b b b barry with slap chop here <laughs> barry's a cyborg uh, normally just search for the server called Gamer Muscle and the password is T in capital letters. 
Well done to Joss. Cheated himself to victory there. What was his lap times? 126 is three. Mixout 38 got a laser beam in there. Me and Burn were doing about the same lap times. Can't floss the Joss. Well, I'm uh, I'm calling it a night, guys, on that, on the streaming front, because I'm bloody exhausted. Ten hours of driving. Ah, <laughs> oh, no marble. Barry was a Navy SEAL. He used to take apart nuclear submarines. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have a break from the sim rig. I'm going to get deep vein thrombosis if I stream for any longer. I, I think it was an epic, an epic, an epic AC stream. All the, all the complainers. Not enough AC. Well, 10 hours of AC, I think is all right. And that's pretty good. We had some really good racing. Very, it was a very massive stream. But the stream's barely started. Another 40 hours! <laughs> Good skeleton in this sim rig. Uh, well, that's it. Ten hours of Alienware. Yeah, well, thanks for everyone for taking part. I, I, say I really had a lot of fun. We had so many DD girls as well. Absolutely mental number of DD girls. And uh, nice donations and stuff, and just just interesting driving with the different cars and random stuff. So appreciate it, guys. I'll catch you all soon. Go to whoever who's live streaming now. Oh, also bash the uh, the like button if you haven't. Before we go, how many likes are we on? Let's see who's live streaming because we. If you uh, want to watch something else, Let's see what YouTube says here. Who's live on YouTube? Who can we invade? It's that tight sim racing. Who's live? Uh, sim racing TV. What's that? It's got 1,000 people watching. Oh, it's like a virtual rally. They've got 1,044 people watching the VS90 Sim Racing TV. God knows what that is, right? They've got too many viewers. I can't find any live streams, guys. I don't think T-Bags is racing. Is Jorg Orton alive? You, you guys would like Jorg. G... Oh, I always have to... O-R-T... N E R. Is he live? Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, go to Joel Gortner's stream. Let paste that in the chat. Let me just paste it in. Yeah, go go and raid Joel, guys. Uh, he's a really nice guy. I, I like him. Uh, I like him. I like his channel. So go there. Give him a like and say 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 uh, game of muscle. <laughs> Get muscle says hi. <laughs> right. I will go to the credits here, though. Or click like on George's George's stream as well. That'd be cool. Right. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> credits. Invasion on the Jorg. I'll be in the chat room on his channel for a minute as well. Come on, credits. Come on, credits. There we go. The stream has officially ended. Thank you for taking part in this epic 10-hour Assetto Corsa Bonanza rampage of a stream. Thanks massively to Izzy Faust in the servers. Thanks for donating. Generic donation name. iRacing Tire Dev Team. Random call sign. Race Room Racing Experience. Thanks for the super chats. Ramp Rest... VM, Marcelo, Nicky Sticks McFanagan, Toilet Seat Drama, Nigel Corinthus. Thank you for subscribing, Genovi Pippo, Mark Howell, Matthew Fortier, Asti2002, Siba, 
uh, Ot Bajala, B Phil 88, Lazy Game Shark, Chris Tomlinson, Alone Tron, Tony Gilbson, Gleb Glebson, Just Lars HD, Speed Chair, Doc Brown, Roger Clark. And thank you for becoming DD Girl members. Super GT, Reggie, Bart Smeely, Leonard G, Danley Banks, and Stockman76. Really appreciate it, guys. Till the next one. Have a good night. Keep safe. Drink lots of tea. See you on George's channel. Goodbye.